I think we're here, chat. I think it's time. The finals are today. The finals are today. Here we go. Let me just drop some stuff into announcements. Give me a sec. At streams. The $50,000 Minecraft lockout tournament finals are starting and watch the greatest minecraft players on the planet uh go head to head https hello chat i am so excited today is the day nice hat thank you it's a good hat it's a different color brim today i kind of like it we'll see chat oh my god chat i am so excited for this i am so excited let me just go on the twitter as well let me just go on the twitter give me give me one moment let me just look at my tweets i'm actually gonna do this let me just scroll down a little bit quote tweet The finals of this are starting right now. Go, 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 go. Okay. Okay, chat. This is best two out of three. Um... Yesterday was so insane, right? Oh my god. This match is the- or this game, this specific game is the one I have been most excited for the whole tournament. Um, so today, here's how this works. There's- there's three potential matches to play. The winners of losers bracket need to play today, and they're gonna face the winners of winners bracket. If the- the winners beat them, it's over. If the losers beat them, then there's a bracket reset, and then there's one grand finals. So, we're going to start with the end of the loser's bracket to figure out who is in the final, the, like the, the winners against the, the big, big finals. So it's loser's finals and then the main finals. It's best three out of, or best two out of three. Not best three, not best three out of five because I do not have enough time for 15 matches today. And neither do they because that would be loser, if losers won and, but just by a smidgen. It would be rough. But anyways, chat, uh, lockout. If you don't know what lockout is, you get 13 goals. First to 13 goals wins. There is no time limit today. These matches can go on as long as they need. They will just keep going until one team is at 13. And I expect that a couple of the matches may go on for a little longer than an hour. No match has gone to time yet. But I have saved some interesting seeds. For the finals day, these are the seeds that I am the most excited for. That I've, that I have, I have looked at the most and have, have figured, hey, this will be a little bit of an interesting little thing here. So, uh, we did have a game get to the end though yesterday, yes, and uh, I expect that we will see at least, at the very least, one go to the end today. There's 25 goals, first to 13 goals wins. Yes, if one team gets a goal, the other team can't. Uh, with uh, a few exceptions with um Yeah, there's a certain goal, but anyways um, I need to double check something cuz my I ordered a sandwich an hour ago to be delivered and It is one minute away. I don't want to start and leave the sandwich on my like front porch for like the whole match So I'm just gonna go put it in the fridge <laughs> Um, just give me a sec. Is this Dylan quick placing? I think this is Dylan. Yes. Um, so yeah, this seed that we're going to be jumping into, basically the moment that they join, um, will be the moment we start the game because I don't, I don't want to spoil it. You guys will realize why it's, <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh, it's gonna be good yet. Oh, I'm excited. I don't want to spoil it. They don't- they have no idea what's going on. They're like, why is he? What is he? What is... Bro, I swear to God, my delivery driver is on a bicycle. The amount of time that this guy is taking to deliver my food. 
He he drove it like bicycled halfway across town. Like actually, what's the deliveries guy name? I don't know. Belenko. Okay. It looks like two of them are doing parkour now. <laughs> okay, chat. Um, they're all getting warmed up. They're getting warmed up, and I think they 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 might have been like. Oh wait, we have two minutes. Okay, Maddie Wolf. Tip him a car. Yeah, I should. Yo, thanks for the hype train chat. It's very exciting. Can I spin your hat for me? Yes. Oh my god. Wait, this is all caught up. Hey. Good. All right. We're taking off, baby. Let's go. It's 2 a.m. for you. You have a wonderful sleep. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. Do -do 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 -do. Invite the delivery guy to lock out. Yeah, I'm gonna lock. Oh my god. The delivery guy is here. <laughs> he looks like a nice, a nice guy. Just a, he looks like one of those like friendly old dudes that you see on a park bench and is just smiling, you know? I'll be right back. For the sake of no more delays, I will delay breakfast until after this one match. We're already 14 minutes late. Are you ready for the match that I am most excited for? I know I am. All right, I'm gonna go jump in and tell them to, to join the world. Gotta refresh my board. Board isn't up yet. Why is the board not up? Hmm. Uh oh. It says started. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks good. Let's go here. I need to tell them to join at the same time, and we're going to immediately jump into this. All right, I told them to join. I hope they're ready. All right, chat. You get to see. All right, Dylan joined the game. Let's look at Dylan first. <laughs> He's looking around. He's realizing, oh God, they're playing on super flat. <laughs> All right, they, they, <laughs> they haven't joined yet. I'm so in. Oh yeah, Curry likes it. Curry, join! That's legendary. Curry! <laughs> Curry, you have to join! Legendary. Slimes are gonna spawn and they're gonna kill your teammate! Let me guess, I'm peaceful again. Oh. Yep, look at that. Curry, get on, get on, get to join. Did they... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no ping. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> There's a reason why we had to start immediately! All right, we're starting. It's Curryway's birthday today. We're starting the game. All right, chat. All right, here we go. We are doing super flat on this board. Now, now chat, the interesting thing about this is how the hell do you do these goals on super flat? This is a puzzle box. 
I have created a puzzle box that they need to figure out. All right, so look at this. Reach bedrock. How are they going to do that? Don't tell... Oh, this is going to be good chat. The, the bedrock goal is going to be really funny. I want you guys to watch the screen just for a second, okay? It's going to be really funny. Uh, anyways, die by falling off of vines? Potion of healing? Potion of swiftness? Enter the nether? Poisonous potato? Cyan-colored leather pants? Huh? Obtain cake? Wear a piece of chain armor? Breed eight unique animals? Breed a cow? 20 unique foods? Kill a silverfish? Mossy stone brick, how the heck do you get that? Anyways, they're, they're digging down to bedrock immediately, chat. They're trying to dig down to bedrock. I removed the bedrock layer. I thought it would be funny. I thought it would be funny. They have to do it in the nether. <laughs> Anyways, they're, they're off. They're starting this match. So they'll have to get the bedrock in the nether. That is the only thing that isn't default skyblock. <laughs> um, and it looks like, wait a minute. Fruit did find one set of stuff and he may be getting the slime block here. He looks like he's killing himself with a pickaxe. He does have enough obsidian. Um, it looks like uh, Fruit did get enough. And I think that was Fruit... Yeah, that was fruit crafting that. There you go. He has the slime block, the easiest goal. Looks like Curryway also has enough to enter the nether with. Look at that. He has the 10 obsidian in his hotbar. He is ready to go. I forgot to start the inventory trackers. They are working now. Good. The timer isn't up. It's because there is no time limit, chat. There is no time limit. So, yeah, looks like they're all going to be running around. Looks like fruit is... Starting to mine some stone, getting some basic tools. Curry in this. Now, the next easiest goal on this board is Magenta Glazed Terracotta. I think. Because you can get clay from mason uh, houses. And you can get uh, two sets of clay from mason houses. You can get bone meal, bone meal the ground. You can get... Um, White dye, blue f blue flower, and the two red flowers works. So that is how you would get the magenta glazed terracotta. Then you would smelt it all and do that. Um, so you would also that basically that's how you would do it. Are there infinite villages? Yes. And it looks like there's a second goal. And you know how I said uh, the easiest goal was magenta terracotta. Obviously, it's going to be breed cow. But that's for the <laughs> this team, anyways. What does this mean? Uh, first team to 13 points wins. Mud brick wall is a really interesting one because you need glass bottles to make mud. How do you make mud at Skyblock? You have to go to the nether and trade for fire resistance potions. Anyways, it looks like... Uh, let me just move this over a little bit. <clears throat> what, how am I going to do this? All right, there we go. I, I, need, to, I need to shuffle my, my screen around. It's a little bit disorganized here. Uh, there we go. Almost set up properly. Give me a sec. I just want to watch this one. It's going to be so fun. Um, come on. Where's the interact? There it is. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, looks like they have all started. They haven't done anything yet. We'll see. You keep saying Skyblock. You mean super flat? Have I been saying Skyblock? Sorry. It's not super, it's not Skyblock. It's super flat. Sorry. I played a lot of Skyblock last year and I, I, I they're, they're both challenge maps basically. Um, Anyways, the, let, let's explore some of the ways to get goals. Tame a cat. How do you get fish to tame a cat in super flat? How do you do that? You have to trade with a barrel villager, a fisherman villager, to get buckets of cod. You place the cod on the ground to kill them. And then you can give that to a villager. Or you can fish for fish. But the fastest way is the cod. The cod buckets from a fisherman villager. And the inventories don't match up. What the hell? Yeah, you're right. They don't match up. Give me a second. I don't know why Dylan's inventory is fruit berries. Very strange. Let me fix that. Okay, this one is right. Uh, someone else just got a goal while I was looking away. It looks like one of them touched water 
It looks like one of them managed to get the other one to touch water while we weren't looking, and there's gonna be combat right now. Ignore the inventory. Fyro's got armor, but Dylan has a shield. And Dylan kills Fyro, getting the armor. That's pretty good. And look at that, Dylan's at full armor now, ready to go. Yeah, one of them managed to get the other one to touch water. They, they just destroyed some stuff, and it looks like Dylan going on a murder spree now. That's another goal down. Someone has entered the nether. Fruit manages to enter the nether, gets a lit portal, and is in. And nether is not... The nether goal is not flat. That's how it works in super flat. The nether is normal. And uh, Fruit Berry's digging down, trying to reach bedrock before the other players. Because touch bedrock is a goal. Oh, he touches lava, though. I think he has enough bread to survive that. He only touched it for a second. Should be fine here. And there it is, Fruit with the Reach Bedrock goal. Now they have to figure out what the heck to do next. Probably um, the only other goal that, that Fruit can really do in the nether right now is obtain a Soul Lantern, but looks like Fruit will be exploring for a little bit. Um, or the also the only way to die off vines is to die off of nether vines, chat. So they will be dying off of nether vines and not overworld vines, which is going to be the first time. Anyways, refresh fruit or is that as current as possible? It's pretty much as current as possible, I think. Nope, looks like fruit is actually... That's weird, I refreshed the stream right before it started. Looks like fruit did get some nether quartz, which is good because redstone comparator is an objective. They just need the redstone. How do you get redstone? Uh, you get redstone by trading with a villager that has a brewing stand house. But looks like, looks like Dylan just been bullying the whole time. As Fruit has entered the nether and then left the nether, but this is going to be interesting to see. Now, 20 unique foods is a really interesting one. There are 23 foods available in Super Flat. There are 23 foods available, so they have to eat almost everything they possibly can. But anyways, there is uh, Fruit Berries getting the Soul Lantern, managing to make some uh, charcoal to do the Soul Lantern. So it is now 5 to 1, but... The crazy thing is, is it's just, it's not even over yet. This is not over by any means because... Uh, they need to figure out how the heck to do all of these goals still. Now, Mossy's Stone Brick Wall is a very interesting one. With the timer being removed, I cannot do it during a match. But it is a best of three, yes. And, uh, but this is the first of best of three. Just, I can't change my... I can't... I have too many stuff on my screen to change it during the match. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll do it next time. It looks like Dylan is just bullying them over and over, but Dylan can't stop both of them. And it looks like here, Fruit has found some vines. Is going to be dying in the nether to those nether vines. And good that he thought about it and, and figured it out fast. It's going to be 6-1 to one right at the start here, but... I mean... You need 13 to win. There is no time limit. Oh my god! Fruit! Getting shot at by a skeleton and doesn't die to vines! <laughs> oh no. It looks like Dylan has continued to chase. By the way, Dylan is just running and chasing. Uh, I believe it's Curryway. But it looks like Fyro's internet still breaking. Classic Fyro. Uh, I think Fyro now going to be running to another village trying to find some new stuff while Fruit just exploring the nether. Now, the way to get poisonous potato is really interesting, chat. You you have a really low chance of getting a regular potato, and there's there's Fruit dying off of vines. Six to one. You have a really low chance of getting a, a p poisonous potato, but there are bone blocks in the nether you can use to get a poisonous potato more quickly by just farming them very fast. So that is kind of the intended way that I uh, figured to get poisonous potato. This requires redstone. This requires redstone as well. So you're going to have to trade with a certain villager for that. All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the raid. Thanks, Blue, for the raid. I appreciate it. This is the... This is a $50,000 Minecraft lockout tournament. First team to 13 goals wins. Everybody that's just coming in. Uh, I, I'm screwing with the, com the, the competitors and I threw them on super flat. Which, uh, I mean, if you can see, there it's super flat. Um, the nether isn't super flat, but it looks like right here, I think Fruit Berries may be onto something. He did grab one bone block, 
which it looks like he's grabbing that specifically for some die. And I think he's going to be killing this for maybe an arrow or a bow. That would be good for him. And he's making a boat. What is he doing with the boat for? I'm not exactly sure. We're going to find out in a second. But anyways, here, chat. Looks like Curryway is starting to actually get to something, doing uh, a good amount of things here. And let's see what else is going on. Ride a horse with the saddle. That's going to be one. It looks like Curryway is starting to eat some foods as, as much as he can. Doing trades, trying to increase the amount of foods he's eating because there's a 20 unique food goal. There's also breed 8 unique animals, which is every animal you can get on super flat. Uh, the cake is also tradable, but it's only a one-third chance. So they're either going to trade for the one-third chance of the cake, or the only way to get sugar is by killing a witch. So they're either going to trade for the cake, or they're going to get the one-third chance from or the one-third chance from the witch. Uh, the thing is, it's super flat, so you are able to see all mobs at all times. But it looks like right here, getting some white dye. Getting some white dye. It looks like something is going on here. Getting some beetroots. Looks like he might be eating some beetroot stuff. And, um... Wait. Let's see here. Fyro did die. Someone did manage to hunt him down, I assume. And it looks like, right here, um... Dylan was able to find some paper. In one of the most useless village houses in this situation, it's not useless though because die to firework rocket is an objective. And now it is turning to nighttime, so they will start to do this. But look at this, Fyro's internet dead again. Nope, Fyro has entered the Nether and ha is uh, <laughs> trying to avoid fruit berries. Very interesting. Now, the the one thing that we're gonna probably see what what can be done immediately. Uh, right now the the easiest goal again is probably glazed terracotta or die by firework rocket if they're able to uh, To do if if Dylan is able to do that because he has the paper in his inventory um, Which is very good and uh, yeah witches and sugar for bottles But the easiest way to get bottles is by trading with piglins to get uh, fire resistance potions That's how you get bottles. That's how you make a mud brick wall and it looks like Dylan here is going to be crafting uh, firework rockets. He has three. He's taking deliberate damage from the zombies. It looks like so um, So they're able to hurt him and he's gonna be taking like an exact amount of damage here to die one two Three and it is seven to one. It looks like orange is in the lead right now, but it, It's at the point now. where like what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? It looks like Fyro exploring the nether. Is that a bastion on a screen? It is a treasure bastion <clears throat> or no, it is a, a bridge bastion, not a treasure bastion. I'm not sure why I said that. It is a bridge bastion. Now, there aren't any goals that can be immediately done with a bridge bastion, but you have to consider they will get fire resistance potions, which can be used as bottles for mud brick wall. That is a start to getting to a stronghold. Now, strongholds in super flat just fly in the sky. They're just up. That is what they are doing. So that'll be interesting. It looks like Dylan, he did grow some flowers, and it, I think he is trying to get on that magenta glazed terracotta goal. But I mean, once they're done that, they're going to have to start figuring out what's going on here. And it looks like, wait a minute, I did not even notice, but Dylan manages to grab a saddle from one of the blacksmiths and is going to be able, I think he, I think he did put a saddle on the horse. Did I maybe miss see that? I'm not sure. Did Dylan just have a saddle in his inventory? I, I, I'm not exactly, oh yeah, it's in his hand. It's in his offhand right now. So Dylan will actually be riding a horse with a saddle here in just a second. Maybe I should have made it harder. Maybe I should have made it a pig with a saddle. You never know. Although he probably could have done that anyways. But looks like Dylan about to go eight and one. Ridiculous. And I mean, Fruit has a bunch of mobs. On his screen, are there any witches? Because witches are going to be super useful for bottles. If they manage to get a bottle, that would be huge. But looks like right here, Fyro actually managing to enter a bastion. Going to be interesting here. We'll see what happens. And yeah, there is Dylan finally managed to ride that horse. 
Ready to go as, as Curryway, just running, trying to find anything. Now, there are nine villages within 300 blocks of spawn. So, Curryway will almost guaranteed find one no matter the direction. But Orange right now, they got that armor advantage right at the start and they managed to pull it off. Now, there is something that Curryway can do that the Orange team cannot because they do not have a Brewing Sand Villager house. Curryway can trade for Redstone. And if he is able to enter the Nether or meet up with his teammate who is in the Nether, Redstone Comparator is a goal that they could do. Bullseye is a goal because you need wheat and you need the uh, you need the, the hay bale and you need the redstone trade. So looks like Curryway is going to be going here. Going to be grabbing the brewing sand, which is going to be very, very useful. And they're going to be on their way. Uh, you can see strongholds from below. If you happen to walk below a stronghold, you will see it. It will just be floating in the sky. So Curryway is pretty far out. If he happens to see a... The only way to get Mossy Stone Brick Wall is in the stronghold. And oh my god, Dylan gets a bottle and redstone from a witch insanely good luck from dylan here actually insane something that i did not anticipate happening and dylan also has a horse he can just move faster in super flat now looks like dylan making a small pen for his horse trying to make sure it cannot escape while he is going to be making the mud brick wall and he has the wheat for it too. Huge luck for Team Orange. This is going much faster than I ever anticipated because one team is just absolutely dominating the other. But looks like Fyro has made it here and that is the mud brick wall done. And uh, the fact that they have that bottle is going to be huge for brewing the potions. Uh, especially the Potion of Swiftness. Now, the Witch did not drop sugar. The only way to get a Potion of Swiftness is through a Witch. Dropping sugar or the potion of swiftness itself. Um, I don't expect the witch to ever drop it, so they will probably need sugar from that. They do need to get another witch and more luck, but the fact that they got the bottle from that was absolutely massive and terrible luck for blue team. It is first to 13, chat. But it looks like... Does he have sugar? There's no sugar in his inventory, chat. Unless it's in the hot bar that I've missed. No, Dylan... Looks like fruit is back here. Curryway. Fyro. Fyro in the nether doing the tr bastion trading. And it looks like uh, fruit has figured out, hey, I can use the bone meal to grow potatoes and potentially get a poisonous one. Just needs to get a little lucky. That is a lot of bone meal in the hot bar. It's just a matter of time before it happens. Make sure to offhand it. Oh, they're doing it doing it a little bit slow. I don't know why he's doing laps around the potatoes, but... You know, the other team has not thought of that yet, so it's good <laughs> for fruit. Just offhand the potatoes, and then uh, bone meal on the other hand is the easy way to do it. You just stand still. You don't need to move at all. Looks like he ran out of bone meal. Gonna have to go get some more bone blocks. Didn't get that luck, finally. The one team not getting the luck that they uh, that they have gotten used to here. And it looks like uh, Curryway still has that brewing stand. He has all of the dye ready for the magenta glazed terracotta. Just needs to find two houses with clay. Are there two houses with clay in this village? It does not look like there are. There is a village nearby that does. Now, one thing that Curryway also can do is maybe trade for a bucket villager. Not sure. Looks like he grabs a spare compass. Not exactly sure why. Fyro making some hot stuff. Looks like Fruit Berries has found more bones and will be a potato farmer. If the, the poisonous potato happens, it's most likely going to be Fruit Berries here as Fyro finishing off the nether. He has Ender Pearls. He does have a, uh, a fire resistance potion in his hot bar. So that will open up the option of the healing and the swiftness potion. Now, how do you get a potion of healing? You can kill a witch while it's drinking one, which is probably not going to happen because the odds are just way too low. Or, you can go to the end. And in the ships, there are healing potions. Blue should just kill with a bed. Uh, combat with beds is not allowed in the nether. That is something that is a, a rule. Portal trapping and uh, combat with explosions is not um, something that is uh, allowed here. 
Looks like uh, Fyro deliberately doing a hunger reset here. He does not have any food. He also has some stuff on him. Anyways, it looks like... Looks like Fruit, farming away, has two stacks of bone meal. The poisonous potato, it's just a matter of time. And he is forcing it. He does have to work for this, chat. But, I mean... The luck probably balancing out here. Not getting the poisonous potato instantly. I mean, they did get a witch. They did get everything they would need from a witch. And it looks like Curryway here still running around these villages. Trying to find something of value. Trying to think his way through it. They need to get on the board. The score is 9-1. to one. Orange team needs a 4 points to win. And, I mean, they've already got one in the chamber, ready to go. They are just trying to get the poisonous potato. It's just a matter of time at this point. Looks like Curryway getting a CD place. Now, something could happen where if Curryway is just farming, could uh, realistically... And the that's big for Curryway. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. But Curryway has a fletching table, which is the easiest way to get emeralds because of sticks. But think about it. Where do you get flint in super flat? You really don't. Maybe the nether. So the fact that he has one of these stands here is absolutely huge because it means the other team probably doesn't. And they're not going to be able to get easy emeralds. And it looks like he is trading for the redstone. So if he's able to enter the nether here soon... This could be something that happens. Uh, looks like he's getting a couple extra carrots. Not exactly sure why here. Maybe for breeding. That's That would be my guess. Or eating. Breeding or eating. One of the two. Uh, but Curryway has magenta dye and he does have four clay. And he has two, two terracotta already. So he needs one more house. Uh, one more uh, clay house. Uh, to be able to get the pink or magenta terracotta goal. Looks like Curry getting a few more emeralds. No one is taking that Fletcher job. He needs those that redstone for the redstone comparator. Oh, it looks like actually he's not even going for that. He's going to be getting the bullseye advancement here in just a second. And he's making sure to eat everything that he can. This is big. This is really big. And uh, Fruit Berries, the farmer extraordinaire. Going to be trying to get that, that poisonous potato. He has really not been doing well though. Over 200 potatoes in the inventory. Terrible luck, no poisonous potato. That's the way this is going to go, though. And it looks like Curryway getting set up, trying to make sure that he is ready to go for this bullseye advancement. And I think he will be getting it. And look at this here. This is clay. Is that enough clay, though? I don't know if it's enough clay for Dylan to be able to get it. Is it? Oh, my God. Wait. Wait, no, I think it is. But there's Curryway getting the bullseye. As I think Dylan may be pulling off his Magenta Glaze Terracotta here. He is so close, unless he only has six. I think he's just waiting, though. Yeah. Yeah, he will be getting the Magenta Glaze Terracotta. And all of the, the particularly easy goals are pretty much over. Whose birthday was it? It is Curryway's birthday. It is Curryway here. Who is doing the bullseye. Now, Blue does have two goals. But... Fruit Berries gets the poisonous potato. And, I mean, it looks like Dylan is about to get the terracotta goal. Does he know how to make magenta die? I don't... I... D I... Does he? I don't know if he knows how to make magenta die. Wait. Dylan... Not immediately making them... Does he not know how to do it? Because he, he could do it right now. Not sure what he's looking for. He could do this immediately. So, it's interesting. Also, I notice the diamond horse armor. Pretty cool. Looks like, what is he going to be doing here? Making an axe? I'm not sure. Oh, looks like Fyro... Is in the overworld looking for combat against fr fruit berries. And he does have arrows and a bow because he went to that bastion. He does have pearls. Huge for combat. This is big. And I mean, this just gives Curryway free reign to mess around and do whatever he likes. Which 
I mean, getting to a, a high level, um, uh, getting a high level, uh, potion person, whatever their name is, the, the brewing stand, uh, villager, that's a bottle of enchanting. Getting a little bit more redstone. Wait, did, uh oh, he, he didn't grab the brewing stand. Well, no redstone. Chain armor is a quick goal as well if you're able to get the iron for it. We'll see. I'm not sure what he's doing at the moment, but looks like he is going for more trades. Probably getting some more... Yeah, trying to get more emeralds just for the rest of the golds. Now, I'm surprised. The one thing that I'm surprised no one's done yet is taming a cat. Because it's, it's three emeralds for a single cod. So, like, on average, you'll probably need around nine emeralds to tame a cat. Because you trade for a cod bucket three times... And you're good to go, but it looks like here, Dylan is actually able to enter the nether now, because he managed to find 10 more obsidian. And, uh, what is Dylan able to do here? Dylan, actually, not enough redstone to be able to make the comparator. You need three redstone horches. Dylan only has two redstone here. So that's not great, but looks like, um, I, I, I hope that Dylan... Or I, yeah, I hope that Fyro has brought back some nether quartz. It looks like... <laughs> it's, that's rough for, that's rough for those team. Because, uh, Fyro did not bring back any nether quartz for the comparator goal. That is really the only thing that he could have brought back that was, uh, that was valuable. That was on top of what they were doing. But it looks like, I think Fyro and Curryway have actually teamed up. Are they in the same village? I think they might be. To try and farm these emeralds to, to potentially get... The 20 unique foods, the redstone comparator goal, maybe the cyan colored leather pants. Now, the cyan colored leather pants is probably the most, the meanest goal on this board. Because the way this, the only way to do this, you cannot get this objective. Um, uh, clerics will not trade you glass bottles, they will take glass bottles from you. The only way to get cyan leather colored pants here is to trade for them. Now, the way that villager trades work with dyed leather armor is that the villager will t pick two random dye colors, combine them, and then trade that leather pant. So what you need is the villager needs to roll cyan dye and cyan dye. Which is about a 1 in 200. Or 1 in 400? I don't know. Anyways, it looks like... Blue gets the 1 in 400 while we weren't looking? Oh my god! They managed to get the 1 in 400. They also tamed a cat. Was I looking? That is the... The hardest goal to get on the board in terms of luck, so they needed that. And it looks like, I don't know, they... Because they're grinding out these goals... I mean, Fyro, he has a nether enter whenever he wants. He could just jump right back for the redstone comparator if he is able to just get some redstone. He has the glass bottle in his inventory too, so if he gets some... Some sugar, make that, uh, that potion of swiftness. Can trade for chain armor as well, all you need is about a stack and a half. Of, um, all you need is a stack and a half. It looks like Curry, the breeding master, living up to his name, gonna be doing some breeding. They're both a three, though. It looks like Fruitberries is going to be doing some, some grinding as well, trying to get some, some more emeralds. Not sure exactly what for yet, but, I mean, it looks like there's the barrel. Was going to go for the Tame a Cat goal. And, I think Fruit is actually gonna be running towards... The opponents here. I think I see on his compass. He, he ran towards him a little bit. Oh, wait. Fruit gets the blue dye. Gets the blue flowers. It looks like Dylan has decided to sprint across the entire planet with his terracotta instead of just using one bone meal on the ground. But that will be almost certainly another objective. I don't know why. He has 14 bone meal in his inventory. Why did he sprint a thousand blocks? I have no idea. But two, two red... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Dylan. You can't stack the red die. Dylan finally figures out the magenta die. There's a magenta terracotta. He brings the furnace with him. <laughs> and there is the magenta glazed terracotta goal. They now need two points to win. But none of these goals are free. None of these goals 
are easy. It looks like Fruitberries is going to be running towards one of them. Look at that compass. Fruitberries looking to kill at least one of them. Probably, I mean, Fyro is so far away that it's going to take a long time for Fruitberries to catch up. Because that the reason... Yeah, it looks like Fyro is actually maybe even running towards someone. Not exactly sure what. Curryway, let's hope... Just for the sake of blue team that Fruitberries is not chasing down Curryway, because Curryway doesn't even have a shield. Or no, he does have a shield. But, I mean, Fruitberries v. Curryway is going to be a scary matchup. It's going to be uh, very scary for them. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. It looks like Fyro looking for a new village potentially. Not sure. Fruitberries has started breeding stuff, so looks like Orange is at five breeds, Blue is at four. They haven't done any nether breeding. They do need to breed things in the nether, and they do need to breed horses as well to be able to do these goals. So it'll be interesting to see how this, this hooks up here. How everything is linking together. Looks like Fyro grabbing maybe more food, trying to get just something to eat in, uh, in super flat. And uh, it would be good. I'm, I'm hoping that... Oh, looks like, wait a minute. Making a golden carrot. And a golden apple has a lot of gold left over. Genius. That's going to help a ton if he gets into PvP. Now, Fruit still just running. Still running away. Now, looks like Dylan abandoned his horse for whatever reason. Running at like triple the speed of everyone else with the horse. Looks like he gave up on that. Not exactly sure why, but he is not, uh, not using his horse to run across these massive plains, which is exactly what horses were built for. But looks like here, Curryway going to be eating some foods. What are the foods at? Blue is at 13 foods. So Blue is, is adding up fast. They are getting this. Now, like I said, there are 23 available foods in Super Flat. They will need to eat almost all of them to get to 20. A difficult goal here. But looks like Curryway going to be taming a cat here. Breeding cat is one of the objectives. So... Or breeding a cat is something related to breed unique animals. Looks like Curryway doesn't know how to get cats to approach him. Unfortunate. Just stand still, crouch, and walk towards. That's some rotten flesh, maybe? You could eat that. That is one of the foods. Uh, cake, unfortunately, does not count as food by the Minecraft rules, but... Mm -mm 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 -mm. It looks like Fruit has encountered someone. I'm not exactly sure who it is, but... I'm not sure if it's Dylan. I think Fruit... Did Fruit catch up with Dylan there? I'm not exactly sure here. No? There was someone on, on, on Fruit's screen for a second there. Anyways. Yeah, cake does not count as food in Minecraft. But yeah, it looks like they're they're getting the, this wood, trying to get these emeralds, trying to do their trades as quickly as they can. I think Fyro might be going for a Master Cleric here. That, that'd be my guess because like what else are you going to be trading for at this point you could be going for a high level farmer that can trade a cake it's a one-third chance you, you know roll the dice you're basically going to have to roll the dice unless you want to kill a witch which is also just rolling the dice in a different way looks like fruitberries here actually did go to meet up with dylan um fruitberries does have the nether quartz dylan does not have the redstone but yeah they're getting swarmed by these enemies just an army of mobs all around them because they are just out in the open. No protection from those iron golems as as uh, Curryway continuing to grind. I think Curryway, lots of wood in his inventory. Prop, could be trading for chain armor. Not exactly sure what he's going for just yet, but uh, I think Curryway, Curryway has tamed two cats and potentially bred them as well. Curryway up to 15 foods. 16 foods. Team Blue almost at that goal. They are crushing this. Huge for them, and breeding, they are, uh, they're, they're working on it as well. Looks like Fruitberries walking past that spider eye. Does he eat it? Looks like he does eat it, so they are a little aware of these food goals. Now, Fyro running to a new village. Uh, Fyro does have one golden apple and an internet issue, uh, which is another unique food that they have not yet eaten. Um, now let's look at fruit berries here. Fruit apparently has sugar. Fruit managed to kill another witch and did get sugar. 
which is massive for the potion of swiftness. Huge. So we'll potentially be making cake with that sugar instead of doing the potion of swiftness. I think you need exactly two sugar. So looks like fruit going to be doing this, going to be trying to get a chicken egg, I think. I think that's the goal for him here. The thing is, he could get cut off with the trade. He will still have extra sugar left with the potion of swiftness. But blue team at 18 foods. Blue team still at four breeds, though. Looks like Koryaway going to be trying to breed some cats here soon, I think. But, I mean, this village is starting to get, get overwhelmed. Looks like Koryaway here. Raw chicken. That might be another food that they haven't eaten yet. We'll see. Maybe raw or cooked chicken, one of the two. And it looks like Fyro here. Going to be getting some redstone, probably for the comparator goal, which it seems like this team has just dropped the ball on. But yeah, Fruit, no eggs yet, but he does have all of the other ingredients for that cake. Milk is not a food, unfortunately. Oh, looks like they're at 19. Fyro just ate his golden apple to try and get a little bit higher here. These villagers, it's nighttime. They are refusing to take this job. Unfortunate. But it happens. Now, Blue just needs a single more... One more food. You could trade for a pumpkin pie. I'm not sure if they've done that yet. So that is one food that they could potentially do. They could. I'm not sure if they've eaten rotten flesh of the spider eye, but they, they may have. Looks like there's a zombie raid on the village that Fyro is currently in. As Dylan... Looks like dying from a high place. What is he doing here? Why did he go so high up? Not exactly sure here. Dylan might actually be doing... There is a strategy to help sp summon witches. Where if you go onto a high pillar, high enough that mobs despawn, you set your spawn at the top, and you could repeatedly jump down to force spawn mobs around you. So I think that might be what Dylan is going for here. He's going to make a little platform for his bed, and he's going to tower up. He's going to look around, try and summon a witch. If there's no witches around, he'll jump down, look around. Are, is there a witch? Is there a witch? No witch. Jump down. Despawn all the mobs around. Look around again. Is there a witch? He's looking on his pie chart. Is there a witch there? No. Die, respawn, do it again. Doing tower strats for that, and it looks like... Fyro, actually you're seeing that Dylan, or er, uh, Fyro, seeing that Dylan is dying a lot, actually I think considered that for a moment. But there is a goal. The 20 foods. Looks like Fyro manages to finish off the eat 20 foods goal. It is 11 to 5 and they could be bringing this back right now. And look at this, actually, Curryway. I think Curryway having the same idea. Potentially trying to find... Um, I mean, the only thing that I can imagine them trying to find is the potion of swiftness or the cake, trying to spawn witches. Uh, Curryway going a little bit too high here. You do not need to go 40 blocks into the sky to die. But I think, uh, Curryway actually might be going for... I don't actually know what Curryway is doing. Anyways, a uh, bottle of enchanting goal is just obtain a bottle of enchanting, which you need a master level cleric for. So yeah, it looks like... Dylan does have a nice uh, tower set up here. Going to be waiting for some mob spawns, but they only have 10 minutes for these mob spawns. So, it'll be interesting. Dylan also has a pool of water. While well, Curryway, Bucket clutches down and is going to be looking for that witch. Does Curryway have a witch on his screen? He does! There's a witch right there! We'll be getting it, and oh my god, what goal was that? It looks like Fruit Berries did get the cake, found the egg... But they still need the sugar from the witch. Ooh, no sugar from that witch. A little bit bad luck, but they know how to force the witch spawn, so they will probably continue to try. Did Curryway set his spawn? I don't know. Now, this is scary, because Orange Team only needs a single point to win. But it looks like Fyro is nearly ready to trade for chain armor, which is one of the easiest goals. And wait a minute, Dylan, no sugar on that witch. Unfortunate, but let's look here. Fyro running through. Is there a witch on his screen? Doesn't look like it. But I mean, Fyro has a blast furnace, is ready to trade trade for chain armor. 
let's refresh the stream really quick here. <clears throat> so, probably when the sun comes up, he will be doing that. And looks like Dylan trying to die, I guess. I think he is trying to die so we can spawn back at the top. But, you know, this, this is actually really big for the, the blue team. Because with it being daytime, they cannot get more sugar. And using both sugar on that cake, Fruit Berries is no longer able to do it. So, looks like Fruit Berries is going to be... Uh, just getting some food from some villagers and trying to figure out what the heck to do next because really you either Get some sugar and brew a potion, but you still have to find the fortress or you just make the redstone comparator So that is something that that um, That Fyro or Curryway should be prioritizing right now and it looks like that might be what Fyro is doing because he does have this brewing stand down does need to get three redstone and re needs to re-enter the nether to be able to get this redstone comparator goal. And it looks like Dylan is seconds away from getting it. This could be it. If the villager just takes it, this could be over for, for the match. One of these villagers just needs to take the job before Fyro is able to trade one redstone for this villager. They refuse to take the job, though. And this is the, the comparator goal should be the maximum priority of this team right now. Of blue team. Because that is the by far easiest goal that can be done. And it looks like there it is. The match is over. Crafts the redstone comparator. And it is done. The super flat seed is over. The incredible luck from the orange team with the... Uh, with the, you know, getting that saddle, getting the bottle, getting the sugar. That's what made the difference. Unfortunate that it was luck. I mean, they, this team did get the 1 in 400 and got good luck on the Tame a Cat goal. But, you know, I, I do think that the orange team definitely did outplay the other team. But they also got a little bit lucky. Get to Bedrock and Super Flat? Yes, uh, I removed the Bedrock layer though. So they had to go to the Nether for that. So 13 to 5. You know, it's, it is a big difference. But, uh... I guess uh, let's get the next uh, map all started up. Uh, GG's to Orange. That is a best two out of three, though. So Blue still can win this. And uh, that was an exciting one. But the cool seeds are not done because every single seed that we're going to be seeing today is a fun one. I've saved the best for last chat. Um, there is another seed that I had to get an external person that is known for seed finding to help me out with. We'll be seeing that a little bit later today, but um, I think uh, I think there's going to be some good seeds. Uh, I'm going to go to get a, take a bite of my sandwich while we get set up on the next seed. It should be five minutes tops. <clears throat> All right, fun and interesting, super flat. Now they're just waiting. The next match will be starting soon. <sighs> All right, well, is there gonna be a one biome world? Um, I thought about it and I tried a few different biomes. I couldn't get one that would be interesting. Why was training for ESP funny? Uh, I don't think it really was. I don't know. Super flat is literally just flat overworld.
So the score, the score is currently 1-0 for Orange. And it's a best 2 out of 3. I guess super flat is planes only. That's true, yeah. Anyway, we can add 1-0 on the screen. Sure. Are you still in the competition, small ant? I'm the one hosting the competition. I'm the one putting up 50 grand of my own money to to host the tournament. It's it's there's I was never in it. <laughs> it's got to be on purpose at this point, right? How do I write this out? Um, can I make this orange, you think? Oh, well, that doesn't help at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to make separate text things for this. Okay, and then I'll make this white. Okay, okay. And then I'll make, t this is why I didn't want to do this during the match, because I would miss like a bunch of it. How does a hot tub streamer have more views than this? I just, you know, some people want to live vicariously. You know, some people just want to be able to imagine being in a comfortable hot tub. You know, hot tubs are kind of nice. I get it. I get it, okay? I understand. Alright, give me a sec. An ice bath is nicer? Okay. So, okay. All right, I make this here. We're gonna add this to a group. Uh oh, there's a new board. And now I need to add this to every single scene. Uh, group. Uh, this one, this one, boom. And then we'll add this to every single scene. And then I'll add this to every single scene. All right, we should be good now. It's a little distracting, but there's really nothing I can do to fix that quickly. Bro, I really wish that my connection to Fyro wasn't so awful. Cause it's actually, it, it is a my internet issue, I think, because I think Fyro is just like internet They can join whenever. Oh, 
All right, chat. Here we go. Here is the next match. They are starting. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to say, ask if they're ready. Looks like they're looking around. Now, chat, one thing I want you to look at. Look at my Y level. It's an amplified seed, and there's a no fall damage option. Okay, uh, looks like Dylan Curry, Fyro. See if Fyro's okay. All right. All right, chat. We're starting the next game. Here we go. So, uh, this is an amplified world. Now, they are about 20 blocks from the sky limit. No, sorry, they're 18 away. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see if they notice that. Uh, now, there is a no fall damage objective, which is going to be difficult. There's also obtain more hoppers than the opponent, have more levels than the opponent, and have more kelp blocks than the opponent. So there are three goals that can be traded back and forth in this seed. All three. So if one team works, you know, they can't focus on all of them at once. So they're going to have to balance all of them. Fruit is on a tree. That's where fruit usually is. Okay. You know, where do apples come from? When do those give a point? When someone has one. But if another person has two, it's traded back and forth. Looks like the match has started though. And Curryway mining blocks just to try and get some wood as Fruit Berries is trying to punch him off, trying to deal damage. And someone has already gotten a goal. It looks like Dylan just walked up a hill to get to the sky limit. Just like that. Now Dylan <laughs> reached sky limit. Didn't need the blocks. <laughs> and they are stuck on a massive, massive... I mean, when Dylan looks down here, we'll see. There's a, a three status effects. There's breed a horse, leather armor set, empty the hunger bar, trade with the villager, obtain a bucket of tropical fish. Uh, these ones are going to be the interesting ones, though. Obtain more hoppers, have more levels, and more cut blocks. This is a brew a potion of water breathing. So finding a water breathing potion uh, is an option as long as you can find a brewing stand as well. Uh... Oh, find a fortress. It looks like another goal is done because one person has one level. I would assume, I think it's fruit berries here. Did manage to get to one level here. There is kill 100 mobs. So it looks like he started on that goal. Obtain five unique saplings, also a goal. It looks like um, Fyro has boated all the way down to the mainland and immediately found a village to try and trade with the villager here. There is also an internet issue on Fyro's stream, so we will have to refresh it whenever I can. Uh, so the it's it's going to be very very good for Fi for Fyro finding this because one you can trade to the villager, two you can trade for a cookie, which is going to be big. And then you can take a bite of a sandwich. Looks like Curryway has opted to murder fish to get to those 100 mob goal early. Also, getting some levels in the process. Looks like Fyro. Getting ready to trade with some villagers, getting some stone tools. Is this still an underworld? It's not a sky island, it's just everything is amplified, so... Everything is just basically it's regular Minecraft terrain, but multiply the terrain differences by like five. Looks like Pyro, almost ready to trade here. Gonna be getting some some flint to trade sticks with the villager, it looks like. Yeah, it has the two flint there. Gonna be trading. 
Hopefully he is able to think of the cookie goal. And there it is. There it is. There's trade with a the villager. Does he have enough to be able to get that cookie though? Because it's just a farmer villager. That's all you need for the cookie. But I, I wouldn't be surprised now if the moment that the orange team sees that, they beeline it to Fyro. Because that is another goal that they could cut him off with if they can get there. Wait, is Samant going to play? No, I'm the one hosting the tournament. I'm I'm paying the best Minecraft people in the world to play. I have not played a single game in the last two weeks in this tournament from the start. I have just been casting it. <laughs> is this the last match? No, these are losers finals. Please check the bracket. There is there's potentially one or two matches after this depending on who wins. <laughs> Oh, and, oh my god, wait, Orange took some fall damage, it looks like, it looks like di Fruit Berries fell, was digging straight down, right there. Hmm, there is another goal for Blue, and Blue is now 3-1, to one, but again, this, these three goals are the only goals that you're not ever locked out of, you can always get more. So the Orange team could take a point away from Blue and get a point themselves and tie it back up if they're able to get more more levels. Some you probably wouldn't focus on early game, but are going to be doing that. It looks like Fyro digging down to potentially reach Bedrock. He is there in a couple seconds. Granted, he doesn't land on lava. Still trying to go down, and there is the Bedrock goal done. It is 4-1 to one for Blue. They are absolutely killing it. Speaking of killing it, Curryway is at 46 mobs killed and is at level 7. Which is a huge... Uh, Increase to what the other teams are doing. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. Looks like... Looks like Dylan actually was focused on emptying his hunger bar. Does get it. Placing those, uh, those trap doors and just spamming the jump button. Is able to empty his hunger bar at an optimal rate. Getting them... One extra point as, uh, looks like Fyro trying to swim to the surface. A little bit deep water here in this amplified world. Fyro, st or sorry, Curryway, still on a murder spree at 60. Orange is at 9. Nice. And it looks like Fyro just left the village, not even trying to trade for the cookie. Probably decided that it just was not worth the time investment. There are too many early game goals that you could do first, like... Getting status effects or obtaining a bucket of tropical fish. Something of that nature. Maybe entering the nether. I'm not exactly sure what he's going for. But there is a goal because Curryway was killed by Fruitberries. And Fruitberries found the village. So Fruitberries could potentially trade for this cook eagle. And it is now 3-3. Three to three. And that is how easy you can swap these goals back and forth. So gotta be careful. Gotta play well here. It is tied back up with one, one action. And someone in the chat just said, a bucket of tropical fish requires more motion. The thing is, it does not. If you can find a lush cave, you can also get tropical fish in lush caves as well. Can they know who they're tracking of the two opponents? Yes. Why are you not posting on YouTube any longer? I posted like a week ago. I... That's a bad question. There's a video going up tonight. That's... It, like... <laughs> Anyways. Looks like Dylan placing some buttons. I don't know why. <laughs> Where is Dylan going? Oh, it looks like Dylan... Is trying to get to buried treasure? I think Dylan is trying to locate some buried treasure, which is just... In the sky? Who would bury treasure up here? I do not know. 
Dylan, trying to figure out where the hell this buried treasure is. Does he have to give up on it? That would be big for them. You know, potion of water breathing. If a buried treasure has that, that's good. Also, Dylan found an ocean, which is kelp. Looks like Curryway boating down to the surface level and finds a swamp. There is a slime block goal, so you happen to uh, find some slimes in this swamp at nighttime, you could potentially get that goal. I think there's a bigger swamp nearby, but, you know, if he gets a little bit lucky, this one could absolutely work. But looks like uh, Curryway going to be going out to the ocean here. Could potentially start working on the dried kelp blocks while he kills the 100 mobs, but it looks like he's just going to focus on the 100 mobs. He's super close now, only 22 away. 23 away, 22 away, 21 away, 20 away. Curryway, murder spree. And it looks like Fyro has found another village and more internet issues. And is going to probably be able to trade for that cookie because... I think, wait. Wait. Fruit berries sneaking up on Fyro! Probably gonna be able to get him here. Fruit berries, the village warrior, absolutely just, wa just waiting... He just waited for Fyro to do all of the work, and then killed them once it was done. <clears throat> and Fyro is actually back in the village! Fyro trying to make an axe as quickly as possible to be able to sneak up on fruit here. Will he be able to do it? I don't know if fruit knows that he is still here. Unless this is a different village? I can't even tell. Looks like Curryway has found a map. Not showing up in the inventory, but it is there. I think the, the map texture was just forgot to be put on the tracker. Unless he didn't grab the map? I don't even know. Anyways, uh, Curryway about to kill 100. There is no chance that Orange catch up, catches up here. And looks like Fyro just going to dip from the village. Going to get out of there. As Curryway still killing over and over again going to be in the lead here three to four and the the teams that have the obtain more levels goals are at the disadvantage it might seem good but the fact that the other team can just steal that goal away makes it very dangerous so and you know blue is in the lead but they also have the advantage because they could take this back if fruit berries just makes one mistake and dies Yeah, exactly. Now, kill 100 mobs was a goal um, and that Orange was not able to keep up with. You can't just kill a Fyro 100 times. That's right. That would take far too long. Curryway did the, the better strategy of just getting the fish. <laughs> looks like, um... Looks like Dylan has found another buried treasure map. Is gonna be looking to try and find just one... Little smidgen of buried treasure and Curryway in a big swamp with a little bit of luck could do this. It looks like Fruit Berries managed to get enough leather to where the leather armor's at. It is dead even, but again, Orange is at a disadvantage because they have the more levels goal and they could just die or get that goal taken away from them. Bit dangerous. So we'll see what happens here. Now, we're waiting on Curryway's screen. We're going to see if he sees any slimes. It looks like he's looking. He's looking around, trying to see if there are any slimes around. You need nine slime balls to get it. And I think there might be one up on that hill up there. He's, he's looking hard. This swamp is not great for spawning slimes, though. You know, with a lot of the terrain differences. Slimes are going to have a hard time spawning. They need a pretty big spawn area, especially for those big slimes. And that's what you really want. The big slimes. Looks like... Curry going to kill a spider. Is there a unique goal here? I'm not sure what that was for necessarily. Now, use a loom to design a banner is probably the easiest thing on this board. And still no one has done it except Fruit Berries, who is about to. The reason why Fruit Berries or the reason why Curry was going there to get some string for the loom and is able to pull it off. It is now five to four. And Fyro heading back to... Uh, I, I'm not sure if this is the village that has already been looted. I think this is a new one. 
and uh, internet issues galore, hopefully, will be going for this cookie goal soon because, you know, with just a couple of trades with the farmer, you can get to that cookie. I believe it's only a second level trade and it is guaranteed. So, if you just stick around in a village for a couple seconds, you know, maybe a minute, you're able to get a goal. Minute investment for an easy goal could be a thing you can do. Now, something to watch out for once they start entering the nether, because there is find a fortress, charge a respawn anchor to the max, uh, breed eight unique animals, kill a gas, full gold armor. Make sure not to touch obsidian while you're in the nether. You'll, if you find a bastion, getting obsidian is very easy, especially with those piglins just chucking it out. So they're going to have to be pretty careful. The easiest way to probably do that to make sure you don't get the obsidian goal is place a hopper under your piglins and filter it out. You know, you need the hoppers anyways. Might as well do it. it looks like Curryway going to be doing some parkour. Sick jump from Curryway there. You see that cool boat? Oh my god, that was cool. Now, Curryway does... Look at his inventory. He has four saplings right now. Curryway is sitting at four saplings and... That is three status effects at once. And Curryway managed to get more levels, so... It looks like, um, I'm not exactly sure which person got the three status effects at once. I think it's probably Dylan, based on the fact that he has hunger. But, I mean, Curryway is able to take more levels from Fruit Berries, because... I mean, Fruit Berries, it looks like Fruit Berries did die at some point, and lost all of his levels, which... I mean, just gives it back to him, and Fruit... And there we go, Curryway gets the final sapling for all five unique... Or, for five unique saplings, so... You know, they passed this goal back, and now Blue is in the lead. Fruit did die from a spider, okay. Okay, and I mean, look at this, Fyro in another village, and look at those hay bales. That's gonna be fast to level up a villager here. A fast way to level, level up a villager. Now, there is a witch on his screen, there is a uh, a couple of things, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes and farm and grabs all of these things here. Oh my god, it's a warm ocean, that's a tropical fish, it is 7 to 5 now. I didn't even notice that the warm ocean here, this... Is a much closer round now. Oh my goodness! But it looks like Fyro was on autopilot and grabbed the obsidian! Giving Orange Team a free point just because of a simple mistake. Super unfortunate for Fyro. It's just, you know, you get halfway into a match, you forget about that goal, it's over. Now, the one thing about this though is he has nine obsidian. And I believe there is one lava in that uh, thing there. So this might not be a terrible thing after all, just because he could enter the nether and respawn anchor to the max doesn't take that long. Finding a fortress doesn't take that long. Where gold armor set, you find a bastion, that's instant. You get a lot of iron from a bastion too. You can kill a ghast immediately. So it might not even be a bad thing that Fyro was doing that. Now it, it does give the other team an opportunity to do that, but... Something to watch out for. Now, let's take a look at Dylan. Still just boating around, trying to find something to do here. I mean, Fyro, probably getting a lot of hay bales to be able to trade with a farmer villager. Probably going to be looking for just a natural farmer in this village somewhere. Does find a brewing stand, which is interesting. This is a brewing stand house. So, might be grabbing that brewing stand to uh, do the portion of water breathing. Potentially, if he can find a buried treasure. Uh, just plopping a water breathing potion in and out of a brewing stand is enough to trigger that goal. And it looks like Curryway finds a rune portal. Is he going to enter? I mean, what else are you going to do right now in the overworld? Might be cooking a couple of kelp. Hard to say. But I think, I think yeah, if, if Curryway is going to enter right now, this could be a huge advantage for the blue team. But wait. Curry is not the only one entering the nether because Fruitberries is building a portal as we speak. And it looks like Fruit is a little bit faster here. As, uh, as Curry is just doing some final prep. Trying to make sure he has everything. Looks like Curry making some cooked cod. While Fruit just enters the nether. And if a gas spawns in front of Fruit, that could just be a goal immediately done. We'll see. Now it looks like Fyro is looking for that buried treasure map. Does find one. There is a buried treasure map, so that could be the potion of water breathing for blue team. That is another point. You know, Dylan doesn't have that. Dylan has a interesting structure here. I'm not sure if that's going to help them at all, but there is a goal. Yeah, Fruit Berries is able to kill a ghast, but Curryway blinds into a fortress. Huge. 
Now, is there any reason to stay around in the fortress? There are no end goals here. Not A fortress doesn't really help other than just finding it. So it's probably going to be best because especially with, with Fyro about to get that water breathing potion almost certainly. You know, especially with that, what is Curryway going to do? I'm not sure. I mean, Fruit Berries is probably looking for a Bastion. I think ideally now, both Fruit Berries and Curryway are looking for a Bastion. We just need to see who finds the Bastion first, because that's going to be huge. And, you know, Fruit Berries, super good with combat. Lots of resources. And is that is that on the left there? Do you see that little black sliver? I think that might be a Bastion. That is going to be huge. Now, the, the one thing you do need the Fortress for, I, I did misspeak a little bit, you do need it for the Ender Chest. So, <laughs> we'll see here. Is Fruit Berries going to be able to charge the Respawn Anchor to the max before Curryway can either get to him? No, it looks like Curryway is running in the opposite direction. Not exactly sure. Before Curryway is able to do that. I mean, Fruit Berries is probably about to get the gold armor goal as long as he thinks of it. Because this is a bridge bastion. Looks like he places the crafting table down. One, two, three. That's enough. Craft the gold armor. It looks like he is going to craft gold armor. And that ties it up. That is another goal down. Eight to eight. And now blue is at a disadvantage because they're the ones with more levels. You know, the, this goal can be traded. This goal could be stolen by orange and it could be a nine to seven. So it's going to be anything could really happen here. It looks like Fyro almost at that buried treasure. He's been boating for a while, but he's got to be close now. Yeah. But there's no way to know because it keeps dying. Um... Looks like grabbing a lot of resources here and is able to proceed. Looks like Fruit Berry's probably be, going to be going for this charging a respawn anchor as soon as possible. Now, the thing that is very scary for either team is if one team gets to 11, they can make one hopper and make one dried kelp block at the same time and just insta win. So that is something that they will have to start considering. They're probably, you know, some of them, if they're hanging around at any point anywhere... They hopefully will start to at least prepare the materials for either one of these to be able to craft it if they need to. But fruit, still not enough resources to be able to uh, make the charger respawn anchor to max. I'm not sure how many chests he's checked. I don't think he's checked any yet. So we'll see what kind of a bastion this is, if it's a good one. Oh, it is a good triple chest bastion up here. Three chests, the double chest and the regular chest. And there's some Crying Obsidian. That's three. He needs six. That's not enough yet. Okay, three more Crying Obsidian before he's able to make that respawn anchor. And Curry, just trying to dig. And it looks like... I think we we did see a little bit of x-ray there when he was forced into the crawl position. I think there might be another Bridge Bastion right in front of him here. I could be wrong, but I think it is the case. And it looks like Fyro hopefully is close to that treasure unfortunately we will never know <laughs> um maybe just got bad luck on the treasure i don't know either this treasure was you know so far away or just didn't give him anything is this the village that he went to before did he have to backtrack here i'm not sure i'd like to see that treasure map but i don't see it anywhere and it looks like there it is uh fruit berries did get enough to be able to get that uh not quite nine lives here so it is 9 to 8 for Orange Team, but I mean, if they just... And look at this, wait! Curry finds a Bastion! And it looks like it is a different Bastion than Fruit Berries is in, but Fruit Berries does not know that. So Fruit Berries is probably going to be a little bit scared here. Going to be looking out. He's he's waiting. He's like, where is Curryway? He's going to probably try and sneak up on Curryway, but Curryway's not in the same Bastion, I think. I'm fairly certain that Curryway is in a different Bastion to Fruit Berries, so Fruit Berries just wasting time and waiting here. While Curryway is able to get into this Bastion and potentially get... I mean, there aren't any goals directly right now, but could get the resources for Ender Chest. Welcome to Team CVP. It was good at the start. And right here, look at this. Looks like Fyro gonna be getting this cookie. Just trying to get the right, the right trade. A little bit of bad luck. Little, Just trying to get the wheat trade. This is ridiculous. This is actually absurd. Tr still trying to get the wheat trade. Excuse me. What is going on? 
There's the wheat trade. Is able to get an enormous amount of emeralds immediately. Upgrades the villager to level two. And there is the cookie goal coming. Oh, actually, cookie goal is level three. So, gonna wait another couple seconds. And... Takes a little bit of fall damage, so he's able to eat the cookie. And there it is. Fyro with the cookie. It is now 9-9. Nine to nine, Still tied right up. And Curryway just exploring this bastion is... I mean, Fruitberry's a little bit scared. You know, he's still keeping an eye out for Curryway because Curryway could come out of nowhere. But Curryway will not be coming out of nowhere because Curryway is mining out what looks to be the interior of a housing bastion, I think. Or is this stables? I can't quite tell right now. I think this might be stables. Uh, no, it is housing. Oh, and there's a, there's a brute! Curryway's down! Curryway not careful with the brutes. That is very bad for this team. It is not a deal, it is not the end though, because really the only goal you can get in the nether is ender chest. They can still get water breathing in the overworld. They can still get hoppers. They can still breed a horse. They can still get more dry kelp blocks, slime block, breed unique animals. It is not over by any means. And it looks like Fyro is actually starting to work on that breed goal. Going to be breeding a horse, which is difficult. Now, I don't know if you can breed eight animals just in the overworld without some really rare mobs. So they will need to re-enter for at least a hoglin and a strider probably. But that's going to be that. And it looks like they breed the horse, which is a start. It is 10 to 9. Now, the one thing is that if they just get one more goal, they need to make a single hopper and a single kelp block. Blue could just win. And yeah, Orange is able to recognize that and they get the jump. They're like, we need to at least make one hopper and start getting ahead on that. And there we go. They, they make one kelp block as well. Looks like Fyro is on it. Or, sorry, it looks like, um, I think Dylan might be on it. Let's see. Dylan with two hoppers and one kelp block. That is not gonna be enough. If, if Blue gets a single point and is able to steal these goals, they can win. Can we find the bracket anywhere? Yeah, bracket command. So we'll see here. I, I, I expect Fyro might start working on kelp soon. Um... Because, like, what else are you gonna do? I mean, Potion of Water Breathing would be huge. For, for them. But it looks like Fruitberry's actually at level 6. Fruitberry's only needs one more level to be able to steal this goal. And then, again, they would need a single goal to win this. And there it is, yeah. Now Orange only needs a single goal because Fruitberry's is in the lead from Mining Quartz. And, I mean, the Overworld teams, they cannot keep up with Mining uh, Nether uh, mining Quartz. So, they really need to do it. And, oh my god, there we go. Wait, Fyro, able to make more hoppers. It is now 11 to 10 again. They need to take the hoppers back, and then they need to get one more point. They are trading this back and forth, and now... It, it, just back and forth. Yeah, Fyro probably going through the ocean, looking for treasure maps, looking for iron in, in ships to try and get the more hoppers. And it looks like... It looks like Dylan now has even more kelp blocks. It's like the, uh, the amount of kelp blocks was uh, traded between teammates there for a second. A little bit scary, but... It is going to happen. 11 to 10. Oh, it's going to be close. And there we go. It looks like... <laughs> I'm not sure why it keeps making the sound whenever Dylan gets more kelp, but... Also, it only it says Dylan only has one. Oh, it's because Dylan is taking the kelp out of his inventory and then putting it back in his inventory. So he has zero, so it's taking the goal away. That's really funny. Dylan keeps taking one kelp block out of his inventory, and it's just triggering the sound over and over again. But it looks like Dylan is going to be the kelp master, while, I mean, really, they're... It's going to be difficult to, to keep these goals. <clears throat> If both teams are tied on kelp, it's the first team to get that kelp number. So it's the first. It, the you have to have more kelp. And again, this is the best two out of three. So if Orange wins this, they move on, and Blue is eliminated from the tournament, and they get third place. Whoever wins this gets to go to the finals. But yeah, it looks like Dylan grinding out this kelp, trying to get more and more. How many kelp blocks is he at? He's at four kelp blocks. 
It's a pretty good amount, and it looks like Fyro is entering the nether now. Maybe gonna try and get the resources for the ender chest while, I mean, Fruit Berries, looks like Fruit Berries has found a fortress and does have enough obsidian for that ender chest. So, should be over in just a second in terms of the ender chest goal. Um, and then it's 12 to 10. And, I mean, this team really needs to do something about that kelp. But, I mean, it looks like Dylan has, you know, Dylan is satisfied with his four kelp blocks. If the other team starts to focus on that, that could be very dangerous because having these two goals is at a bit of a disadvantage, especially if, if Fruit happens to die, but Fruit probably... Oh! Uh-oh! Fruit taking Wither. Although Fruit does have Golden Carrot, so it's probably fine, but Fruit about to make that Ender Chest, and there it is. The score is 12 to 10. If they are just able to take the Hopper goal back, that's probably the easiest one. They're also at five mobs bred. If they're just able to take that one goal back. And Fyro is in the nether, and it looks like they're going for some combat here. But the thing is, Fyro does not have any food. Except for 48 pumpkin pies. Not great food. It looks like Fyro, if Fyro is able to kill fruit here, this could be massive. Oh my god, what was that sound? I don't know what that sound was. That- that's the match over! Fyro died and lost the hoppers! That's it! Blue team is eliminated! Dylan and Fruitberries move on! They still get a very comfortable third place. They have won a decent chunk of cash. Unfortunate. But those uh, obtain more goals. Brutal. You Hard taking risks like that. Fyro with the special delivery on the hoppers. Unfortunate. But it happens. Let's go. Uh, let's, uh, let's get set up for, I guess, the finals. We'll probably take a little bit of a break. Just to make sure that... The teams are all comfortable and, uh, you know, bathroom breaks and such. I'll talk to them. Let's just go say hello and see, uh, see how they're feeling about their, their win there. Strongholds here. Hello. Hey. Hello. Congratulations on the win. You are going to the finals. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go. You, uh, you have made it. How are you? How do you feel about the seed so far? Those were interesting, to say they, the least. They were so a first one was fun, honestly. Was... I actually kind of like the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I like okay. this one. You did get oh. really lucky with that sugar. The two sugar drop is super rare. Is it? Yeah. Is it? it is super... Yeah, I expected people to trade for it. For the cake. And uh, use the sugar uh, on yeah. the Swiftest Potion. No, we, we were just like... We just went nighttime and we just pie pie charted like a bunch of witches we were trying to get redstone initially yeah yeah yeah. we got two sugar i'm like oh my god wait we don't <laughs> and i just started like thirsting k yeah that was i mean i think you guys you you both got pretty good luck but you also played that really well you were just on almost everything except for the comparator which kind of was sitting there for a while um, yeah, that yeah. One really had that. I mean, everyone was slacking on the comparator, though. It took like we, we 40 minutes. We were trying minutes. to get redstone from witches because, like, for some reason, instead of just like trading for it, mm -hmm. which, but it was mainly because it turned night and like the trading's weird at night. So we yeah, just, that's true. We tried to go. Yeah. I had to like, <laughs> I traded like three stacks of potatoes I for emeralds, <laughs> yeah. and then I'm, I I bought two fish buckets to make cake, and nice. then I had to trade carrots for emeralds. Yeah, so we could get redstone. I like, mean, okay. you you saw the line to poison potato. I was happy about that. That was yeah, that yeah, was my yeah. intended line, and I mean it. I think you got a little unlucky there, but I mean it took forever. It was several bone blocks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just really interesting to look at the board and know, like, okay, like, this isn't just a random board. Every goal is achievable, and we got to figure out how to do it, and, like, just thinking the whole time. It was, yeah. it was fun. It was kind of stressful. Yeah, it was a puzzle. I tried to make it a puzzle. That was the one board that I just picked every single goal. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was not random at all. Every goal was, like, you had to think about it at least a little bit. Also, <laughs> the bedrock. I know, I that was so you funny. Removed the bedrock. I was like, <laughs> we. I thought I was so smart. I'm like, why? Why would there not be bedrock here? Like, come on. And then I dug down. And it's like, yeah, okay. that was the one change that wasn't <laughs> vanilla. Uh, it wasn't default. Uh, super flat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, okay, I could have never expected that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just.
<laughs> Anyways, um, uh, do you need any time before starting your uh, your next match? A uh, break? Um, uh, maybe like three, five minutes, something like five that. Five minutes. Okay, yeah, sounds well, good. I, I'll I'll give we'll you guys that. Good. Just uh, just say when you're ready, um, because you you potentially could have a lot of matches today. So, yeah. Just tell me when right, yeah. and uh, just ping me. Sounds okay. good. You're ready. All right. Bye bye. All right, chat, this is match number two. Uh, I'm going to do the setup really quick here uh, for the, the next match. And this could be it, chat. Fyro, thank you for the raid. Uh, congratulations on third place, unfortunate. But um, the finals are best uh, two out of three still. Because if the matches go long, I don't want to sit here for 12 hours. Uh, so let me just update everything really quick here so I have the right perspective. So the finals chat is between Silver Runs and Rip FC and Dylan and Fruitberries. Now, Dylan and Fruitberries lost round one and have been doing an insane loser's bracket run where they literally cannot lose a single match at all. They can, they can lose one game, but they cannot lose a match. So... This is going to be a uh, pretty, pretty scary overall, and it looks like, um... Oh, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to swap these around, won't I? Alright. Um, looks like silver and them. Alright, let me just switch around the layout a little bit, just so we can start the next match. And by the time we are ready to go, should be good, so... This is now uh, Silver Runs. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Dylan and Fruit are not on the orange team. They are now on the blue team. <laughs> so I gotta swap them around a little bit. Uh, no, it's fine. Just make make sure everything is is correct here for the layout. <clears throat> Dylan and Fruit will be blue. Uh, make sure... Alright, let me just switch around these streams a little bit. Uh, this stream, okay, but yeah, this is the finals chat. The, the, the grand finals of the tournament. This is what it comes down to. If Silver and Rip FC are able to win this match, they win everything. They win the first prize. But if Blue is able to win, they reset the bracket and earn one final match to be able to take home the victory. So Blue Team needs to win two matches in a row to win this because they're in the loser side. But Silver and Rip FC need to win a single match. It is double elimination, so that is how it works. And we are going into the finals here. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that all of the stream feeds are correct. Because I need to... I really do not want any technical issues for the Grand Finals. Okay, uh, Minecraft usernames here. Okay, I think I am almost ready to start. And it looks like, is the board reset? Yeah, no, when the board is reset, that means the world is ready to go here. So, you'll know that we're about to start once that gets cleared. And uh, the first seed here... Um, is... I'm just gonna double check. Probably have a message here. Um... And let me just double check which seed is next. Yep, okay. And it looks like server is up and ready to go. They're just doing the whitelist. And, uh, yeah, this one is going to be... Very interesting for reasons you will see in just a second. Looks like silver rip FC. All right now. Um, 
Now this seed is one of the ones that I actually had to get someone to help me with. I had to have someone help me find the seed because I really wanted it. I really wanted a seed like this. It's, it's very unique. All right, yeah, Dylan DC14 helped me find the seed. Huge shout out to Dylan DC14. Not the Dylan that's in the tournament, different Dylan. Because... You probably heard why. Let's see. Just making sure that everyone is here. Because the spawn is inside of an ancient city. Okay, I need to see where Rip FC is. Don't ring the- you- please do not ring the bell! Jesus Christ! You're gonna kill yourself before the match starts! <laughs> Alright, I'm just asking them if they're ready. And the score is now... Gonna be changed. Let's turn off studio mode, I think. Let's... Uh... Set up... Score. 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 I'll bring this back once uh, we are good to go. Let's see, Rip FC, Dylan, they're all here. Let's make sure they're all synced up. I need to make sure their inventories are right. I think they could be wrong because of the shuffling around. Let me just double check their inventories really quick. Uh, properties, this one should be silver runs. Okay, yeah, the inventories were mixed up a little bit on the tracking. Uh, okay, this one should be rip FC. Okay. This one should be Dylan, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So it should be Dylan. Properties. Make sure this is capturing Dylan. Good. And then this one. And we are about to start here, chat. Properties. This one is fruitberries. Okay. I suppose since it's the finals, I could fix the names too. We'll let them talk and strategize a bit. Why do people have such crazy names, right? Uh, Dylan's a little off there, huh? Good enough. Okay, they start in a village in an ancient city. Alright, I asked if they're ready. Alright, ready? <laughs> Uh, fruit says one sec. Okay. So yeah, this seed is a village in an ancient city. Which I thought was interesting because let's hope they know about ancient cities. There's a lot of things with this board here that are going to be very interesting. The funniest thing is the easiest thing about this board is obtain soul lantern. Because they're just in ancient cities. <laughs> You're showing fruit but don't select it? Yeah, I just, I need to hit the hotkeys. The hotkeys are what fix it properly. Wait, did you click the wrong? Bro, what? You were robbed? Oh no. Oh no, robbed. It happens sometimes, chat. They're fake internet points. What were you gonna do? What, redeem a free emote? Come on. <laughs> you were robbed. It's fake internet points.
Mine said it was an hour old. Oops. All right, we're just waiting for, um... All right, looks like they're ready. Dylan? Ready? I'm just gonna make sure Dylan hasn't said he's ready yet. He's good, sorry. All right, we're starting the game chat. All right, so this is a pretty interesting seed with, so Ancient City. They're starting in an Ancient City. What kind of goals can we see being done soon? Well, there's an opponent dies goal. I also need to change the difficulty to easy, actually. Uh, difficulty easy, there we go. Um, there's an opponent dies goal, so they need to make sure they don't die. Uh, the Soul Lantern is probably the easiest goal. Now, let's hope they know about Ancient Cities because you can get both a Redstone Comparator and a target block in the ancient city if they know what they are looking for. Um, there's also a lot of exposed diamonds in this room. And getting to level 15 and level 30 with the diamond hoe, which you can find in the chests, is something that's possible. There is also 64 gray wool in ancient cities if they're able to find it and mine it and think about it. So there are a lot of goals that they could immediately do here. Other than that, they could also, in fact, get six status effects at once because there are a lot of Enchanted Golden Apples. So this one, it could be a very fast match here if they know what they're doing. They have to play well though. It looks like Dylan is gonna be running through. They're running, they're trying to, I think they might be trying to kill the other person. Their Rip FC has just fallen. And Rip FC is in the dark. Has that scary darkness effect it looks like. And um, let's see, it looks like the first goal is down. Fruit Berries mines that Soul Lantern, gets it immediately. And now, what is he going to do after that? He's, he just ran across some gray wool. Going to be interesting here. Now, do they know about the redstone room in the ancient city? I'm not exactly sure. Now, yeah, Rip FC, you can, you can see here, he has the darkness effect. They're going to have a hard time moving around easily with all of the enemies, with the, uh, the wardens around. So we'll see here, they're, they're, they're starting this ancient city, and Rip FC, no tools, did not get any wood, he was, you just punch down, and he can't die to go back to spawn. He's just gotta run around and, you know, be a little bit scared. Looks like Silver has found an EXP bottle, that's a start, but also has a golden apple. Now, right where Silver is right now, if he digs straight down, he will find a comparator, he will find a, a target block for the bullseye advancement, won't need to do that, and it looks like, looks like Dylan getting some blocks, Almost every single one of them opted to not do anything, but it looks like Fruit Berries did actually get a pickaxe, is going to get some stone tools. That is going to help that team out a lot. While Rip FC crouching, trying to get to these chests, seeing if there's any goals that can be done, and it looks like Fruit Berries does know about the secret room, is able to get the comparator. I'm, I'm, if Blue Team didn't know about this, they're probably very confused right now, and there is the target block as well. Gets a piston, gets a redstone block, Trying to I'm not sure what the redstone block is for exactly, but something Is able to run out here Blocks it back off does not want them getting in there and it looks like Dylan has Killed oh my goodness No silver is now on very low HP same with rip FC They are kind of dominating this match already You know the score is only zero to two But there is a lot to do and it looks like fruit berries is gonna be punching out this and actually right here silver falls into lava but he gets the spawn on top of the mountain and is able to leave without touching that ancient city he does get the lucky spawn on the mountain and dylan was slain by a warden foolishly chooses to kill it i think but it looks like fruit berries still mining out slowly the 64 gray wool there is going to be 64 gray wool here but it's going to take a lot of time and you know with Silver on the surface, you can eat 10 of these foods. You can, um... That's about it. That's about it. Everything else is in the nether. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are they sneaking? They do not want a warden to spawn. Yeah, it looks like Silver. He says, I'm going back in, baby. It's time for the ancient city chaos. Goes back in and, I don't know, maybe gonna go and start collecting this gray wool, but Fruits at 45, that's gonna be a massive waste of time for, for Silver here. 
Because Fruit is just going to get there first unless he can kill him. But yeah, Rip FC running, trying to get some resources, has some enchanted books, has some diamond horse armor, which is a start for the every, every type of horse armor goal, and looks like gonna be going up, maybe trying to get some wood. And it looks like there is another goal. Fruit managed to get his 64 gray wool. It is zero to four right now. It looks like blue team has been studying up on their ancient cities, which is good. You know, lockouts require knowledge of all of Minecraft. This helps out a lot. It's just so over. Yeah, sure. Sure it is. We'll see about that one, Chet. But yeah, we'll see here. It looks like Dylan went to the surface. Maybe starting to breed. Maybe getting 10 unique foods, 20 unique foods. Those are really the three surface goals. Snow Golem is actually another one. If Dylan is able to uh, just, you know, get a, a single pumpkin... And uh, get some snow, which there is snow on that mountain. Could be pretty big. Although he opts to not get any snow, which is interesting. Looks like Silver is going to be running around now. The level 15 and level 30 goals can pretty easily be achieved inside of the Ancient City. Because there are chests with diamond hose in them. And the skulk all around, you can get to level 30 in about 4 minutes if you do it optimally. So those two goals, if someone is able to find a diamond hoe will be pretty big. Looks like no one has found one of those diamond hoe chests. But if they find it, that could be really, really big. Shouldn't Blue Team have the target block goal? No, because it is get the bullseye advancement. It's not just get a target block. But it looks like Dylan writing in chat 100, negative 100 lava. There is a lava pool nearby, which is a nether enter. Nether enter, get the full set of gold tools. Get all the nether biomes, use a smithing table. You need to find a stronghold, eat a chorus root. There are a bunch of different goals. The spyglass advancement is easiest in the nether by looking at a ghast. A lot of stuff that can be done here. And it looks like silver still running through here, trying to find anything of value. Going to be looting a chest here. Hopefully he's able to find that diamond hoe. No diamond hoe yet. Not checking the right chests. We'll see here. What is the twist for this round? They spawn in an ancient city. <laughs> oh my god. Dylan finds a village. Zombie villager is a goal. You're going to be able to get a lot of foods here. I don't think you can get too much else, but it is a very good start. And I mean, Fruitberries is still probably going to be clearing. Fruitberries does have Amethyst from the Amethyst Geode. Spyglass Advancement. Looks like Fruit does make the connection. Hey, I could just hold the Skulk. Get to level 15. It makes an Iron Hoe instead of anything else. And I think Fruit Berries here may be going to uh, to mine out as much Skulk as he can. Which is, uh, honestly, you'd, you'd love to see that. It's a, something you don't generally see in these kind of matches, but they made that connection and are going to start clearing out all of this Skulk. And you'll see how fast Fruit Berries gets those levels. Yeah, look at this. Fruit Berry, level 2. Fruit berries, level three, level four, level five, and it just goes up and up and up. The one thing is if a warden sees you, you are dead without armor on. It will just kill you. So it is something to watch out for. And uh, this iron hoe is almost broken, but he is almost level 15. It's going to be interesting. Looks like Dylan also has a blast furnace, so we'll be able to start trading for that chain armor goal. And fruit berries... Just mining away, almost level 15. It looks like the hoe is going to break before he can get there. The iron hoe is going to break. Now, it's a little little scary, but it happens. Now, one thing to keep an eye on. Silver has found an enchanted golden apple, which is four effects. If you get darkness and one other effect, you can get six potion effects. Now, regeneration is something that... Uh, the gold, Enchanted Golden Apple does give you. So, you cannot use the regeneration potions that are in the inventory. Silver needs to find one more potion effect. If Silver can find one potion effect, maybe Dolphin's Grace and, or no, I guess not. The Darkness you can't really bring with you. But, you know, if, if, if Silver can find two potion effects, the Enchanted Golden Apple is going to go a long way. And it looks like, um... Dylan, going to probably start trading for the Chain Armor, I would expect. That's going to be something that's going to happen soon. Maybe doing some breeding... 
Hasn't started yet, but looks like, here we go. Fruit made a stone hoe. Does not insta-mine the skulk, which is going to slow him down significantly. That is a spawner for a warden, but he does get to level 15 here. And that is uh, a 5-0 lead for blue team. And it looks like here, Dylan is actually able to enter the nether, and... I mean, this could be a complete wash for Orange Team. We'll see. You know, I don't know. Or Orange Team... Doesn't have a lot of resources at the moment. It's a little scary. Blue is kind of killing it right now. Looks like they're going to be making a shovel. Start on that snow golem goal, I would guess. Gets a little bit of snow here. So that's a start. But they're going to be hard to beat... Uh, blue team here when um, you know blue team has a village and is able to keep moving through this uh, the, these depths now it'll be interesting to see I, I'm surprised that they have not found that diamond hoe yet there are usually several diamond hoes in these ancient cities so we'll see if they're able to find at least one because that would get that would get fruit berries to level 30 if he can get there does find some food in the glow berries, and it looks like Dylan waiting for a wood light. Waiting for the portal to, to light itself while... I mean, looks like Rip FC is maybe going to eat stuff. They're at 9 already. So they may be getting the eat goal. That will get them on the board. You know, breaking the seal. <laughs> They're not going to get shut out completely here, I don't think. It looks like Silver just exploring, going in a straight line, trying to find anything anything to get them on the board it looks like there is a shipwreck in front of them so that could be a start to die by anvil it could be a start to full set of gold tools you need 11 gold you know you get a little lucky here okay there's five gold that's a start six more you could find that in the buried treasure that is next to this chest looks like no map there is no buried treasure nearby very unfortunate but looks like Fruit still exploring this ancient city a little bit more. Looking for maybe an enchanted golden apple, maybe a diamond hoe. It'll start on the full diamond tools goal. Now, around this cave, there are a lot of different... Um, around this cave, there are a lot of diamonds on the ceiling and walls. I, I did see that when the world was... Uh, when I was looking through the world. So, that is a goal that can be completed just by hanging around in this ancient city. So, it'll be interesting to see if that is something that they go for. Looks like Dylan has left the village, not getting the zombie villager goal. A very interesting decision on Dylan's part, especially because it is nighttime. <laughs> Maybe just didn't think of it, didn't see it. <clears throat> Although Dylan has some snow, no, or there is pumpkin in his inventory. The, the inventory tracker is a little bit busted. It shows pumpkin seeds instead of pumpkin. Those pumpkin seeds in the top left of his inventory is actually just a regular pumpkin. Oh, wait. No, he did not leave the village. It's right there still. He is totally fine. So it looks like he's going to be looking for two iron to be able to shear that pumpkin goal. But Rip FC is able to get it first, wasting Dylan's time. That is what they need to do. They need to be wasting time here. They absolutely need to be wasting time. It looks like the it looks like Dylan is entering the nether here and Orange is able to get another goal. They're on the board. And Orange is able to get six potion effects. Was able to find it. It is three to five. Got, uh, what it looks like it's Hunger, Dolphin's Grace, and, uh, or Hunger is something else. And then the Enchanted Golden Apple for four effects. But with Dylan being in the Nether, that is very, very scary. Because you can get a lot of objectives in the Nether. You can get the, the Glowing Gun of Crimson sign if you brought Glow Ink in. You can get the Smithing Table if you find a Bastion. You can do all of the biomes. What is op vs? Don't just type that. Are you orange smat? I Can chat explain what's going on to Mystic Nacho? I don't have time. <laughs> Chat, don't say I'm orange. No. 
I am hosting the tournament. I'm putting up 50k of my own money to try and convince the, the best Minecraft players to fight it out in a lockout tournament. This is the finals match. I've never been in the tournament. I was hosting the whole time. <laughs> Jesus, chat. Let me cast my tournament. Anyways, Dylan killing a lot of nether mobs, but not at a ton of mobs yet. You can kill 10 in the overworld, I think, if you're absolutely insane and get some pretty good luck. So, there is a chance that uh, Orange can take that, but... Odds are it will be Dylan that is able to clear all out, clear out all of these mobs here. Cause I mean they're at six. They're um, they're really cruising here. I mean Fruitberries finally out of the ancient city. Looks like gave up on trying to find that diamond hoe to get to level thirty here. Gave up on the diamond tools or didn't even try it. Looks like they're going to be starting to eat some food. Maybe they can cut off the other team from getting to uh, twenty. We'll see here because that would be a a big benefit for them. But uh, really, there's not too much stuff else you can do in the overworld. Finding a village, maybe making a zombie villager, or finding a zombie villager. Um, there is something that uh, that blue team can do, though. They can find a bastion, and if they're a little bit lucky, they can use a smithing table. So this could be pretty big for them. And that is another hostile mob, so they are at seven, and there will be a piglin brute in this bastion. Um... So that'll be another unique mob. That's eight. It looks like, um, uh, fruit berries did just kill a spider, bringing them up to eight. They need two more. The fact that, that uh, uh, fruit berries is on a mountain, if uh, you have a skeleton fall into powdered snow, you can make a stray. That could get you to nine, and then the, the brute could get you to ten here. It'll be really interesting, but it looks like, oh my god, silver has enough iron to die to an anvil. Does he have a bed set? I don't think he has a bed ready, though. Because 31 iron is the exact amount you need for an anvil. Looks like, I think Silver, before he dies, will be trying to get, um, trying to get to a bed. And there is a village, which can get you a zombie villager if you're ready for it. So this could be huge for this team if they're just able to make it to the village and, and get that zombie villager, get that, uh, anvil before Dylan is able to get the iron from the bastion. We'll see here. Looks like Dylan's stream may have died here. It's a little concerning. Oh, no, he clicked off. I think he might have been checking a wiki. That'd be my guess. But looks like all gold tools is something that is not done, and they get sniped because Silver is able to get it first. Dylan just didn't think of it. That is a... Silver... Or Dylan is probably facepalming right now. He had to check the wiki for gold tools, but he couldn't, he, he couldn't check it fast enough. <laughs> Obviously, that's a joke. Um, but it, now Silver is going to be able to make a, an anvil too. We'll see if he does that. Because Silver has 34 iron in the inventory. That is enough for the anvil. Looks like Dylan is killing a brute here to get to nine. That is the ninth one. A little scared, but does kill that. And Silver gets the bed, is probably going to be making the anvil in a second here. Yep. And this is going to be tied right back up. You guys said it was over from the start, but... It was just getting started. <laughs> yeah, now looks like... Placing the anvil, having it fall onto a pressure plate repeatedly so you can pick it right back up. Their silver is down. It is now tied. But the thing is, it, Orange is going to be in the lead in a second when they get this zombie villager kill. And it looks like getting all of this wood, gonna be trying to trade for chain armor as well. So this is a goal and this is a goal that can be done in just a second from now. But it looks like Dylan trying to shoot down this gas to be able to kill this last mob, gets one shot, runs out of arrows, is not able to kill the gas. Bad accuracy, punished. Orange team is still not even close though. You know, gotta be able to get to the nether to speed up that goal a little bit, and it looks like they're not even close to entering. RIP FC, not even any iron ingots in the inventory. But, looks like, looks like Silver is getting close, and there it is. Does manage, looks like Fruitberries found a witch of all things to be able to get the last mob. Not the gas, but a witch, as uh, Silver, gonna probably be mining as much as he can to be able to get some stuff. Very, very interesting that they haven't gone for Zombie Villager yet. That is something to watch out for. And 20 foods. Orange is still in the lead, but blue is catching up. It looks like uh, 
Rip FC is burning himself deliberately whenever he gets the chance to be able to get to that uh, that goal. And Orange also in the lead with Breeding. You know, six, you can just do overworld goals if you have a village with wheat, which this one doesn't have it, but could definitely do it. Looks like Silver Runs is baiting a villager, uh, a, a zombie, to create a zombie villager here. Will be a pretty interesting. Looks like there's a stray. Would have helped for the 10 unique mobs, but looks like it's not going to be the case here. Zombie gets in the boat. And Zombie's in the boat. Villager also in the boat. Incredible strat there. And the Zombie Villager is going to come any second now. We'll probably hear the jingle about a second before we see it happen, but... There it is. Zombie Villager. It is now tied back up 6-6 six to six as Dylan is in the Bastion saying, What the hell am I doing here? I can't get any goals. You know, probably just going to plan on exploring another. Finding a stronghold, maybe. Getting some pearls. He has 16, 17 pearls. Probably going to have a little bit more once he uh, jumps into this hole here. Maybe visiting nether biomes. It is neck and neck. Oh, yes. Oh, it absolutely is. This match is not over. This orange team has brought it back from a 5-0 and deficit to 6-6. Six and six. Now, the one thing that Fruit Berries does have... Fruit Berries does have that... Target block, I think it might be missing from the inventory tracker. I can't imagine that fruit berries would throw away the target block. Right? I think it might just be missing. So, I think fruit berries is pretty much any second now is probably going to get that bullseye. Maybe he just forgot about it, but... Looks like Silver is able to finally enter the nether. Not going for the chain armor. Maybe thinking about it first. Maybe it's like, oh, should I get the chain armor? Maybe looking around. I'm not exactly sure what Silver is looking for here. Maybe iron for a flint and steel? Gravel for a flint and steel, maybe. No? What could it be? I'm not sure exactly what Silver is doing here. Maybe going for breeding? I'm not sure. It looks like Rip FC has actually found a village. Will Rip FC be going for the iron? Maybe that's what's going on here. Rip FC does have golden carrots, is able to breed horses. I'm not sure if they've already bred it or not, but... Looks like Silver is falling into lava? I'm not sure. Maybe Silver hurt himself for... to eat more food? I'm actually not even sure, but... Looks like Dylan, almost done with this Bastion. Trying to, uh, to make a shield, maybe. Getting ready for some PvP, potentially. As Silver gets into the Nether. And immediately opens up to... Ooh! Be able to spyglass a gas, And there are two biomes right away. Looks like Orange here has pulled ahead, manages to breed what looks to be some horses, I assume. And Orange is also close to eating all 20 foods. Orange could be pulling ahead here in a second. You know, with with uh, with Silver having that spyglass ready, you know, it, any second now, a gas could show up and that's that could be over also as well. You know, Silver already has three nether biomes. Red forest, blue forest, and uh, nether wastes. You only need Soul Sand Valley and um, Basalt Delta. If you're able to find both of those, that is just another goal, but it looks like Dylan is on the hunt. Dylan has the pearls, Dylan has the fire resistance, Dylan has a crossbow, and is in a blue forest, which Silver Runs is just on the edge of. This could be interesting here. What is going to happen? And it looks like Fruit Berries has re-entered the city. Maybe looking for some diamonds to mine or some other resources. I'm not exactly sure yet, but we'll have to keep an eye on him. But it looks like Silver has made it out of the area here. Has made it out of the blue forest and looks like that's a Soul Sand Valley right ahead. So that's only one biome left. Yeah, there's a Soul Sand Valley. Gonna open up F3 to make sure that they've, that they've explored it. That should count. And it looks like Orange pulls ahead two points because uh, Rip FC was able to finish off those food goals and Rip FC is still in a village. Is going to be able to trade for that chain armor. Oh my god. Silver almost falling into lava. Terrifying. Does recover the boat. And Dylan still chasing him down but just not able to catch up yet. You know, Silver is running, as the name suggests. And really, this is anyone's game still. If Dylan is able to kill Silver here, that would be huge for the team. But 
If Silver is able to just look at a ghast, that's another point. You know, he has the spyglass, is ready to go. Just has to have that big white baby spawn in front of him. You don't want to hear those words? They make baby sounds, do they not? Is that not what a ghast is? It's just the sound of a baby? Oh my god, wait. On silver screen is Basalt Delta. That is the final biome for Visit All Nether Biomes as well. And that's going to be a huge jump from up to level 30 here. Silver is going to have more levels. And yeah, look at that. No. Wait. Dylan is able to get there first. Seconds before silver. Brutal. Dylan with the Ender Pearls is now in, in the exact same Basalt Delta. The name is on Dylan's screen. Dylan is hunting them down and my mic fell off of the stand. But there is another goal. Silver does see the ghast and is able to get it before Dylan is able to get to him. My microphone fell off. I'm going to unplug it one second. Dylan kills Silver. Silver's stuff is completely burned. But what else are you going to do in the nether? Maybe smithing table, maybe stronghold. But that is going to be a huge bonus. Uh, I mean, Dylan. I mean, actually, the only thing left is nether goals, really. I mean, full set of diamond tools you can do in the overworld. Level 30. It looks like Fruit did, in the end, manage to find a, a, a diamond hoe. And is going to be grinding to level 30 here. By, by clearing out the ancient city. So, Fruit is going to bring this back to 9 to 8, almost certainly, while Rip FC is going for the Iron Armor, or the Chain Armor trade. But once that Chain Armor trade is done, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They can't get the level 30 goal, because that's going to be done, really, maybe Bullseye. And then, that, then, and then they have to go into the Nether. Really, the only way to win this is to be in the Nether, doing the Nether structures, and... You know, Dylan is the only one there now, now that Silver's down. <clears throat> and yeah, this is only game one of the match. And look at this. Fruit does get to level 30 at long last. And Fruit has diamonds on diamonds on his screen. Is going to be smelting this iron to be able to get those full set of diamond tools. He already has the hoe, which means he needs nine diamonds. There's two on his screen right now. And I saw him pass... Three other veins while he was mining out the skulk. So, almost certainly going to have enough here. Fruit eating the po the eyes for some reason. I don't know why he was eating the spider eyes. Maybe didn't notice that the other team had gotten the eat goal. I'm not exactly sure what that was for. Maybe just completely out of food. But looks like he's at two diamonds now. And, and Dylan just running through... The nether here, trying to find a fortress, I assume, to be able to find that stronghold, get the horse armor. Um, Dylan did make some glow, some signs. He just not, needs the glow ink now, but it looks like silver is going to be entering the nether very soon here. Um, if he's just able to find some iron. Although, does silver have enough to smelt an iron bucket? I'm not sure. Not sure what Silver is going for here, because Silver just does not have the wood or the coal to be able to smelt uh, three iron. So, might be going to the surface. We'll see as, I mean, Fruit now has six diamonds worth. You need to get to 11. Fruit is getting very close to that full diamond tools goal, while uh, Rip FC has 20 emeralds, is very nearly there to the iron... Um, uh, to the chainmail goal, you need 27 emeralds optimally. So, seven more emeralds. And, I mean, that's a couple of sticks. Might already have the wood in his inventory to do it. And it looks like Dylan going to be purling, finding another bastion. This could be big because there is a smithing table goal. You need that netherite ingot. I don't know how much, if any, ancient debris he has. Looks like there's none. 
Does do a sick vine clutch. Nice flex, Dylan. And uh, able to go to this Bastion. And wait, this was the Bastion that Dylan was at before. Dylan, gone in a big circle. Not sure why he might be back here. Maybe he realizes he did miss a chest or two. And he's going to look for that Ancient Debris. There is none in there, though. Unfortunate. But here, any second now. Looks like Silver mining Redstone. Looks like Silver is going to be going for the Bullseye Advancement. Trying to get the, uh... Trying to get that, that target block, but... Fruit Berries does have a target block in the inventory. It's not showing up for some reason. But, um... Does have the target block. And it looks like Fruit is going to get a couple more diamonds here. Fruit's at 9. Fruit only needs 2. If this is a 2 vein, it's over. Ooh. Fruit needs a single diamond now. To be able to make the full set of diamond tools. And Dylan is being bullied by Brutes. And there we go. Rip FC trades for that iron. But Dylan is doing it. Dylan is down in the treasure bastion. Does he find a netherite ingot? This could be what they need to catch back up. Is there a netherite ingot in this chest here? Dylan's in a dangerous position. Oh, oh! The brute jumped. One hit and there's a brute above him. If the Brute knocks him into lava here, he does not have fire resistance. Uh-oh! The Brute's coming down! He's surrounded. Dylan tried- Oh! There's the big magma cube! Again, no fire resistance for Dylan. This is- this is scary. He's able to jump down. Finally gonna be able to open up these chests here. And what was that goal? Looks like it looks like Fruit managed to find the last one. And there's no ingot in the chest. Just a single scrap. Dylan now needs four more ancient debris to be able to get that smithing table goal. But uh, but Fruit Berries was able to secure those diamond tools. Now, something that I needed to point out is Fruit had the diamonds, but did not have the sticks and needed to go and locate a thing. And wait a minute, no, it's in the hot bar. Never mind. Dylan does have an ingot in the hot bar but doesn't have enough wood to be able to make the smithing table. It's always a wood issue. <clears throat> not enough wood and not enough iron as well. And oh my God, silver is, wow. Sorry, my silver stream is really delayed. Uh, Silver enters the nether and had glow ink to be able to do the crimson sign. They need two points. They could very realistically find get that bullseye advancement and then they need one goal to win. And for 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 blue to win now, they need four points. Blue needs four points to win. One, two, three, four. What, like, what goal are they going to do? They basically have to get to the, at least the stronghold now. Orange is at a massive advantage. So this, this for, for blue to win, they literally have to go to the stronghold at the very least. And now, I mean, silver has the, uh, has the redstone for the target block. And, is, and Fruit Berries dies to a hoglin is back in an ancient city. And is going to be stuck here for a little while. There's nothing you can do here now. And Fruit lost the target block too. Which means that this target block goal that Silver is going for. It looks like actually Rip FC has a target block in the inventory in the hotbar there. Looks like Rip FC will be going for it. Six arrows. That should be enough. Gonna do the uh, gonna do the cool uh, target block strat. Now, bullseye, you have to hit it directly in the center. But the strat that is used for that is to shoot directly down onto a trap door. 
And then with that trap door, what you're able to do is just shoot the target block anywhere from a distance and you're far enough away that it usually does work. And we're going to hope that that was centered. We'll see here. Get, get 30 blocks away and nails it. Boom. First arrow. Done. Bullseye. 12 to 9. Orange team needs a single point to win. Blue team needs everything. The most likely goal that we will see Orange winning on is the horse armor if they're able to get to a fortress. But they need a fortress. Both teams need a fortress. Because blue team needs to kill the ender dragon and get a smithing table. Which they still do not have. They don't have that smithing table yet because they're still lacking on wood. They're just not able to get it. They have the iron. They have the two iron now. And Dylan, there's wood in your bastion, my man. Grab the wood. Get the goal. Are you playing this or watching someone else's POV? I'm hosting the tournament. I put $50,000 of my own money in and convinced the best players of Minecraft on the planet to compete. I've never been playing. 50k? Yes! It's in the title! It's the first thing! <laughs> Why doesn't someone just use an armor trim? It doesn't exist! This is version 1.19.4. Looks like Dylan just running away from his wood, not immediately using the smithing table. Just blind by, bl blinded by the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the brain, you know? You, you don't recognize placed wood as something that you can already collect. And it looks like he's going to be going all the way to the blue forest for this wood, I think. Brutal. Could have had that goal earlier and I don't know if, if, uh, we'll see. Is Silver running in his direction? Not really, no. But looks like Dylan here <laughs> grabbing the wood from the blue forest. Didn't make the connection, and there you go. <laughs> is able to make the smithing table. The stream's a little bit delayed, but gets that goal. Makes an axe instead of a pickaxe. Interesting decision. Let's refresh the stream really quick. And uh, now, I mean, again, orange team needs one goal. Blue team needs everything. Yeah, right now, horse armor is something that could be happening. Looks like Rip FC is having some internet connectivity issues, some some lag. Which is interesting. Look at this. It's a little concerning for Rip FC. I'm not sure what's going on there. But it looks like um Silver is able to find, unfortunately. Another bastion that is not what silver needs Silver needs a uh, silver needs a fortress to be able to get that horse armor But this could be a start to potentially you know getting ender pearls does speed up the process significantly So we'll see here what silver is able to do as oh, no Dylan finds the fortress and Dylan is going to be I assuming Dylan gonna be running through looking for for horse armor as quickly as possible. Fruitberries takes another death. Unfortunate here. Fruit, what is going on? It could have been on purpose. Yeah, it looks like Rip FC's internet right now. Rip FC has one bar of internet. I just checked uh, in, in game here. It's a little bit concerning. For Rip FC, but, you know, there's nothing you can do. Your internet's bad, your internet's bad. You gotta play it out. Let's hope it doesn't affect him too much. Going into the nether, though, a little dangerous. And looks like, look at Dylan here. He has one gold horse armor. He does need seven leather to get the leather horse armor. He does not have it. He, You do get leather from trades, but it looks like Dylan did not think of that. You know, you can't think of everything all at once. No horse armor in there. It's dangerous. Very dangerous. Saddle. 
Come on, where are the horse armors? You have no now. You know, Fruitberries did have diamond horse armor before he died. Let's hope that isn't the difference maker here. You could ask everyone to pause. I mean, it's I no for what and wait for internet to get better. That just doesn't happen. Looks like Dylan still not finding that necessary horse armor. Just seeing the gold stuff needs that iron. But yeah, there was diamond horse armor in the ancient city, but uh, Fruitberries had it and he died, I believe. And Dylan still not finding that horse armor. Might be at the end of this fortress here. This fortress might have had bad, bad luck and not gotten that horse armor. It does mean that most likely, you know, the next, the fortress that, um, that Silver or Rip FC will be going to. Please load. Please load. There you go. Uh, it could mean that they find a different fortress and are able to get this. But this is just match one. Uh, that was a deliberate death from Fruit Berries, by the way. Um, just doing a hunger reset, I think. Yeah, so it looks like Rip FC and, uh, and Silver... Gonna both be looking for fortresses if they can find that. And it looks like uh, Rip FC does already have the leather horse armor. Had uh, seven leather, man. That's why uh, Rip FC was killing those horses. Get seven leather to be able to make that horse armor here as as Silver just clears out this bastion. Trying to get pearls, trying to get uh, fire resistance potions more easily move through the nether. And if they get cut off on this horse armor goal, they will still be able to do this. And it looks like Silver actually has two pieces of horse or rip fc has two pieces yeah wait rip fc has the diamond horse armor and the leather horse armor and let's see is that a fortress on rip fc's screen i can't quite tell yeah but yeah, looks like Dylan has given up on the uh, the goal of the horse armor for now. You can get a horse armor in end cities, and you do need to go to the outer end for the chorus fruit. So maybe that's what Dylan is planning on. Getting horse armor from end cities, I believe that is something you can get. I correct me if I'm wrong. But this is just match one, so, you know, if either team wins, it is not over for either of them. But yeah, looks like Silver just clearing out his inventory a little bit more here. Now, Rip FC is in a, is in Dylan's Bastion, actually. This is the Bastion that Dylan used to be in. There is no gold here left. There's, a, there's a, you know, a couple of tools, maybe, that were left behind, but this Bastion has been looted. Sadly. Looks like Fruitberries is getting the leather for Leather Horse Armor, so Fruitberries has one of the four Leather Horse Armors, and... This might be a new fortress for Dylan. If this is a second fortress for Dylan, he could be getting every type of horse armor. And there is a chance that they're able to come back from this because uh, Silver Team, Orange Team, does not have a fortress yet. So Dylan could save this for that. Yeah, this is this must be new. He's checking. Saddle. He needs every type of horse armor except gold here. Maybe. Has he checked these already? It looks like he's marking it off. So he doesn't check anything twice. Yeah, gonna just, just methodically clearing this area. There's iron horse armor. That is... Does, he has iron horse armor. Okay, he just needs diamond horse armor now. He already did find it while we weren't looking, so... There is some horse armor, but wait, look at this. Silver has found a fortress, and it is a different fortress to Dylan. And there we go. Silver has iron horse armor. Silver has gold horse armor and 56 leather. Silver just needs diamond horse armor. They both just need diamond horse armor. Who will be able to clear it first? Dylan opens a chest. Still nothing. Silver, looking for the next chest. 
Will either of them find it? It looks like Rip FC has also found a fortress and is looking with silver. This is this is going to be close. It's whoever finds the diamond horse armor first. And for the sake of entertainment, I'm cheering for blue a little bit because it would be cool to see them go to the end. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but it looks like they're both looking and neither of them have found it. Diamond horse armor is the rarest. But wait, Rip FC has the diamond horse armor if, if they just meet up. If Rip FC is just able to meet up with Silver, they may be actually at different bastions. If Rip FC meets up with Silver right now, they could win this. If they can meet up before Dylan. Maybe it's just a lack of communication. Maybe they just haven't thought about it. It looks like Dylan is giving in. And it looks like Silver is going to search a little bit. Well, I think... Rip FC might be running towards Silver here. Let's see. I think that could be the case. If Rip FC is able to make it to Silver, then Orange Team wins this. But if Dylan is able to kill Rip FC, then Blue Team has a chance. Or Dylan could find another fortress. Anything can happen here. Because I think Dylan, Dylan, he, oh, he doesn't have rods, does he? Oh, no, he does. He has seven rods and 25 obsidian. Dylan has a huge head start on the stronghold goal. So if Dylan is able to get another fortress, and Dylan has a huge head start on that stronghold goal with all of the obsidian and all of the rods already secured, but it looks like Silver gets a single rod and is just going to beeline it for the Stronghold to get there first to secure a victory. Nice big cave. You can find distance with that. Looks like Silver is trying to find where the Stronghold is and Dylan just needs one diamond armor horse piece. <laughs> Wrong order of the words there, but... That's all right. All right. Will Dylan do it? Will Dylan be able to find it? This is just game one to three. Yes. Looks like Dylan still exploring these fortresses. Just getting so unlucky. Gold horse armor galore. Oh. Dylan does not have the leather yet, but that is not something that is particularly difficult to do. Looks like Silver going to the stronghold location. Gonna probably make it there first. I mean, the only way that this is stopped is if Fruit is chasing, but... I mean, Silver is pretty far out at this point, and Dylan, just no diamond horse armor. Heartbreaking. What's up with Fruit? Fruit is running through the, the nether... Trying to reach someone. I, I think it's probably either meeting up with Dylan or trying to kill Silver. My guess is that trying to kill Silver is the objective here. And Silver is building the portal. And this could be it. This could be it for game one. We'll see where Silver blinds into. Underground and the, the stronghold. Going to be looking around for it. Close to the stronghold, gonna be digging down. This could be a win. Probably, uh, Silver probably dig needs to dig around 40 blocks down. If Silver got the white right coordinates, we're gonna be hearing a jingle any second now. And there it is. That is game one. Orange wins this one. But the matches isn't over yet. It is a best two out of three. And that is the score. One for orange. Let me just make sure they're all visible now. And we are going to be starting the next match in just a minute. I'm going to hit the bathroom. We're going to set up the new world and we'll be going in five.
That is match one now. Now. Um, now, Team Blue is in a very difficult spot. Because Team Blue now has to win two in a row. If they win two in a row, they can get the bracket reset and have a chance at another match. But if Orange wins this, they win the whole thing. The entire event, because they are on the winner's side. Orange needs to win one game in the next two to win it all. So we'll see what happens. The server's resetting. I'm going to hit the bathroom. I'm going to be right back.
All right. Bathroom break is done, and we're ready to rock. Hello. Everything's all good. Let me refresh their streams real quick. Refresh. One, two. Refresh. 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 All right, chat. Server is up. Board is ready, I think. Never mind. It's not ready yet. Almost done here, they say. This could be the final game of the tournament here, chat. This could be it. This could be everything. Looks like the server's up. Is the board ready? There's the board. Looks good, I hope. Yeah, here we go. Looks good. Let's start up the inventory trackers. I'm just gonna make sure that they're all correct still. Inventory. I'm just gonna check this one. This one is fruit berries. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna trust that all the other ones are working. And it looks like Fruit Berries still needs to join. Is this the same board? This is a very similar board. Yeah, wait. Is This board is wrong, I think. Let me double check. Two. This is wrong. I think the person that did the seeds... Is this right? Wait a minute. I think you might have put in the wrong information. Amp 2. Yeah, this is completely wrong. Uh, this is the wrong board. It looks like uh, you put in the wrong one. Into the thing. Uh, it's not even written down. This is the amplified seed board. Yes. Well, there is. this is another amplified seed, but... It looks like when you were moving them over, you read the wrong amplified column. Yeah, no, this is wrong. Um. All right, yeah, this is the wrong board, and it looks like it was done incorrectly. Uh, two to three minutes should be good. Okay. An unhandled application has occurred. Something just crashed. I hope it's not my stream. Oh, shit. Did you shut down the server before? Oh, no, the inventory link. My computer might crash. Oh, shit. He shut down the server before I could turn off the program that tracks inventory. Oh, this is gonna- this is gonna take probably 10 minutes to fix then. Okay, I think we're okay. We're okay. I just- I just- I'll just take like 10 minutes to fix it. Is the stream still here? Stream is fine? Okay, thank God. Oh my god, I wiggled a- uh. Chat, you know when you wiggle a thing on freaking Windows and it makes everything go away? I just had 13 Windows minimize themselves because I accidentally wiggled one window when I was positioning it. Bruh. Okay, okay, we're, we're fine. I just need to redo everything. <laughs> uh, it's a- you know, it's just the final match. Yeah, what ended up happening, chat, was, um... I wrote out the boards in plain text, and then I asked someone to convert them to, like, the board format. But they read Amplified 1 for the Amplified 2 seed. The columns are side by side, and I think they just mixed them up. So, we're just gonna have to- we're just gonna have to change the formatting on, uh, my notes here. To be able to fix that. Sorry about that. Uh... 
Um, you guys can watch Fruit while we uh, get set up here. Uh, what did I need to do? What else? Good. Uh, username here. Okay, it's actually not that bad to fix. I'm getting pretty quick at all this stuff, so it shouldn't be too bad here. It's mostly, I think they said two minutes to be able to do the board, so. Alright, that's good. That's good, okay. My side is almost fixed up. I just need to fix the inventories. So this board needs to be fruit berries, yes. This board needs to be RIP FC. This board needs to be this board needs to be silver. And this board needs to be Dylan. That's not Dylan. Okay, I'll have to fix Dylan's. Good. Alright, anyways. Uh, I think they're just setting up the board now really quick. Um, let me just double check. The new board is up. I just made them both. Okay. Um, wait. Is it up right now? Yeah, that's still the wrong board. <laughs> That is, that is not the right board. Yeah, this is not right. Some of these might be literally impossible. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's right. Okay. Oh, it's right now. Perfect. All right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's good. Sort it out, chat. I can start this, start this, start this, start this this the inventory trappers are working properly now fantastic go to Dylan all right good 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 all right yeah just tell him fruit berries get the frick on the server same with you Dylan all right so chat, this is another amplified seed, which is why it was the, which was why we got confused. We just mixed up the amplified boards. <laughs> so should be good here in a second. Uh, looks like they're all at about the fruit berries is still playing parkour. Um, I'm just gonna go in their chat and type ready, and then fruit berries will instantly log out. Fruit is still coming. Um, uh, what's the word? Too slow? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone ready? <laughs> get LMAO, get rotten egged. Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, all right. We're starting the game, chat. Wish them good luck. Okay, here we go. This could be the final match. If Orange wins this, this could be the whole tournament. Now, let's look at the board really quick. So, again, it's amplified. There is an opponent takes fall damage gold. That's something to watch out for. There's an opponent dies. There is also more kelp blocks than the opponent and more levels than the opponent. Those are two goals. So, that is something to watch out for here. It looks like... Dylan lagged out for a bit, I think, on his stream. 
What other goals? Tame a cat is an easy goal to do in a village, but also there is die to falling stalactite. Now, there are stalactites literally visible off of spawn on the surface. So that is something to watch out here. There is an end rod goal. There is a levitation goal. There is a get a level 30 goal. So there are a bunch of end related goals. Level 30, you're probably going to get through the end. Kill 15 also is a lot easier by going to the end, killing a shulker, killing a... A dragon, so we'll see if that happens. There are a lot of long goals on this board, and I'm interested to see what happens. And it looks like one of them immediately took fall damage. Silver immediately took fall damage. I'm not sure if they just managed to punch him off and he took the fall damage. It's unfortunate, but looks like we're getting into a big fist fight. Dylan is getting a little bit low. But he's able to run away here. And it looks like, ooh, Silver dies to Fruit, who has managed to get a sword. So it is two and zero for Blue. This is what Blue needs. Blue has to get this win if they want to stay in the tournament. They literally have to. And it looks like Dylan has locked himself in the well. <laughs> Never mind, he's all right. <laughs> and it looks like... Looks like Rip FC's ping is absolutely terrible right now. Two ping. I don't know what to do here. It looks like it looks like we might. I mean, there's nothing I can really do because this is a an, an NA server. We'll see. It looks like not exactly sure. We'll see what happens. Oh, there's a goal. Looks like, uh, looks like Silver did manage to get every stone tool. And yeah, Rip FC's connection is absolutely horrendous right now. That's an issue. I'm not sure. But it looks like Dylan is standing directly beside the dripstone he needs to die to. He does not think of it, though. You can punch out dripstone to get it. He is staring at it. He is running past it. He is, looks like he's going for the yellow sheep first instead. And it looks like fruit berries. Oh, fruit berries was going for it. So there's a goal for fruit berries. And then here's the goal for Dylan. It is one to four. And it is now one to four. One to four here. Blue needs this advantage. There is die by magic. You happen to find a witch that would work. Jukebox is always a quick goal if you reach nighttime. He's here. Looks like they are still doing stuff. That's another goal. It looks like one team has some levels. It looks like Silver did manage to trade. Four rabbit stew. All right, apparently Rip FC is located in England. We optimized the server for US people. No one told me he was in England. <laughs> yeah, Rip FC has some pretty, the server is in New York. So that's about as close to England as you can get. Yeah, Rip FC lagging a bunch. I mean, if it's an internet issue for Rip FC, there's nothing I can do to fix that. Everyone else is NA. I'm not sure. Maybe if if they if they lose, we'll see what happens. So you, I'm not sure. Looks like silver killing things. Not sure why. Is there a leather goal? Not really. Is there a damage goal? Also not really. I do not know why he killed those innocent donkeys, but bookshelf. That's why. Trying to get leather for the books. I see. 
Who has leather? Not you. Not you. We'll see here. Now, oh, looks like... Looks like Dylan is actually kind of close. Dylan has the paper. Dylan almost has... I mean, you need three leather. That's it for three books. And it looks like that is what Dylan did. Three books, bang, bang, gets it. Good. And there is another goal, though, actually. It looks like... Uh, Dylan is now at two levels, which has the most. It is two to six, but this goal can be passed back and forth. A little scary here. But yeah, ping for Rip FC, not the best. It's a little bit scary, but again, there's nothing that I can do. Let's see, it looks like they're, they're still exploring this amplified world here. Trying to find what to do. Fruit berries finds a savanna. Savannas, I don't know. They just they usually feel good to explore. There's a lot to do here. Is there anything? It looks like fruit is mining for some gravel. Not exactly sure what the goal is here. Maybe he found a village and is trying to make a uh, a fletching table. That could be something that's happening here. Not sure why else you would want to get some flint. Uh, maybe just preparing for the future. It looks like Dylan is boating. Looking for some solution. Something to do here. Now, all of the goals that, you know, all of the easy goals in this board are done. Unless you can find a village. Tame a cat is another pretty easy one. But, ooh, look at this. Dylan, a ruined portal. You know, there aren't any immediate goals that are in the nether that are going to be, like, quick. Other than the enraging the zombie piglin. But, looks like there is enough lava here to be able to finish it off. He's looking for the chest. Is the chest here? Looks like, ooh, ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. A little concerning. And Dylan accidentally jumps in the lava. Nearly dies. What is he doing? Fruitberry's also going to be going in. Fruitberry's checking the ping. And sees Rip FC is just barely able to be here. <laughs> Don't want to focus on it too much. Looks like uh, Silver did just find a rune portal as well. We missed it just by a second here. We'll see here. Looks like Dylan looking around, looking at the mountains. Not sure what they're looking for. Dylan, though, finds a uh, finds a shipwreck. That could be helpful. Not immediately helpful, but it's a start. You know, iron is always good to do. Finds that buried treasure as well. Books, not for that. Oh, looks like orange uh, <laughs> fruit berries does die. Uh, I think it may have been a deliberate hunger reset. And now Rip FC has the most levels just by chance. That goal is going to be passed, passed back and forth a fair bit here. And it looks like Dylan locating the buried treasure. We can already see his inventory filling up with good stuff. And that is a lot of good stuff. My goodness. But yeah, really, it's the, the first team to get a village is will probably get this tame cat goal. And then the first team to enter the nether will probably get the zombie pig goal. But there are other goals that... You know, aren't immediately obvious. It looks like, wait though, four suspicious stews from silver. One of these could be weakness. And it looks like after four stews, not a single one was weakness. I think three of them were poison. Brutal. Because you can make weakness suspicious stews. A little unlucky, but what can you do? It looks like silver finding... A, I think this might be the second rune portal for silver. Getting some basic tools, getting that flint and steel, not grabbing it though. Doesn't plan on ever going into the nether as it looks like fruit berries is just getting some basic iron stuff to try and enter the nether with, I would assume. And Dylan, looks like Dylan killing some fish. There isn't an eat food goal, so maybe, just maybe there might be a village in the distance. No, wait, Dylan, never mind, back at his rune portal, I think Dylan might be entering the nether. Uh, Dylan says, do n n, do not, mm, do, do not, um, it could be anything. Uh, and it looks like fruit berries... 
Fruitberry's looking around. What is Fruitberry's not going to do? Oh, Dark Oak negative negative. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Dylan is in the negative negative direction. And so that's just so, I guess, <laughs> Fruitberry's knows... Or they remember where the Dark Oak is in case they get the flower for the Weakness Suspicious too, Which I think is, if I remember correctly, a Tulip. Now it looks like Fruit Berries is killing fish. But it also looks like Rip FC is killing fish. Which makes me think that both of them have a village in sight. Or they could be returning to Spawn Village. Which has a cat. And it looks like Dylan is in the Nether. And all he needs to do is smack a zombie. Does he see any structures immediately? He does see a fortress. I think he sees two fortresses maybe. Now, there is an immediate goal. Use a brewing stand is a goal that can be completed in the fortress. But really, the, the only other thing that you could relatively easily do, maybe brew a potion of healing, die by magic is also a goal. You can always just brew a instant damage potion. But it looks like Rip FC climbing the mountain to get back to the village, which is also something Fruit Berries is doing. It is going to be a race to the top, and there Dylan does punch the zombie piglin. The score is three to six, but they still have a big advantage because they can get the levels, and they will get the levels in the nether, it looks like. They will most likely be doing that. And look at this. Dylan actually finds a bastion. Uh now, again, there are no immediate bastion goals, but. Getting a music disc from the Bastion could help a lot. And obviously getting into a Bastion to be able to travel a little bit faster is something that you want. But looks like they will be able to add to their uh, unique mob kills. There is a guest in the Bastion? Just kills it with the axe. Something you don't see every day. What was that? Looks like the, the Brute jumping down again. And there's another Brute. Do you have enough blocks? You do, Dylan. Okay. Now, looks like Rip FC is almost back at the starter village with a five fish. So, gonna try and tame that cat. It's a one in three. Five fish is not necessarily enough. We'll see here. Hopefully, it's not an issue here. Well, we'll, well time will tell, I suppose. But it looks like Dylan gonna get down here. Maybe mine some gold. Maybe get some, some diamond stuff. It looks like the piglin brutes are going down no spawner to mine. These goals on this board are all pretty damn difficult. I think it's fitting for the final. And it looks like he did find two pieces of diamond armor. That's going to be good for combat. And uh, yeah, blue team, huge advantage right now. So we'll see. It's it's going to be close. Now, the one thing that uh, that Orange Team has, they do have one diamond. Um, I think. Yes. Wait. Is this the wrong inventory? It is. That's so funny. Okay, all the other inventories are good. Uh, does have one diamond, so can you get a jukebox if you get a skeleton and a creeper? Could get the jukebox goal, which is use a jukebox to play a music disc. Does get more diamonds here, but I think it looks like Silver's goal is to enter the nether. And just maybe get a music disc from a bastion, which uh, I'm not sure if Dylan has done. Probably not, because down in the, in the bottom of the treasure bastion, there generally isn't a music disc that's usually in the, the main chests. So we'll see here. Be interested to see how this goes. It looks like Dylan is going to start trading. Uh, no immediate goals that you can get from trading stuff, but anything can happen. It looks like right here, Rip FC, back at the starter village with five fish, looking for the cat, head in the clouds, literally. It's not an insult, they're just literally, Rip FC was in the cloud. Looking for that one cat, where did it go? Where is the cat from the village? Into the black cloud, something like that, yep. Rip FC climbing. Looks like Fruit is actually already in the village, waiting for Rip FC! Oh my god, but Fruit is almost dead! Fruit dies by Rip FC on 400 ping!
And looks like Rip FC burning the stuff, and Rip FC has a shield now. And fruit is low again. Oh, there's the ping. Ooh, that is rough. Yeah, Rip FC. That 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 it's frustrating, but just literally cannot do anything in the combat. That is brutal. I I want to look away from that. Definitely, it looks like I think Rip FC may just disconnect here with so much ping. Yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing that can be done that they didn't tell us they were on EU servers. There's I, <laughs> I was under the assumption we were under the assumption that everyone was NA. Not fair at all, but I mean, it's just a, a lack of communication, I guess. RIP FC left the game, and we're going to do a pause. Pause. <clears throat> Alright. We're going to do a pause. RIP FC disconnected. Is there anything we can do? We're just going to try and do a pause here. See if Rip FC can reconnect. It looks like Rip FC's internet died. Because Rip FC's stream is down. In the finals, it was not... Yeah. Yeah, Rip FC's stream actually just went down. It was not the server. It was Rip FC's internet. We're going to wait a minute to see if the internet comes back. Randoms in chat were saying that Rip FC was lagging in other games. Yeah. Rip FC's internet could be down. I'm not sure what we could do here. I'm not sure what the most fair thing to do is. It's not now I know it's not the server's fault at least. I'll we'll have to think about it. What is the best thing here? <clears throat> I mean, if Rip FC's internet doesn't come back. I'm not sure what we should do. I mean, we can't play it out because Rip FC literally cannot play. We may need to just give this round to the blue team. I'm not sure. The sad part is, is like, they are, two teams are in the nether. It looks like Rip FC is doing a quick PC reset and internet reset. We're going to see what happens here. Maybe that can help fix it. But we are paused. They are waiting. Everything is frozen in time. I like how Fruit Berries used my like reference image as his layout. It's kind of silly. But yeah, they are paused. Everything is paused. You can actually even see that the health is paused and stuff. We'll see. I'm, I'm gonna give Rep FC a chance to see if the internet can be fixed. Because, you know, this doesn't actually change anything. You know, just the fact that they're sitting there doesn't actually change the match itself. Hopefully we're able to come back in the finals of all things. Someone has an internet issue. 
And chat, there is- the- the, the first place is $20,000. They made it to second place, so they're guaranteed 10k. I believe 10k is second place. 20,000 is first, so... This could be, you know, if they- if they have to forfeit this one game, this could be a $10,000 internet issue. Because if they're unable to play, I mean, uh, I think it would be unfair to just have to restart when Blue is in the lead by five points. See, RIP FC still restarting the PC. Can you make it night again when he comes back? Hmm. Wait, is the sun not paused? The sun isn't paused. <laughs> Looks like you forgot that one, okay. That's really funny. <laughs> it was halfway through night? Alright. Looks like Rip FC could be back here. Rip FC's started up the stream again. Hopefully the internet is better. Maybe did like a full reset of the PC. Starting up the stream. Fingers crossed. Rip FC full bars. Thank God. RIP FC is not paused. Okay. Unfortunate internet issue, but fortunately, not my fault side. It's just, I think RIP FC's internet was bad today. Fingers crossed. Rip FC stream is back. Rip FC left the game. Uh oh. Rip FC is streaming in 160p right now. Rip FC join the game again. Okay. Looks like Rip FC has full bars, but is not working. Exactly sure. Looks like it was gone again. I don't know. Bandwidth is just really bad. All right. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do. 
I think we may have to, for this one game, have RIP FC locally record instead. Says in Discord, the stream is fine, just cannot connect to the server. It's weird, because it says full bars for RIP FC. Hmm. I'm going to see what happens if he tries to destroy one block. It's, it worked fine. Oh. There was so much lag, he didn't get put in adventure. This seems like a port forwarding issue. Is that a RIP FC issue or a server issue? Streaming is killing bandwidth. Oh, okay. Looks like he's paused now. That's good. Okay, we're gonna try it. Okay. Okay. That port forwarding dude is saying random things. I don't know, they had a check mark. You ready? Alright. I don't know what the unpause game command is. I've never had to pause before. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, looks like we're continuing, chat. Everyone can now move and we're going. All right, unfortunately, the one thing that is, is sad is fruit berries did managed to get a bit of an advantage with that ping issue uh being able to kill uh being able to kill rip fc rip fc is still in the village that fruit berries is in though so it looks like rip fc will probably be trying to kill uh fruit berries or at least get to the zombie that fruit berries is trying to make before fruit is able to do it while dylan is in a bastion and silver is actually approaching a fortress now Silver could get a goal in the fortress. And there is, yeah, okay, Fruit Berries actually just finds a zombie villager. Fruit Berries didn't make one. Fruit Berries just finds one. Okay. Interesting. And it looks like Dylan still looking through it and... More levels. Looks like, uh, thanks to killing Blazes, Silver has managed to secure more levels, stealing a point away from them. But, oh my god, almost falls off the edge. Actually, kind of low on HP there. A little bit. Although, Silver has some golden carrots. So, it should be fine, right? Right? A little bit terrifying, though. No fire resistance. Has a potion of fire resist in the inventory, I think. But no fire resistance. I think that's what that blue water bottle is. But it looks like... You know, uh, Dylan still trying to scan through, look at this bastion, see what's here, see what's not. I don't know if he got a music disc or not. I don't think he did. No music disc. And there we go. Looks like uh, Silver was able to make a potion of some kind. What is that? A potion of invisibility? 
Potion of water breathing? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, just put the potion of water breathing in and out. <laughs> that's what happened. I was like, how did you do that? So yeah, put the potion in, took it out, used the brewing stand. That's four to seven now. Still any it's still anyone's game. They could come back from this and just win the whole thing. We'll see. Dylan killing a ghast. Blue is at nine of fifteen things killed. A lot of the goals now, though, are pretty far off. It will be a little bit difficult. The one thing that the Fortress has, yes, is a saddle. It looks like Silver was not getting the saddle for this boat has legs. Did not look for it. Looks like Silver... Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Silver spotted a Bastion. Not exactly sure, but Dylan actually in a Fortress. You've never looked this intensely before? Nice. Yeah, it looks like Dylan is in a fortress. What can Dylan do? I don't think Dylan has a potion of healing, but maybe... I, I think you can make a die by magic. I think you can make an instant damage potion without healing. I could be very wrong, though. <laughs> Hard to say. Still no weakness yet. No one's seen a witch or a tulip. Those are the two ways to do it. Uh, most people, I imagine, have the mushrooms. Like, Dylan has the mushrooms for it. Rip uh, uh, Silver... Has a mushroom, a, a red mushroom, and actually has a tulip. Silver only needs a brown mushroom to get weakness here. So that's probably going to be done soon, as it looks like Dylan is mining for stone. For what reason, though? What could Dylan be wanting a, to smelt? Oh, just some food. Dylan low on food, it looks like. Wow, as, um... Looks like Silver just still running through the nether, maybe just looking... For some way out. What other goals could happen here? For those asking who Smond is rooting for, he can't pick a side as a host. That would be pretty unethical. Yeah. But I hope Blue wins for the content so it's tied again. Um, Visit all nether biomes is still a goal. Kill a Zoglin is a goal right now as well. And no one still has gotten the tame a cat. I think Fruit Berries was trying to do it, but just could not locate the village cat. Still has the uncooked fish in the inventory. And yeah, kill 15 hostile mobs. Looks like he was checking that, maybe keeping an eye on things. They do have a bit of an advantage just because they've been in the nether a little bit longer. And uh, Fruit Berries did kill that zombie villager for them, which is one of the rare mobs. But looks like Dylan is going directly towards Silver. Dylan, I mean Diamond Armor Dylan, gonna destroy... We'll see, maybe, while well, Silver is digging. But the one problem that Silver is having right now is Silver's not blocking the way behind. It's a little scary because Dylan could just dig to catch right back up. Or Dylan could crawl. Diamond Armor Dylan, quite the dad. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Looks like Rip FC. Still running around. I hope the internet issues have been resolved here. I'm actually going to check the ping. Still not the best. Um, hopefully no disconnects, though. Looks like... Looks like Fruit has managed to find an Enderman. But the Enderman... Isn't it just going to teleport out? Maybe? Gets a kill without teleporting it out. That is another mob. 11 to 15 for... Or 11 out of 15 for uh, Fruit. And Fruit actually has a skeleton in a boat. Skeleton in a boat for Fruit, which means that I think Fruit might be going for the music disc. That could be what's going on right now. Yeah, there's another creeper. Two, ne two neutral hits with the axes. Could be enough. Just gotta line up the skeleton now. Oh my god, look at all the arrows on Fruit's body. Alright. Skeleton setting it free, trying everything to get it to shoot this creeper. Come on, get it. Oh, and it shoots it, and there's the disc. Now, d doesn't have, <laughs> doesn't have the diamond for the for the, the jukebox to play the disc, but has the disc, which is a start. And it looks like Rip FC looking around, trying to figure out what the hell to do now that Fruit Berry's managed to kill him. Unfortunate, but looks like Dylan's digging, potentially. I think Dylan might be digging to get to Silver here. 
Gonna make some diamond pickaxes to dig through the wall. I guess Dylan's diamond pickaxe is not digging fast enough. Actually, it is digging fast enough, because look at this. Silver sees Dylan's name right there. And we're gonna get into some combat. Dylan running around with diamond pickaxes trying to locate... Try, sorry. Dylan trying to determine... Silver spot. Dylan does it and Dylan lavas. Silver does have a water bottle in the inventory. I think unless it's a fire resistance. Is it? What is it? I don't know. But Dylan catching up as Silver is burning to death. What just happened? And those are the levels. Silver dies to Dylan. And is able to secure... All of Silver's stuff. <clears throat> this could be... I mean, this is a terrible loss for them. And it looks like uh, another goal was just got fruit berries. Or was it Dylan actually managed to get the other... Managed to get the tulip from Silver. Getting the weakness. A big kill there. Blue is doing very well here. It is going to be very, very difficult for red or orange to come back. It is not impossible. Because there are a lot of hard goals on this board. But the fact that fruit has the disc... Just needs a diamond to get to 10 here. Fruit just looking for a single diamond. One problem with Fruit's inventory though. No wood. No wood in the inventory. Which is interesting to see. Went digging for diamonds but didn't bring the wood. Dylan going through the nether. It's always the wood that people forget. Yeah, and it looks like, I mean, what can you do in the overworld as the orange team? You can tame a cat. You might find a witch. You're in a mountain biome. Maybe you can kill a silverfish. You could get a jukebox. You could start bringing it back, but you need to enter the nether soon. And it looks like maybe silver is looking for a way to enter at the moment while... Fruit berries, I think, might be strip mining here. Fruit could be strip mining. And, and a Dylan is looking through. But yeah, the levitation effect, that's an end goal. Obtain an end rod, that's an end goal. If they don't find glistening melons, a brew potion of healing is an end goal. Level 30, the easiest way to do that is to kill the ender dragon. So there are four goals that could be done by getting to the end. Also, kill a silverfish, that's generally a stronghold goal. There are five things. But again, the score is currently 1 and 0, so if blue wins, they still need to win another one before... Because if, if orange wins even a single game in the next two, they win the whole tournament. They win everything. So we'll see here what's going to happen. Is there not one more game after this? If Orange wins, there is not another game after this. No. If Orange wins this, they win it all. This is the finals chat. Which is really unfortunate that Silver had his internet die in the middle of it. <laughs> or that Rip FC had the internet die. Because the difference between first and second place, there is a $10,000 difference between first and second place. Second place gets 10k, first place gets 20,000. And it looks like Dylan is, is looking around in the fortress for what? I'm not sure. Maybe the saddle, there it is. Oh my, Dylan griefing the fortress so the other players cannot get it. But if Dylan makes a mistake here and dies and his stuff burns, there is no way to get more. 
So Dylan, has he killed a magma cube yet? I'm not sure, but blues at 13 uh, of 15 mobs killed. It's going to be difficult. Fruit still just looking for a single diamond to play this music disc. An absolutely brutal time looking for this. Usually underwater caves are bountiful with diamonds, but there is nothing to be seen in here. But Dylan is starting to clear the fortress. If he can get to the... Um, if he can get... You know, he's. it looks like he's about to get this boat has legs advancement. Uh, which is a goal. Uh, he might just be missing the blue flower. I'm not exactly sure. Let's look in his inventory. Yeah, he's just missing the blue flower right now. And, uh, I mean, dying by magic is a goal that you can create if you, uh, if you get a health potion somehow. So... You can always, um, if, you, if you're able to find a jungle, that is a goal that could be done. But we'll see here. It looks like, oh my god, Fruit finds a dungeon. Dungeons can have diamonds in the chest. No diamond. But there was melon seeds. Melon seeds for the potion of healing, potentially. Does he grab the melon seeds? No. That could be the only way in this Minecraft seed to get melons to get the potion of healing. He finds a second dungeon. This one doesn't have a chest. Gonna be mining the spawners. Is this enough to get... He, like, he even grabbed them. And there's the diamond. And there's wood underground. He, the luck that this fruit berries has. Forgot wood in the overworld, but finds wood underground? You've got to be kidding me. And there it is, playing a beautiful track. And I mean, this is a, a damn near impossible to come back from for Orange here. But a death from Dylan could give Orange a chance. So I think Orange is really the one to watch. If Dylan dies, and Dylan doesn't have any fire resistance, so... If Dylan dies, that is a little scary here. And I don't think Fruit went back to get the seeds. We can go check, but yeah, Fruit, no melon seeds. Little bad, and it looks like, is Fruit gonna camp by this spawner and maybe grind EXP? I don't know. Doesn't look like it, unless... Getting some string, for what? There's no way that... Fruit does... Why are you getting string fruit? What is your idea here? I don't know. Fruit making a mob grinder. <laughs> we'll come back to that. It looks like Dylan is located potentially another bastion or is back at his other one. Maybe he needs a little more obsidian because he is only at nine. But wait, that was a goal. Uh, it looks like that was... Oh! Oh! Oh, that was fruit killing the cave spider for 15 unique hostile mobs. That's what that was. Now I know. I can't believe I missed that. And we're going to keep an eye on fruit and see if he does end up picking up any melons. But a, a bunch of rare mobs, they managed to get that without entering the end. That is a particularly difficult thing to do. 15 unique mobs. That's a lot of rare ones. You know, that's like both nether structures and then some rare ones in the overworld. The cave spider, the zombie villager, probably killed an enderman as well. But yeah, two more. And blue wins and has, I mean, and stays alive, basically. That's what's going on here. If, if blue is able to get two more object objectives, they stay alive in the tournament and can keep going. So, I mean, the one thing that they should be doing right now is this boat has legs and then just get a freaking kelp block really you could also do zoglin zoglin's an easy one finding all nether biomes i'm sure dylan's close you know i don't think they need to go to the end but we'll see What is Orange doing? 
I'm really not sure. I think they're just trying to get some resources to be able to take on Dylan in a fight. That that's that would be the best thing to do here is just go destroy Dylan. There's really nothing else that could be done. I think it's going to be difficult for them to uh, to come back from this. This is a huge deficit, but they very well could. If Dylan makes a mistake and dies. That could be enough, but it looks like Dylan is portaling? Is that what Dylan is doing? Dylan, I think, is digging an underground portal. I'm not exactly sure why. I think this is only Dylan's first portal, is it not? Maybe he just wanted to hide his portal a little bit. Unless... Yeah, now he's gonna mine out... Yeah. Looks like Dylan is gonna mine out his obsidian to be able to do a second portal to try and find the stronghold. If he kills a silverfish, I guess that is a goal. And you can die to the dragon's magic! That might be what they're planning. Because the dragon breath does count as magic. So that could be the two goals that they're going for. And it looks like Orange was able to tame a cat. That was one of the easy goals getting out of the way. Uh, they can choose who the compass points to. They can choose any one player. So they can focus anyone. And it looks like, wait a minute. This could be exactly what they need. Because they're about to die to magic. This witch is not very accurate. But there it is. Rip FC finds a witch in the overworld and dies to magic. It is now 5 to 11. Those are some of the two or easier goals. Dylan, do not n do something. I don't know what do and n means, but... They have some code words. It looks like Rip FC is lagging really, really bad here. Unfortunate, but I mean, I can't, I can't fix Rip FC's internet. Rip FC does get the stuff back though. Just took a second. I think it might have been Dark Oak negative negative. It could be. Looks like, um, looks like Dylan does have the 10 obsidian now, is going to re-enter his portal. Doesn't bring his boat. He has enough wood though. There you go. And I mean, it could be over here, because killing a silverfish and then killing the dragon still gets you to 30. So if Dylan is able to get to that stronghold, it's pretty much a guaranteed win. That might be what they're going for. We'll see. Rip FC. Looks like Rip FC is going to start getting that kelp. Going to probably try and grind out just as much as he can. Hopefully you make some... Uh, hopefully Rip FC is able to make some smokers. You really would speed up things. It would literally double the speed that you're able to get that kelp. If you're not doing that, you could get cut off. But we'll see here. I think Rip FC might be going... Getting more stuff for more... Um, more furnaces is Dylan. I mean, Dylan is going to be done here soon. And I mean, this boat has legs. It's also something that Dylan could do. Yeah, there's Rip FC getting the dried kelp block started off. And we'll see. Does Dylan go for this? This boat has legs. I don't know if Dylan has found a blue forest yet. I'm not sure. What is Dylan is actually not even going for this boat has legs. Maybe just hasn't found a blue or red forest. I'm pretty sure they have, but I think Dylan is just um, tunnel visioning to get to that stronghold. Uh, I don't think that he'll be punished for it. Dylan's thoughts might just be, hey, you know, there's no way they can catch up to me if I do the stronghold stuff. So I might as well just get it and then I don't have to worry. That could be what Dylan's thoughts are right now. It could pay off. We'll see. But Dylan looking for the stronghold, probably going to dig around to it. Might be exposed here. Looking for the coordinates. Builds the under lava portal as well, which will make Silver uh, have a... Uh, not be able to see it at all. But yeah, it looks like Dylan did... Uh, didn't miss the stronghold because uh, in this version, it is almost impossible to portal into the stronghold from the nether. Unless there's a big cave around. So, looks like uh, Dylan will have to dig and he does find the stronghold. Hopefully, we'll be finding a silverfish now. 
Use your fists to find the silverfish blocks or use targeted blocks. Oh no. It's a deep dark stronghold. If Dylan happens to spawn a warden, he could die in the stronghold. This is dangerous. And it, I mean, the amethyst is also breaking up this stronghold. Gonna make it hard to navigate, we'll see. Are, is a warden going to spawn here? It's scary. Still, Dylan is not punching the ground to look for the silverfish. If the other team was mining, this could be very dangerous. But he's probably just looking for the portal room, finding the spawner to guarantee it. Literally, all you need to do is punch around for your fists and see which blocks break the fastest. Also, you do have F3. You can see targeted blocks to find infested blocks. You don't even need to punch them. So Dylan could definitely have a silverfish by now, but... It seems he's focusing on the portal. And oh my god! Silver finds a piglin that was holding... Silver actually found a piglin that was holding... That has a saddle on it. There is a strider with a saddle right there. If And he has the mushroom. If he just gets some string, he could get this boat has legs. Not enough blocks to get over there though. Gonna have to go down. Yeah, gonna have to mine out some blocks to get some strength from that bastion. Probably trade for it. Dylan having the hardest time navigating the stronghold, but still hasn't even tried to get that silverfish. You know, you could get the silverfish and then just focus on kelp and you win. Blue could win. But they, they might be assuming that Rip FC has been focused on the kelp, but I mean Rip FC just has four. It looks like also this bastion from Silver has been unlooted. There is a full this is a bridge bastion with everything still there. And it looks like Dylan does finally locate the portal room. Does he kill the silverfish? Uh oh. Dylan Finally punches the floor. Kills the silverfish. Doesn't even get the spawner. <laughs> and now I guess Dylan is going for level 30. He's gonna go for killing the dragon. If he messes this up, you know, server leg could screw you up a little bit. We'll see. But I think he's going in. He is in the end. And it is not over. And it looks like silver gonna be trading... This was an incredible, like, potential for comeback here. But I think the only thing that could have them lose at this point is if Dylan dies in the end somehow. If he really royally screws this up. One thing that Dylan does not have is water. If the dragon flings him up into the sky, Dylan is dead. Potentially. He has enderpearls, but it's dangerous. Very dangerous. We'll see. Pearl seem face safer than water. It depends on how fast you're going. Looks like the dragon is perching. Dylan is able to go in. Does he get good timing here? Boom. Oh. I guess that spoils that. Jeez, why is that so loud? He does get the dragon, and I think it's over. He's getting the EXP. Blue wins this game. And we are going to a game three for the finals. Unfortunate. Um. Very unfortunate for Orange Team. I don't think the internet determined the match which is good it did not determine the uh the loss or was not the the factor for losing blue definitely beat them uh i am going to jump into uh i'm gonna message them and we'll see are we good to do a, ma a game three rip fc josh 
I'm just gonna message Josh and see if he's confident that the internet is good enough to be able to do this. We'll see. I think so, yeah. Let's see. I really don't want the final match to be determined by or by Rip FC's internet issues. It could have been that it maybe was an amplified world. It could have been the fact that it was an amplified world using more of his internet. A VPN sometimes helps. I don't think that <laughs> having a VPN on amplified worlds are bigger. We'll see. If that was the only match that Rip FC was having issues with, we'll see. Yeah, Rip FC joined another server and it was fine. Eh, depends on the server. Anyways, what is the next one? Okay. Um, okay. He was having issues before as well. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, there's really nothing that I can do to stop from doing that. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> VPN will only change anything if it's routing issues, but that's very unlikely. Yeah, it's hard to say. Josh says... Josh RipFC says, thinks he is ready. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the server. Ah. Odd. I know. Maybe a quick... Yeah, the server wouldn't re redo his stream. Hard to say. We'll see. Maybe just a, the reset of the server will help a little bit. Does your server host have an option to swap server locations at all? Yes, but I am not moving it out of North America because three of the four players are in NA. Uh, other more popular servers have geo geolocal proxies, so that, yeah. Yeah, we, we literally can't, we, we cannot do a geolocal proxy. Anyways, what happened? Rip FC's internet died or disconnected from our server during that match. And we're just trying to see if there's a quick solution that we can have that will uh, maybe help a little bit. Could it be an option for Rip FC to stream with a lower quality to take less bandwidth? Potentially. 
I mean, Rip FC said that they were good to start the next match, so... I guess we'll start the next match. And this could be it. If Blue is able to win this, they reset the bracket, and they open up another match of a best two out of three. But right now, the score is one to one. This is actually, like, impossible to see with Chunky Runky here. <laughs> the match score is 1-1. One to one. But server's starting up. Any second now. And it would keep going, yeah. Yeah, if the people in the loser's bracket are able to beat the winner's side, then they get a bracket reset, and they just need to win one more match to win. Put the match score above you. So the thing about having the match score above me is that you cannot see the one anymore. <laughs> Put it in a white box. You don't need to see it. Whatever. Yeah, so the reason, though, th this is a double elimination bracket, so to get kicked out of the tournament, you need to lose two matches, basically. So, Orange Team has not lost a single match the whole tournament so far, so they can lose one and still win. I want to see a game go past the end? Yeah, well, I mean, they did make it to the end there. That one, Dylan did kill the dragon. All right, server should be up. New board is good to go. And, uh, should be an interesting little game here. I need to check something. Alright, everything looks good here. Alright, everyone's joined. RIP FC has full bars on the connection. Looks like everyone's ready. Everyone ready? Yeah, Rip FC has full bars now. <laughs> Looks like it might have a yeah, it might take a second. Dylan is ready, Silver is ready. Rip FC is ready. Hopefully the inventories are correct. We're just waiting on fruit to say ready. Fruit. All right, we're going to start the game chat. Looks like Rip FC and Dylan both have mid-internet right now. Actually, should be fine. Should be good. All right, so with this board, let's take a look. Tame a Cat is usually something that's completable in a village, but this is a an abandoned village, so they won't immediately be able to tame a cat. There is... Wait, is this the right... Is this the right board? There should be a... Wait a minute, this seems wrong. Give me a sec. There should be a kill a zombie villager goal on this. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe, oh no, I guess I just didn't add that. Never mind. that's really silly. No, this is the right board. I'm just dumb, I misremembered. Never mind. Looks like it's all good. Okay, good. What are the easy early goals to do here, chat? Obtain white glazed terracotta. That's really the only starting goal. Maybe eat a rabbit stew. Everything is they're, they're the easy maybe jump boost. Jump boost, I would say, if you can find a different village, taming a cat could be useful. Piston, if you can get some redstone. There aren't any goals that you can do immediately right off the bat. That is something interesting here. There are kill 70 Nikasa mobs. And in this village, there are some 
Oh, wait, no. White glazed terracotta. The buildings are made of white terracotta. And they're going to smelt it to make white glazed terracotta, it looks like. They did think about that. Blue team actually clutching up. Looks like the other team did not notice. But Fruit and Dylan did think of that. And it looks like there's cornflowers in this village, too. They're smelting it already. They're going to get the white glazed terracotta in just a second. And there it is. White glazed terracotta for blue immediately. An incredible start. Strong start for them. And it looks like six breed is something that could be done relatively early. And it looks like, oh my goodness, wait, they did find a cat. It looks like this team did find a cat. I guess there was a cat in this abandoned village. I didn't even know that there were cats in abandoned villages. <laughs> Interesting. It looks like Silver having a fist fight with Dylan. Silver certainly going to die here. <laughs> there we go. And uh, I'm going to do a quick refresh of the streams just to make sure that everyone is all caught up. Just so I am not behind. Sometimes that does happen. Let's go to the streams here. Stream refresh. But it is one-to-one -one, a good strong start for both teams. Basically doing the both early goals here. Is Rip FC still lagging? It seems like it is a little bit better. Let me check his connection. Yeah, looks like Rip FC's connection is a lot better this game. So that is nice. I'm just went in here. Looks like um looks like Dylan has found a ruined portal in, in uh in this direction here. That'll be interesting to see what is in there. It looks like uh Silver was able to kill a zombie villager in one of the houses. So was able to find a zombie villager in one of the houses, is able to kill it. That'll get the seven unique hostile mobs a little bit faster. That'll help a lot. But mushroom stem, we're gonna keep an eye on Dylan. Maybe. Oh no. Someone else got to it first. Did Rip FC find a Silk Touch tool? Looks like they're going to have some combat here. Rip FC needs to get into a boat to escape here. Oh no, Rip FC lagging a little bit. It's okay. Rip FC does manage to escape. Has golden carrots. <laughs> the ping is so bad. Grabs a tool. That's just efficiency. I don't know what the other thing is. It looks like Dylan found... A shipwreck instead. So Dylan going to be looking for that buried treasure. Is there any goal that can be done immediately? Get weakness is also a goal that is on this board. Some to watch out for. Looks like Rip FC playing a little bit scared here. Trying to avoid Dylan. Oh, trying to avoid Dylan and Fruit. Double teamed, I think they're afraid of of Rip FC having that uh silk touch. Looks like Fruit Berry's checking the chest, trying to find stuff with Rip FC. Let's see, let's look at Dylan's perspective here. They are circling that portal like sharks right now. Looks like Dylan got distracted looking for the buried treasure. Maybe finding a diamond, starting the diamond armor set. They don't call him Diamond Armor Dylan for nothing. And it looks like Silver found a dungeon and is able to find some uh, some stuff in the dungeon, some, some bone meal that could potentially be helpful for getting maybe uh, a cornflower, I guess. I'm not really sure. I don't think that helps in any other way particularly. Maybe if you can get some silk touch, that'll help you grow a mushroom for a mushroom stem. We'll see. Silver does have... Uh, melons for healing. There's no healing potion on this board. Actually, there is. Never mind. He did grab the melon seeds, too. Good for him. Fruit Berries getting some mushrooms because Fruit Berries does have the mushroom stuff for the jump boost. Fruit Berries able to get the blue. Looks like Rip FC back in the village, maybe grabbing some beds and some other resources. While Silver is running through another Rune Portal for Silver here. Let's see. Dylan in the boat looking for that buried treasure. Fruit Berry's now going to be running through this area. Hopefully Fruit Berry's got some extra mushrooms for the uh, the weakness. And it looks like he does. It looks like he does because one tulip gets you weakness now. Looks like Dylan doesn't have any mushrooms. Going to be looking for the stuff. Orange has bred one thing so no one's in a, in a significant lead for that yet. 
Is the seed gimmick just the zombie village? No. Let me check. Let me double check. Uh... No, there is more. It's it's just a decent seed overall. There's nothing too special about it, though. But the zombie village, I think, is the most unique part about it. <clears throat> we'll see here. Dylan, almost at that buried treasure. Again, doesn't really gain anything immediately by doing that buried treasure. And it looks like Rip FC getting a lot of resources. Maybe gonna trade for the rabbit stew here. Looks like getting enough, uh, getting some flint. Looking for it. Dylan gonna be mining, I think, for some redstone for the piston. I think that's Dylan getting the piston here in a second. Yeah, there it is. Dylan with the piston. Uh, what is the item with the bed in death? That is dying to intentional game design. So you, you die to either an exploding bed in the nether or a respawn anchor anywhere else. Oh, it looks like, yeah, going for that rabbit stew now, trying to get a good trade. And there it is, the rabbit stew trade, and they get to eat it. It's over for that. It's still tied 3-3. Three to three. Now, who is going to make a mistake? Who is going to catch on fire? A little bit dangerous. Fruit berries going into the nether. Fruit berries could get fire at any time if the, the, the ground under his feet gets hit here. You know, maybe a ghast. Oh. Weird water situation. Gonna be going here. It looks like Orange has been doing a bit of breeding. But uh, with uh, fruit berries going into the nether, there's a couple of nether goals. Breeding a hoglin. Um, getting six status effects is easier in the nether. Getting the horse with the saddle. Getting the saddle in the nether is nice. What does fruit berries nether have? Oh. What goal was that? Oh my goodness. It looks like... By accident, Silver picked up an obsidian from the chest. Just unfortunate. Doesn't think about it. Has some issues. And wait. Fruit dies. Or something. What happened? Wait, Fruit didn't die to the bed explosion when entering the nether. And it looks like it gave Silver a chance to die instead. It is back to 4-4. Fruit's portal, or Fruit did not die to the explosion. Fruit doesn't mis misplaces the bed and it looks like Dylan getting a Lily of the Valley. That is poison. That is not weakness. Hopefully Dylan doesn't make that mistake. We'll see here. But breed unique animals. Orange is there. Looks like fruit is getting ready in the nether again. Fruit does have a bed this time. It's a little too late though. Yeah, maybe fruit got a little scared by catching on fire. But, uh, you know, orange playing nice and aggressive. It's what we like to see. It looks like fruit going back to the portal now. Gonna re-enter the nether to try and maybe get some goals. Kill a ghast. Breed a hoglin. Those are some easy ones, but... They really need to watch out for that fire goal. Do not catch on fire. Lots of fire in the nether. That's kind of the whole bit. Looks like Silver is also in the nether. Got that golden apple. Able to uh, run a little bit further. Not a lot of food. Some bread in the inventory. The one thing that Silver does have, a saddle. Silver has a saddle and nobody else does. So, looks like Silver might be going to snipe the breed hoglin goal before fruit berries can uh, make them f f f breed. And the hopper goal is just obtain more hoppers than the opponent. Wait! Wait, Dylan's screen! He has tulips! And he grabs one, he just needs the mushrooms for weakness now. And fruit is just stuck. In, uh, in a terrible biome, and Silver is looking, just please. Silver is begging for a hoglin, but the hogs are nowhere to be seen. Heartbreaking. Running over lava, playing aggressive, not catching on fire, hopefully, because that would be very bad. We'll see. Zero to zero in games. 
One to one right now. One to one in matches. If Orange wins, they win it all. But it looks like Silver does manage to find one hog. Can you get the second? And it looks like... Blue manages to breed, gets the turtle before they could get their sixth one. That the If they managed to get the hoglins, that would have been two goals for Orange. But Blue cuts them off of at least one while Fruit is approaching the Red Forest here. But it looks like two hogs have been located. Silver is getting a little bit low on HP though. Trying to punch out these green ones so they're not so scared. Silver is on 4 HP. Silver's on 1.5. But manages to get it. <clears throat> Did Rip FC log out there? What happened? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyways, I need to refresh this. It's a little bit behind. Timed out. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to wait a second and see. We might need to pause. Pause in 15 seconds. I'm going to see. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Rip FC, you good? Looks like Rip FC delogged. Or got logged out. I'm just going to wait and see if that's good. We'll see here. I don't know. This is insane, man. I, I mean, I was... That's not a yes or a no, so I guess we'll... Didn't say no. We'll keep going. Looks like Orange Team did manage to kill seven unique mobs. They, uh, while they were in the nether, I suppose. No, Rip FC actually managed to clear the mob there, killing a unique one. That's seven. The score is now six to five for Orange. State pause is canceled. Yeah, looks like it's canceled. Okay. It's not tied yet. It's still six to five. We'll see here. Something could happen. I don't know. What are they playing to? 13 is the objective. Get to 13 points. That's how you win. This is the finals. If orange wins, they win it all. If blue wins, they have to win one more match because that resets the bracket. It looks like right here. Look at this. Silver sees a ghast, able to kill it, 7 to 5, 2 point lead, this is huge. Not streaming is the best thing, apparently their stream is fine, it's just their connection to the server. It's weird. Who are the favorites? Dylan and Fruitberries are the top seed in the tournament. Silver and Rip FC were, were around the middle. But they have been absolutely knocking it out of the park here. Dylan does manage to kill a witch. I believe, um, I, I'm not sure how delayed we are, but Dylan managed to kill the witch. It could have dropped a potion of healing, doesn't drop one. Looks like, uh, Silver still has a saddle. If Silver is able to just go into the overworld here, that would, um, that would be pretty big. Because that, that's another goal that you could get. Um, looks like Fruit has re-entered the nether and has located a bastion, a treasure bastion that appears to have not been looted. You know, Boat Has Legs is also actually a goal. I just noticed it. Ride a horse with a saddle and Boat Has Legs. Silver could be doing that. Silver has the uh, the blue mushroom, or the blue-green mushroom. Just needs uh, some string. That is it. If if Silver can get some string, that's probably why he hasn't left yet. Gonna go for the Boat Has Legs first. And Dylan... Wait. Silver notices he has a Silk Touch Shovel is able to grow and mushroom stem and mine it. Had a silk touch shovel the whole time and just didn't notice until now.
was able to get the mushroom stem. Silver carrying like crazy as Fruit Berries is in the Bastion. Probably going to start trading here in a second. Now, it's pretty important. There is still... Now, keep in mind, Chad. Lava everywhere. Nether. 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 There is an opponent catches on fire goal. If one person slips up even slightly, that goal is gone. So the fact that no one has got it yet is absurd. But we'll see. It looks like Orange is in the lead by three points. It is by no means an impossible thing to come back from. And Dylan does have a tulip. So he can get the weakness any second now. He needs one brown mushroom. If Dylan just gets a single brown mushroom, that is a goal down. And wait a minute. Dylan killed the witch. He could have got weakness from the witch if he really tried. But it looks like maybe he just didn't want to risk it. And there's the brown mushroom. Doesn't even need to risk it. He's making the suspicious suit now. We'll be getting weakness in a second. And there it is. There's the weakness for Dylan. He's crafting it. We know it's going to happen. It looks like fruit is in a treasure bastion. But you know who's also in a treasure bastion? Silver. Now the scary thing is, Silver has lava, and Fruit doesn't. There is a fire goal, and uh, Silver will be using lava to try and damage him. So we're gonna see here, what happens. Looks like... Looks like Fruit is going for it. Will Fruit, will Fruit catch on fire because of Silver's Lava? I think almost certainly it will happen. Fruit looking for Silver. I think they both know that each other is there. What's going to happen? Someone is going to catch on fire, but we don't know who yet. And I'm going to cover it so you can't tell who until it happens. Oh, looks like Fruit does have Lava. And Silver is now running underneath. You know, Silver a little bit scared, just trying to hide away, get any sneak up on Fruit at all. It looks like they're on the same level now. Who will lava who first? That's what's gonna, that's what they need. Purely lava. Opponent catches fire. They really are being very defensive here. There's one. Lava from Fruit. Oh. Oh, and... It looks like Silver catches on fire. Which gives Blue a point. Huge for Fruit here. It looks like... Oh, but they lava Fruit. But Fruit has the Golden Apple. And it's over. Burnt to a crisp. Silver is down, immediately re-enters the nether and burns. Not sure how that happened. And now Fruit has everything that Silver had as well. Alright, 8 to 7. Huge for blue. Oh, absolutely huge. It is by no means over yet, though. It looks like Silver did not have any diamond armor. The It'll be interesting to see. How much diamond armor is done? And look at this. They're both at 20 advancements. So, you know, anything could happen here with the advancement goal as well. We haven't been pointing that out at all. But, I mean, the biggest thing is probably silver saddle. This boat has legs and a horse with a saddle are both goals that need to be done. And this could be an incredible uh, uh, bonus for blue here. Oh, but wait, cover me with diamonds. Someone just got the advancement. It looks like Rip FC managed to find seven diamonds for pants. I'm not sure how much other diamond armor that Rip FC might have, but Rip FC starting the diamond armor set goal. But we'll see fruit berries here. When he checks the chests, is there any diamond armor inside? Because that could also be a very big jump. No diamond armor at all. In that chest. 
brutal. Did get, uh, I think, the diamond sword and the diamond shovel, though. But it looks like Rip FC. I don't know. Rip FC might be mining for diamonds. Could be preparing iron for hoppers. Those are some goals that you could go for as orange. You are in a bit of a lead. Looks like Dylan is starting to grind out some advancements. Getting a, a CD place. That's why Rip FC made that diamond armor. Probably for the diamond armor advancement. They're both at 21 now. And, you know, with some funky goals like maybe fishing or, um, you know, fishy business or uh, tactical fishing. Those are two ones that I don't think either team has gotten. And I think that's what Dylan is going for right now, potentially. Maybe we'll see in a second. I'm not sure, but obtain more hoppers than the opponent is one of the interesting ones uh, on this board here. It looks like uh, Silver did manage to get another advancement with the... Uh, and 24, they're very close. Tactical fishing as well. That's what I was talking about. And I think Rip FC could be fishing up that fish here to get 25. It is 9 to 7 for Orange. Yeah, this one, the obtain more is a is a goal that can change possession. It's one of the only goal, the only goal type that can be passed. Now, the advancement goals are not done. They definitely should not give up on advancements yet, because 35 is also an advancement to do. But, I mean, there is an enter end goal. There is a, a 35 advancements goal. Those ones are easier to do in the end, for sure. Spyglass, you know, if you don't see a ghast, maybe. But it looks like Dylan here has found an amethyst. So it'll be interesting to see if he's able to find a ghast or a parrot or maybe the dragon. But uh, the one thing... Um, looks like Fruitberry still has that saddle. Could get cut off if he doesn't do it. And wait a minute. Silver is actually back in the nether at the bastion that Fruit is at. And I don't think Fruit knows that Silver is here. Uh oh silver did not bring any food that one hit from the brute could be bad although wait i think fruit is crouching now i think he knows looks like fruit might be heading out maybe trying to escape making an axe and there it is fruit has a diamond sword is able to kill silver and fruit barely felt a thing And I mean, it looks like Silver is just going to run back again. Not even getting any food or prep. Just going to throw himself at Fruit until he happens to win an engagement, I think. While Fruit just has more time to collect things. And wait a minute, Fruit now has string for the fishing rod. Is able to get this boat has legs if he's just able to get the, um, the blue mushroom here. Well, uh, looks like, what are the other teams doing? I mean, Silver, just gonna grab an axe and go again. Rip FC, still not, uh, I think Rip FC actually might be, what is it? Oh, getting a Spyglass, because Rip FC actually also has Amethyst. Could be good, you know, it's, Orange Team does have a points lead, but it really seems like Blue is positioned a lot better. Dylan has tons of resources, has a spyglass. Fruitberries has so many things from the nether. And once, once Fruitberries has pearls and it starts moving, it is impossible for Silver to catch up. So this will be interesting to see how it goes. How does the hopper goal work? Whoever has more hoppers gets the goal. Simple as that. And it can be passed back and forth. So it looks like Fruit might be ready to leave now. So if Silver isn't able to get there in time, that, that could be a problem. We'll see though. I mean, 9 to 7, it, it's totally possible this goes either way. Looks like he is choosing to get a little bit of food just to keep him going. That's good. Good, uh, good thinking there. But I mean, Fruit now has Fire Resistance and Ender Pearls. And it's just impossible for Silver to get him now. Especially when Fruit is about to ride 
A Strider with the saddle. And now Fruit doesn't even need to pearl. Fruit can just run away. And look at that. Gone. What is Silver going to do now? Silver maybe getting the leftovers of the Bastion. I don't know if Fruit actually looted the top of the Bastion, so this could be an opportunity for Silver to get some stuff. We'll see. It all depends. But the one thing, Rip FC is also in the Nether now with a Spyglass. But wait. Fruit is actually going and playing aggressive, trying to kill Silver. Silver dies. Fruit pearled back to Silver for the revenge kill. Well, it's not really a revenge kill. It's just, just killed Silver again, I guess. But it looks like Rip FC is just trying to find a, a ghast, not able to see one immediately with that spyglass. Unfortunate. And it looks like Fruit is just going to clear out the rest of the Bastion, so there are no leftovers left for Silver to steal. Dylan's in the Nether too now, also with a spyglass. This could be a point back for Blue, and then it's going to be tied up. Now the one thing, does Fruit go back for his saddle that he left on the Strider? That is something, a good call-out chat, because that saddle is very important. That is a missed goal if Fruit does not go back for it. Let's see. Looks like he is kind of looking in that general direction. Does he do it? Does he go back for the saddle? I think he might be. Might be swimming over to it. Yeah, probably going to pearl over. Directly hits. The Strider probably just going to ride it until it dies. Ride it onto the land, die, or kill it. Yep. Gonna try and deliberately kill it so he can uh, recover that saddle back. But wait a minute. Looks like Blue is able to get the spyglass. Dylan looks at the ghast and actually gets an advancement along the way. Dylan was able to look at it. It is 9 9 now. 9 9 tied. And Blue still has that advantage. But Rip FC finding diamonds. Rip FC already has seven. The full diamond armor is 27 diamonds. It's a hell of a lot. But it's something that Rip, F Rip FC definitely could do. We'll see here. What did I did I say 24? I swear in my head I was thinking 24. What did I say? I better not have said 27, which is the amount of emeralds. Sorry. Oh my, in my head, I was like, don't say 27. That is the number of emeralds you need for chain armor. It's 24. And then I said 27 anyways. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Looks like Dylan is going through the nether. I mean... Six status, effects, six status effects at once, definitely easier in the nether. You can get glowing, you can get, um, you can get glowing, you can get fire resistance, and then you need four more. You know, that, that helps with just getting to that number. You can get wither as well if you're in a fortress, so, you know, maybe a golden apple if you have so, uh, some leftover gold from the bastion. Could be something you do. It's hard to say, though. But, I mean, it looks like Rip FC is going for the diamond armor and, uh... I mean, getting 35 advancements is going to be tough. I, I think something Rip FC could be doing, and might start be doing, st might start to do here. No, not going for that iron yet. I think mining the iron would probably be a pretty beneficial thing to do, because five iron per hopper, you could be, you know, while you're searching for those diamonds, speaking of, while you're searching for these diamonds, you could be smelting that iron and, and getting the hopper goal, because, you know, if one team gets to 12 and no team has hoppers, you just need five iron in a chest to win. Dylan falling down. Totally fine though, in a boat. Looks like Fruit has entered the overworld. Not quite sure what Fruit is going for right now. Probably the ride a horse with a saddle goal. That'll get them to 10. You know, if they can get a horse with a saddle and six status effects at once, that is enough to, to, to start on the hopper goal. So that's probably their game plan right now. Find a horse. Get those effects. You know, Fruit Berries has two different flowers right now. Has the Jump Boost flower, 
flower, has a poison flower, could potentially just eat for two potion effects, has enough gold for a golden apple, regular golden apple, I believe, is absorption and regeneration. So that's two effects. That is six effects in the inventory, or that is four effects in the inventory right now. It's not an enchanted golden apple, but a regular golden apple does give a good amount. Um, also, some spectral arrows. That brings them up to five. One more flower, like a red flower for blindness, could do it. Are you going to eat them in the optimal order, though? Because each flower lasts a different length of time, and do you have enough time to eat everything before those effects run out? It would be very close. Also, yeah, wait, hunger. Fruit berries could get six status effects at once right now. Silver. Speed bridging. So fast. Looks like Silver is just going to be looking for some kind of resources here. Trying to maybe find another structure, a new uh, structure to get to that, um, to get something. You know, finding a Bastion would be, uh, would be really good for Silver right now. Maybe get some iron for tools, some extra iron for hoppers if you can. Looks like that is what Silver is looking for. That's what that uh, FOV switch was for. Try and locate the general direction of a Bastion if there's one close by. And it seems like there might be, based on uh, how fast that check was. No boat, because you only have Netherwood, but has a couple of mushrooms. We'll see. It looks like Fruitberry still has not realized that he is able to get that, um, that goal yet. Although he doesn't have an apple and there's no oak trees around, so maybe that's what he's looking for. Maybe an oak tree of some kind. We'll see in a sec. He's looking around. This is a good biome for horses, I think, right? So could be some horses. Maybe just trying to prioritize the ho those horses. Sees it as an easier goal. Wants to cut off the opponent here. What's the score currently? The game score is 9-9. The match score is 1-1. It is dead even. Do donkeys count? I don't think they do. Is fruit going to try it? No. I don't think donkeys count as horses. Honestly, I'm glad he didn't check, because that's not something we tested. Uh, <laughs> and here we go. Silver finds a new Bastion. And wait a minute. Fruit... Or Dylan, actually, gets the six status effects. Blindness, jump boost, hunger. Dylan actually gets it. Gets a golden apple, gets dolphin's grace, gets blindness, gets hunger. And I think that is enough... Poison maybe as well. Oh my god. Oh, big stretch. Okay. Dylan gets that goal, and I think Blue is in a good position right now because all they need... And wait a minute. Look at Dylan's inventory. He has enough for exactly one hopper. So they could time this where the moment that Fruit Berries finds this horse, they build the hopper at that exact moment. And can win the game. So if Fruit is able to find a single horse in this village or around this village, that could be it. Because Dylan is, is probably preparing a hopper here. Oh no, wait, no, that's only 12. I'm dumb. Wait, I why did I think that was 13? No, never mind. Yeah, that's only 12. My math is a little off there, chat. It looks like Dylan keeps checking his advancements. He's seeing which ones he's missing. Trying to get the 35. Both teams are dead even at 26. Rip FC back in the, uh, what I can only imagine to be the starter village. Trying to, I'm not sure what he's going for at the moment. It's, it's difficult to, to, to determine. Has 12 diamonds, halfway to full diamond armor, but that is an awful goal. Do any of them have melons? Doesn't look like any of them have melons or melon seeds. Can't remember who had that initially, but... Silver in a very precarious place. Trying to get just a little bit of food. Hopefully that's enough to kill this hogland here. Because he does need that snack. There is a brute right there. Has, has to kill the brute without burning the food. Very dangerous situation. 
One heart. No fall damage. Gets the food. All right. Silver is starting to get some stuff back. Silver has some iron, has some gold, has a little bit of food now. Looks like he ate it all, but it's a start. And that's really all he needs because the other team cannot win immediately. Looks like Fruit has left the overworld, gave up on the horse potentially. Maybe just going to try and blind in a different spot. When did Silver die? Fruit Berries managed to kill Silver several times in the Bastion. Yeah, look at that. Silver kills another hog and is now three cooked pork chops. That'll last a decent amount of time. Definitely for the course of the Bastion. And then Dylan running the overworld. Not sure what he's looking for. Let's look at his inventory. What is his plan? I think Dylan is just trying to get advancements as best he can. Nine advancements though. They are running on empty. I think he might be... I think Dylan right now might be going to tame a donkey. That would be my guess. He's looking at it. Yep. That is an advancement that he does not have yet. Dylan, no saddle. And look at that. Looks like Orange Team actually does. Looks like uh, Rip FC starts grinding out the hoppers. Hopefully cutting off the other team. It is again tied 10 to 10. But that hopper goal can be stolen by Blue if they happen to ever get more iron. So that'll be something that Rip FC will basically from now on always have to be working on. So the other team is unable to catch up. It looks like Dylan kills a skeleton here. I think he may be going for some of the advancements related to the bows. Kills a skeleton or kills a spider. Yep. Looks like he's going for string. Gonna try and get those advancements. It is 27 to 6 on advancements. This orange team is actually just it, it they even after all of the deaths, they are doing so much. But look at that. Old Betsy with um, with Fruit here. Looks like Fruit is trying to hit something with it. Gets the take aim advancement. Blue is now at 29. Is this my public? Yeah. Not the tournament version, but yes. Alright, Silver... Just trying to finish up this Bastion, get as much as he can. If he could get an Iron Block, that would help their security a little bit with the whole Hopper situation. You know, an Iron Block would bring you up to uh, 15. That's three Hoppers you can make. But it looks like Rip FC just going to be mining out as much as possible here. While, uh, looks like Fruit Berries could be entering the Fortress. And is this the first Fortress we've seen? It might be. And that's going to be even more advancements into fire. Uh, the fortress advancement. It is, I think. Hot tourist destinations and the fortress. Now, you kill one blaze, get a blaze rod, that's a goal. You get a wither skeleton skull, that, or not a goal, that's an advancement. You are able to get a wither skeleton skull if you're a little bit lucky, that's an advancement. There are a lot of things that could be done here and they're getting very, very close. And it looks like uh, Dylan, still in the overworld, trying to get one more string or at least a bow to maybe get some bow advancements while, I mean, Rip FC grinding out the hoppers. And now, because Rip FC started on those hoppers, Blue Team can't immediately win after they get to 12. They'll have to work on another goal, whether it be, you know, they'll, they'll probably, I, I think, most likely... Blue team will get the advancements because um, Fruit Bears can also get a brewing stand uh, for the goal. Because just putting in and taking out a potion out of a brewing stand is an advancement. Yeah, and there's Dylan with another one. Take M. Finally getting that bow. Dylan does have enough, actually, to get Bullseye if he wants. And... Looks like I don't think blue team has bred anything yet either, have they? No, they definitely have. Never mind, I'm done. Um, so if he could, uh, Dylan could make a target block, which is another advancement. And it looks like Dylan has located a horse, tells Fruit the coordinates to it. Sorry, H Rose. And I think Silver. Silver leaving the bastion with zero pearls 
Silver not getting a single pearl trade. Absolutely heartbreaking for Silver. Terrible luck. It happens sometimes, but really not the time to happen here. As Silver is approaching the fortress that Fruit Berries is fighting in. Will Fruit Berries expect it? I mean, Rip FC still grinding out hoppers. Two hoppers for Rip FC at the moment, I think. No one else has even tried. And it looks like uh, Rip FC probably running, trying to find a couple more diamonds around these uh, these mine shafts here. Interesting though, Fruit Berries still not getting that advancement for the. Um... Oh, wait. Silver has reached the fortress. Does. Is this the same fortress that Fruit is in? It looks like Fruit is running away. Does not want to interact with Silver. Nothing to gain from that situation. But that actually helps Orange Team a lot with the advancements. If they can just get a little lucky, get the spooky scary skeleton skull. You know, they can make a brewing stand. That could work. But it looks like Fruit is leaving. While Silver gets... A saddle. Does Silver have obsidian? Silver only with four obsidian isn't able to en exit the nether. And looks like Fruit Berries gets the local brewery advancement and they are only one advancement away now. It will be very difficult for Orange to catch up. And it looks like Fruit going up. 2,000, 2,000, he is nowhere near the horse that Dylan saw. The Heroes, sorry. Dylan, what is Dylan doing now? I mean, I think the only thing Dylan can really do is, is try and get one more advancement. He doesn't have a saddle, he doesn't have diamonds, and he cannot enter the end. But there are... St both teams need three points. This is going to be a long match. The top right position is a potion of healing. And it looks like Rip FC didn't grab melon seeds from that mine shaft that he was in, which is one of the only ways to get potion of healing. So it looks like with no one getting any of those melon seeds or keeping the melon seeds because um, uh, Orange Team, they saw melon seeds in a uh, dungeon. They did not grab it. I think Fruit did the same thing. He grabbed the melon seeds and put them back in the chest, did not grab it. No one is grabbing melon seeds for the healing gold. The only way to do it otherwise in, that is realistic is finding an end city with a ship on it and taking the healing potion out of that. That is realistically the only way they're going to get it unless they get insanely lucky with a witch. But it looks like Fruit trying to find the stronghold for that final advancement here. While Silver Runs is just going to attempt to, I guess, get enough rods to, uh, I guess just gonna try and get enough rods to be able to enter the, enter the stronghold or enter the end. We'll see. It all depends. I mean, Fruit does have enough obsidian to portal again, but I think Fruit might be going to the surface here, looking around, maybe trying to locate that, uh, that, that fabled horse that he so desperately needs. Now, the advancements, we know they're close. Looks like Rip FC hasn't been getting too many extra hoppers now either. Uh, fruit has no obsidian. Actually, yeah, that's not obsidian for fruit. That in in the right slot. That's actually, that's actually nether brick. Looks like Dylan, being a little silly here, doesn't know how to do the bullseye advancement. That is not how you do it, Dylan. Dylan, that is not going to work. It is the other way around. You do not shoot at the target and aim at the trap door. You aim at the trap door and then shoot the target. Dylan doesn't know what he's doing. I'm going to refresh his stream. Dylan knows what he's doing. Okay. Yeah, Dylan, he's like, I shot the target. Why isn't it working? 
This is so good. This is so good. I guess Dylan has just never done this before. He keeps opening up the trap. Why do you keep opening it up? Surely. I don't know if Fruit knows how to do it either is the thing. But it looks like, I mean, Fruit is just going to get the final advancement. And then it's all on Fruit to, I guess, enter the end and... I don't know, maybe wear a diamond armor. Oh my god, wait a minute. Did Dylan do it? No. Did he? Wait, Dylan did do it. That works? I had no idea. I'm an idiot. And it looks like, wait a minute, fruit is on the saddle. I guess that works. I didn't know that worked, chat. That's a new setup for it. Oh, and yeah, there it is, horse with a saddle. Blue needs one gold to get the reset and have a chance at winning this. And I mean, Fruit is now riding a horse on his way to the end. Fruit knows where the stronghold is and he is on his way. Now really the only thing that Dylan can do is grind for hoppers and Dylan needs 15 iron. How much iron does Dylan have? Two and he's already mining. Does he have the wood, though? That's the question. Is he gonna go down for... Yeah, okay, well, looks like... You didn't need wood anyways, Dylan, right? <laughs> but looks like fruit berries, horsing around. Rip FC actually finding a couple more diamonds. Brutal. Actually... Rip FC only needs a few more diamonds anyways. Rip FC has three pieces of diamond armor and one diamond in the inventory. Rip it, or... Are there boots there? No. Eight more diamonds for Rip FC. Eight more. That's That could be one vein if you're doing it right. Rip FC going on a crazy mining adventure. And Silver... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Silver finds a Bastion. If Silver gets 20 Obsidian here. If Silver can secure 20 Obsidian before Fruit can enter the end, you could do double travel and potentially get to a stronghold. But it looks like Fruit is digging down. This could be it. Blue could potentially get into the stronghold here. Let's hope those coordinates are correct. Fruit... A little scary though, straight dig downs, lots of caves. 45 more blocks ish, maybe slightly less than that to go. I'm a little bit scared. Fruit digging down. Are these the right coordinates? They were. Now, Fruit has exactly 12 eyes. He just needs to find the portal before Silver can do everything. Now, this game is purely on fruit, not messing up, but also Dylan just needs to smell some iron, I think. Um, so there are two lines to win here for blue team, and then they get the bracket reset if that's the case. This is big for blue. Will you find it, Fruit? That looks good! Just needs to enter the end! There's the sound, and that is a victory for Blue Team! They get the bracket reset, and we are going to the final match, the best two out of three. my god. Okay, well, let's set up for the next match really quick, because these two are going again. Blue needs to win two matches, or Orange needs to win two matches. 
Let me uh, get this good here. What does the winner get? $20,000. It was a $50,000 prize pool tournament. First place gets $20,000. Second place still gets $10K. So either way, if they lose, they still get $10K. But they lose out on that extra ten. dollars so we'll see here. See here, we're gonna take a couple minute break. Um, just to set up the next match, I'm gonna hit the bathroom, probably get a little bit of water, maybe some more coffee. Yeah, tell them they got like a 5-10 minute break. How much does third get? Uh, check the information. see here really quick <laughs> all right so uh, I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick and we will start the final game the final match of the tournament will Dylan and Fruitberries after losing their very first match have a perfect losers bracket run all the way to the end Or will Silver and Rip FC come back and beat them? Okay, uh... Okay, Samantha's going to the toilet a lot. I'm drinking a lot of coffee, and I do not want to be distracted during this. Anyways. Just gonna check chat uh was the losers bracket match today with dylan and fruit berries was that a 2-0 or was that a, a I think they're just gonna test to see if it's a RIP FC issue or if it's a server issue. RIP FC is in the UK and we're just gonna have a UK person or two log on to see if there's a problem. Um, should the prediction be over? The predi prediction should be over. Blue won that 
um, that game and that match. Uh, Tyron the Moose, thank you for the 19 months. Is there somewhere we can look to see what icons represent what? Uh, lockout key is uh, your source. Who is the blue team? If they're on your screen. Grab some coffee, grab some water. I think we're good to go. Uh, let's see how the test goes. I am back, and we are ready to go. Blue team is going to get the dub. We'll see. We'll see here. Let's refresh everything, make sure it's all set up properly. Um, <laughs> all right. Stream. Refresh. 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 Okay. Alright. Yeah, it looks like... Looks like it is not a server issue. And it looks like it's a specifically... Uh, is there something with RipFC's internet issue, I think, that is causing the little bit of lag that he's receiving. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> RipFC with that ping? I mean, there's... <laughs> we can't control RipFC's internet. Change the match score on your face cam. Thank you. It is now 0-0. Zero to zero. I will fix that in a sec. Boom. Properties. 0. Properties. 0. Right. Uh, I don't. Maybe I'll just add like a little border behind it or something. I don't know. What's the link for the lockout key? I think it's lockout key is the command. All right, chat. All right. <clears throat> Looks like the server is up. Um. What was the, uh, the lockout key command again, chat? Does there any mods know? <clears throat> no, 
Not exactly sure. It's just a lockout command? Oh, there we go. Yeah, looks like the server is up. And yeah, we're just gonna have to jump into it. Um... Interesting board you have for us here. Oh, yeah chat. Um, we're gonna take a look at the board. It looks like they're all joining They said interesting board you have for us here surely we don't get teleported to the nether and uh, that is chat because None of the objectives are easy to do in the overworld at all. None of the objectives can realistically be done in the overworld quickly. There is no early game. There is a no early game board, chat. It is all nether, stronghold, and end goals. We're gonna wait a second just to make sure everything is good. Enter nether is a goal. Obtain soul lantern, breed hoglin, enter end, obtain dragon egg, get levitation, kill a silverfish, wear gold armor set, mine a mob spawner, th kill 30 undead mobs, obtain a wither skeleton skull, obtain an end crystal, brew a potion of invisibility, healing, lingering potion, mat die by magic, charge a respawning get a max, don't catch on fire, this boat has legs advancement, visit all nether biomes, reach level 30, glow ink on a crimson sign, obtain a cobweb and red nether brick stairs. A lot of different goals in the nether and the end. Ready? We'll see here. Hopefully, I mean, there's... Okay. They say yes. Let's start this game then. It is a brutal board. Blue didn't win 2-1. to one. So, the way this tournament works is blue was in... Blue was in the loser's bracket. And orange was in the winner's side. So blue needed to beat the winners. Blue needed to beat the people that won on winners. So now they are on an even playing field. Now they both have one loss. To get knocked out of the tournament, you need to have two losses. So now this is the grand finals. Everyone can lose once. But if you lose twice, you're knocked out. So they lost, they lost their very, uh, Blue lost their very first game ever. Uh, on the tournament. So they have been in the loser's bracket since the very first day. Anyways. We're starting the match. Inventories should be good to go. And there is a lava pool directly beside spawn. Which should be an easy way to consistently enter the nether. Because they're gonna want to be in the nether basically at all times here. So we're going to see how that goes. They're going to be looking at the board here, scanning it. There, the, the one that you could realistically do in the overworld is cobweb. That's it. <laughs> Maybe you could convince an opponent to catch you on fire while, they'll be, while they're building the portal. Maybe magic if you're a little bit lucky. There are some things you need to bring from the overworld to the nether, like glow ink. Or golden carrots. Or melons. Or fermented spider eye. Or coal. That one, not as much. But anyways, it looks like they've started. They're going, fruit berries is running. They're gonna probably, there they grab the melon. That's for the potion of healing right to start. And they are off. Golden carrots you can find in nether. I guess that's true. The spider eye, I guess, is the part that's tough. Yeah, looks like fruit is setting up the match. Whoops. Never mind. This is fruit. Looks like fruit going to bully Rip FC. Of course. Looks like Dylan is getting punched by Silver. Silver does have some melons and it looks like Dylan here. An instant chase. Fruit berries 
really seems to hate Rip FC. This is just going to put Fruit Berries at a disadvantage, I think, because he's just going to be away from that lava pool that was at spawn. You know, it might help. Uh, maybe that's the whole point, though. Maybe trying to scare away both people so they can enter the nether a little bit more quickly because of that lava pool that's right next to spawn. Looks like Dylan being a little bit defensive here, trying not to get hit by anyone because just mining that stuff. There's an ocean northwest. Not that it's going to help. But looks like Silver back to try and stop Dylan from killing that golem. Silver hitting fruit. It's an axe fight. There is no gold to get killed. They'll just respawn right at that village. And nothing's really going to happen. Looks like fruit is now trying to kill the golem. But gets killed by Silver. Silver also kills Dylan. Silver soloing the orange team. And I mean, the orange team, they're just in the village still. This is spawn. So Silver and Rip FC have teamed up. Give, uh, gave Rip FC an axe and they're moving on, but... I mean, Fruitberries and Dylan, they still have the village. They still have the iron, right? No, they don't. Wait. Silver has four iron from the golem. Managed to get it and run, so... The blue team cannot immediately enter the nether, and I think Silver might be looking for an alternate nether entry. Reacting? There's a... What do you mean? Reac what do you mean by reacting, Travis? Have you, have you never... It's... it's I'm, cast, I'm casting the tournament. I'm... It's... <laughs> I guess, really, casters are just professional reactors, aren't they? I'm, uh, yeah, it's my tourney. If I spent $50 to host this tournament, God damn it, I'll react to it too. <laughs> I'm a professional react Andy. 50, okay, $50,000. I missed a thousand, okay? 50,000. I'm, uh, chat, I'm broke. I changed in my mind. It's actually $50. Anyways, looks like, um... Looks like Silver has actually found some iron and is getting loaded up on iron. I mean, coming back with like full iron armor against this team, it's going to be good. It looks like Dylan is going to be looking for some iron here in the cave to be able to just mine it to enter the nether because there is that lava pool there. Both teams know entering the nether is a top priority because they literally cannot do anything in the overworld, realistically. Like maybe you find a, a mine shaft. Maybe. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, Dylan did not pick up coal. You can make charcoal if you really need to, though. So, charcoal can be used to make soul lanterns. We'll see if that becomes an issue. But obviously, it's just easier to mine the coal now. Probably just doesn't make the connection. Dylan is just trying to find iron to get into that nether first. Because there are a few goals. I mean... There really is only one goal that you can instantly do in the nether, and that's the soul lantern, right? Maybe if you can find a fortress, mob spawner could be quick. Other than that, there's no goal that's, like, instant. If you find a fortress or a, a bastion, I mean, you can also get, um... You know, if you find a bastion, you could potentially get full gold armor. Also, enter nether is just a goal in itself. Actually, yeah, no, this is this purple is actually supposed to be obtained nether portal, so that's weird that that's not <laughs> a kid. Uh, looks like Dylan has found a different village, unless this is the starter village. Dylan might have given up, and it looks like Fruit has found two iron. Gonna be looking for the third iron, three iron for the bucket to be able to make that nether portal here. While it looks like Silver just got full iron tools is basically ready to enter if Silver can just find an enter. Silver just needs to find an enter here. And the fact that he's making a flint and steel makes me think that he may have found one. What is this? <gasps> oh, it's just one lava. Okay, never mind. My fruit still struggling to find that last one single iron piece to actually build a portal. Not able to do it. The one thing, they definitely do not need iron to build the portal. 
because they could have just traded for a bucket in the village, and I don't think anyone made that connection there. Looks like Dylan is actually at a... a this could be a new village? I'm not exactly sure. It is a new village. With the blacksmith. Looks like Dylan found a new village with the blacksmith. Blacksmith could have a lot of stuff in here. Could be very valuable. And it looks like because of this, I don't know if... If there's obsidian here, the blue team could have something big. Ooh, no obsidian, but there is iron. And that's all you need to enter the nether. You could have also just traded for buckets, but this is probably better. Eight iron, feeling good. The best of three finals just start. The grand finals are starting now. Is there any chance we have a timer for the next match or two? I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I'll maybe be able to put one there, like a small one. Just like under the scores. We had a timer there yesterday. It's not there today. Yeah, the timer was coded to count down, not count up. Apparently, they could not reverse it. <laughs> I'll just open up live split for next match. Anyways, let's see. No one has started entering the Nether yet. Looks like they're looks like Silver just looking for a lava pool, one that is not near spawn. Um, fruit berries, I think, gave up on the iron. No, wait, fruit berries did end up getting enough iron, and we'll be able to enter through the the initial ne the lava pool that they found. And I think it looks like Dylan might be running back there as well. Dylan making a. Uh, 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 a sprint back to fruit berries and silver actually finds lava first though silver will be entering here as fruit berries finishes all of his stuff to be able to enter the nether with he is gonna sprint over and silver enters the nether first and immediately finds a fortress okay now, it looks like Silver is going into the fortress to try and find... Oh, no. Silver immediately caught on fire from a blaze! And is also withered! Giving a point to Blue just doesn't even think about it. Very dangerous. And there we go. Wait. Fruit instantly enters, has the core ready, is able to build the Soul Lantern. And now Fruit and Dylan teaming up. They are both in the nether. And Rip FC is stuck in the overworld. Not entering just yet. But Silver Runs is the one in the fortress. But they could easily 2v1 him. Dylan has a shield. There's another goal down because Silver managed to get to the spawner. It is 2 2. And they are going to be on Silver in a second. Look at this Fruit Berries. Sees silver. Dylan finding a bastion. All right, fruit in a fortress. S uh, Dylan in a bastion. That's another goal. Dylan manages to get the full gold armor done. And now, it is now two to three, and with two of them in the nether, and Rip FC still stuck in the overworld, trying to run to Silver's portal. There is only so much that, I mean, there's literally nothing that Rip FC could do. Looks like Rip FC is almost at the portal, though. This seems like the terrain that Silver was at, but let's go back over here. It looks like Fruitberry's gonna start looting these. He can get the respawn anchor soon. But it looks like, right here, Silver is on Fruit. Dylan is too, though. Can, can Silver take this 2v1? None of them have fire resistance yet. It looks like Rip FC has made it into that fortress. This is some chaos here. Wait, did Fruit happen to die here? Looks like Fruit did end up dying. So it's just Silver versus Dylan. Silver just going to ignore Dylan and maybe see if the resources for a respawn anchor are sitting around in this chest. 
Are there? Oh, does get a bunch of really good food here. Gets three. Makes a bow. Oh, not enough time. Ooh. Oh, doesn't quite finish the craft. And Dylan gets the hit. Does Dylan... Dylan get lava, though? Dylan gets hit by the lava. Is on fire. Has to run away. And is getting shot at by Silver. And Dylan... Goes down, Silver takes the 2v1, but Fruit Berries is back and dead again. Silver is insane. Taking the 2v1 with two of the best Minecraft PvPers on the planet. And I'm not exaggerating. Like, literally, Fruit Berries might genuinely be the best PvPer on Earth. <laughs> and I mean, Rip FC at the Bastion. It looks like Dylan is back with a wooden axe. Dylan, there's Dylan. Coming from above, Dylan and Fruit. Coming again. They can, can only hold him off for so long. Blocks him in with lava, though. Silver. Still alive. Hiding from these guys. Hopefully not landing in lava. Very dangerous. Boom. There's the lava coming in. They don't have pickaxes. So if you're able to cover your head with blocks, this is close. It looks like Rip FC was slain by Fruit Berries, but does that mean Fruit Berries is low because Rip FC? No, it looks like Silver is trying to dig to escape. Yeah. Silver is digging to escape. Well, it looks like Fruit and Dylan are trying to get at him. Anything that they can do. It looks like Silver has managed to escape at least a little bit. Has five crying obsidian. Needs one more for the respawn anchor goal. Has the bow, though. Neither of them have shields. There's Dylan down. Going for Fruit now, who is on two hearts! Fruit hiding in a hole! Gonna shoot the top of the block and then mine it out to potentially hit Fruit? Is that what was going for there? No? No? Okay, just running away. Does have soul speed boots on, so is able to escape. And it looks like Fruit is able to get out of this hole. But not gonna not be able to catch up to Silver here. Rip FC back in the overworld, trying to figure out what to do. Oh no, lagging. <laughs> Silver is carrying this match. Yeah, soul speed boots are insane for this 2v1. Looks like Fruit is still on two hearts and gonna run out of sprint soon. No food in Fruit's inventory at all. Fruit has to find a way to eat some food or something. So we'll see here in a second. It looks like Silver is starting to clear the fortress a little bit. Maybe trying to get a couple of, you know, invisibility potion. Potion of healing. Potion of healing is something that Silver definitely could be doing right now. And I think that's what's happening. Just needs to get a water bottle. Maybe going to go back into the overworld to try and brew it. Because you don't have any, uh, doesn't have any water bottles at the moment. Maybe Rip FC could be preparing that for him. Doesn't look like it. No. Nope. Rip FC in the nether. Rip FC... The spawn portal. Looks like silver. Trying to get one more blaze rod. So you can make a brewing, brewing stand and power it. Also, 20 nether wart for the nether brick stairs. Does he mine netherrack? Maybe brings it to the overworld to hide from the other two. Let's hope, because red nether brick stairs is a goal. He does have two rods. Please tell me he grabs... Please tell me 12 is the key number you need. 12 nether brick for the nether brick stairs. Looks like doesn't see it. Doesn't have enough gold for the glistening melon though. What's going to happen here? Going to mine three. I mean, the other team is not able to see them anymore. Yeah, going to be mining 11 here. Start smelting what? What are you smelting? You don't have nether rack. Has to go back. 
And it looks like Dylan and Fruit have a free reign of the Bastion. Oh my god! Rip FC, maybe? Who was that? Someone got a Wither Skeleton Skull. I don't know who it was. Wait, Silver! Just happened to get a Wither Skeleton Skull. Just by re-entering. Just got lucky. We looked away for a second. It would be nice to have health bars on the name for the competition. Yeah, I can't though because the absorption broke it. We had it last week, but it doesn't work. Also, by the way, Fruit is still at a heart and a half. As he has been for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but looks like Silver hanging out at this portal. Deactivates it before Fruit goes through. So Fruit's portal is not going to be in the same place. Fruit's portal back at spawn. It looks like Silver has enough gold for... Oh my god, wait. It looks like Silver now has gold. Not gonna go for the Netherbrick Stairs first. Yeah, gonna be smelting. Smelting bricks, actually. Smelting bricks. Making another furnace. Smelting the glass. And I think Fruit... I, I mean, Fruit's going to the surface for food. I think that's m what must have been happening here. And it looks like Silver just gonna try and, you know, maybe get some other food, I guess, just to stay alive. And there is another goal. It looks like Rip FC managed to breed a Hoglin. While we were looking away, yeah, right there, there's the Hoglins. Rip FC able to get that Hoglin breed. It is three to four for Blue. Oh no, wait, no. I'm dumb. Someone else bred it. That was Dylan, not Rip FC. Sorry, I checked by the name length. Looks like Dylan bred the Hoglins inside of the Bastion. It is now 3-4, but Silver is just seconds away from... from getting two different goals. Red Nether Brick Stairs and Potion of Healing. Which is not the easiest goal. That's good to get out of the way. But the other thing is... You can turn a Potion of Healing into a Magic Potion, an Instant Damage Potion, with a single Spider Eye, Sugar... And a brown mushroom. So there's the red nether brick stairs for silver. Is able to craft them. And the potion of healing is coming any second now. So silver will be pulling into the lead here. And Dylan did die to the bread hoglins. That's okay. Probably able to get his stuff back. Looks like right here. Does he get a spider eye? Silver gets a spider eye. Just needs one. And there's the healing potion. Keep the healing potion. And you can turn it into instant damage. No. No. No, Silver. He threw the healing potion away. Literally throwing. Does not keep a brown... Does does not keep the healing potion, which you can instantly turn into a magic potion for damage. Because all you need to do is drink it on low health. That is a massive mistake. Looks like Silver's coming back. Gonna be getting some uh, some more stuff here. Rip FC. Gonna maybe. What is what is Rip FC doing here? Trying to get these two. Why? What is Rip FC? Does Rip FC have a saddle? Rip FC does have a saddle. Okay, and the stick. That's good. Okay. That's good. I'm going to refresh the stream. And there is that goal. Is able to ride a strider. And now Rip FC can just move through the nether really freely. Maybe finding some things that you really need. Like what? Actually, I don't know. I think the best thing that Rip FC could do is find maybe nether weights and kill a bunch of zombie piglins. The score is 6-4 to four for orange. And I mean, Silver, that hurt from Silver, but they are still ahead. And it looks like any second now, 
you know, uh, Fruit has three Crying Obsidian. Dylan has zero. So if Fruit can get just a couple more Crying Obsidian. And it looks like Fruit knows where the backup blocks are. If Fruit is able to get three more Crying Obsidian, Fruit has enough Glowstone blocks to be able to charge that Respawn Anchor to max, but it really hurt me to see Silver throwing away that instant health potion. Could turn it into magic. Don't need to get a Witch. Don't need to get the Dragon. Don't need to get a Monument. You can just do it. The middle goal is a Potion of Invisibility, so a Golden Carrot and uh, a Golden Carrot and a Fermented Spider Eye would do the trick. And it looks like Silver did keep two Spider Eyes, so Spider Eye for the Magic Potion and a Spider Eye for Invisibility would have worked. It looks like Fruit is now at five Crying Obsidian. And there's eight! That's enough! Fruit can get it! And there it is. Boom, boom. We see it, we hear it before we see it, there it is. Another goal for Blue. And it looks like Dylan getting some building blocks. Getting some brown mushrooms, potentially, for the magic and potion of invisibility here. Oh, this could be big. Silver has a bow and one blaze powder. Gil, if this gas dies and gets that tear, please shoot it with your bow. You don't, you don't have to shoot it with your bow, I guess. Silver. Silver, you have a bow. You have ten arrows. Silver. Silver. Silver, gonna try and punch it back instead. Telegraphing what goal they are going for. If you shoot it with the bow and arrow, there's no way to know you killed the ghast. There are no advancement goals. Oh, it looks like Silver made sure to get that biome for all nether biomes as well. Looks like Silver's probably close to that. And now, I mean, the ghast. You have a bow and arrow in your hotbar, Silver. Silver, okay, Silver does end up getting it at long last, and it drops the gas tier. Level 30 is a goal as well. So we'll see, it looks like... Silver, is this a new fortress? Could be, I think the only biome that Silver might be missing is the Blue Forest. Now, one thing, let's look at Dylan, not a lot of stuff in the inventory, but is killing... All of the undead mobs is at 22. Wither skeletons do count, so you can make that work. But yeah, it looks like Dylan gonna focus on killing the undead mobs at 23 now. It looks like they're gonna get that. It looks like Fruit Berry's also killing Wither skeletons to get those undead mobs up. Rip FC now low on HP. Does have a diamond pickaxe from a Bastion though. Kind of clutch. What are they gonna do? I think, I mean, any second now, this one is gonna be done. Silver. Now I'm going to be doing this. And there is a goal. All of the biomes for silver does get it here. But another goal by blue. They managed to kill the 30 undead mobs. Right here. We can see it. Instant replay. Bang. Dylan finishes it off. Gets all of them in the hole. And now the uh, end crystal has not been crafted yet. So... If Fruit Berries happens to get a gas tier first, he has the pearls, he has the rods. You know who doesn't have the pearls? Silver. Silver can't make the end crystal because he just doesn't have the pearls yet. They got control of the Bastion. And something else that he didn't pick up. Any of the Nether Quartz yet. At least keep one or two for the Redstone Comparator here. Looks like Dylan gonna be running around. I'm not sure what he's going for yet. Maybe looked up at the ceiling there. Maybe looking for Crying Obsidian hard, or look, maybe looking for the, um, uh, the, the, the red stuff, the white stuff, the, the quartz. There we go. Third try. Looks like Fruit Berries has entered a fortress, and Silver is now digging for blocks. Is this a new bastion? I can't even tell anymore. I think this is a new bastion. The white stuff, the quartz. The top right corner objective is obtaining a dragon egg. You have to kill the dragon. There's an enter end goal. There's a dragon egg goal. Get levitation and a level 30 goal. Those are all a lot easier by going to the end. Also, getting to a stronghold to kill a silverfish. You know, the, the team that gets to the end first is going to have a huge swing. And really, 
Rip FC has been trading a Bastion. And I think... I'm not sure who is at... I think they've separated, but... It looks like... Fruitberries actually has everything ready. And does Fruitberries find the healing potion? He does! The huge throw! Fruitberries finds the healing potion that Silver threw out. Fruitberries will be able to die to magic. Team Blue is laughing right now because all he needs is a single spider eye and he can get that goal. Silver actually just giving it away and he still has it in his inventory. <clears throat> Silver throwing it away and not even destroying it is huge for Blue Team. What happened earlier? Silver just threw away his potion of healing because he thought he was done with it. But with the brewing stand, you can turn it into a potion of instant damage and kill yourself by die by magic. And Fruitberries just happened to walk onto it and picked up the healing potion. And Fruitberries is on the opposite team. <clears throat> uh, this is the correct inventory on the overlay. Uh, the water bottles are the potions. They're just not correctly displayed because getting the metadata was a little bit too tricky. <clears throat> is this going to be a $10,000 mistake from Silver? Not sure, but it looks like Silver is starting to trade the Bastion here. Silver has 23 Obsidian, something that Fruitberries does not have. I think Fruitberries might be just trying to sprint to the Stronghold. I mean, Silver, you can portal... You know, an instant thousand blocks if you just pearl once. So Silver could realistically make it to the stronghold before Fruit, or at least while Fruit is in the end. If he's able to get these pearls. So we'll see here. This is a bit scary. It looks like Rip FC is, is basically completely finished trading out this Bastion now. So, it looks like Rip FC is going to be ready to go. I mean, there's not too much else to do. We'll see. Does he have the rods? Oh, yeah. Wait. Silver does not have the rods anymore after crafting the brewing stand. Uh, doesn't have the rods that um, Fruitberries does. And uh, Dylan, I think, is going to rendezvous with Dylan somewhere. That'd be my guess. Maybe. Because what could realistically Dylan do at the moment? Dylan might be going for a... Was there a brewing sand house in this village? Is that what Dylan remembered? Go to the brewing sand house and then trade for redstone. He does have the quartz. I think that what might... that I think that's what Dylan is doing right now. Gonna trade for some redstone. Because there is a brewing sand house. It's right there on the right. Does Dylan make this connection? I think, he, I think he's getting... I think he's gonna try... Oh my goodness. And yeah, subspace bubble. Wait a minute. Silver, I think, just left the nether and he might be trying to get to the stronghold first. Wait, no, sugar. Sugar. I think... Silver might have made the connection that he can die by magic. Is he going to be brewing? What is he doing? He's making the fermented spider eye. What is he going to use it for? Six, seven, okay. Okay, wait, he's going to be able to get the end crystal. Which, which, who, who, who had the tier? Who had the tier? Oh no, I don't think anyone had the tier. I think, I think Silver did have the tier. So it looks like Silver is thinking. No, Silver destroys the brewing stand again. You're going to have to use another blaze powder for that then. But we'll be able to get almost certainly the end crystal before. But Silver right now with a little bit of gold could die to magic. Could cut fruit berries off, but it's going to be nighttime soon and... 
F fruit berries is going to be able to get that spider eye. And I mean, all you need is some sugar and a mushroom. But yeah, there is... There is the comparator for Dylan. He does get the trade in the in the village. Gets redstone comparator. It is now tied 7-7 seven to seven and fruit berries is on his way. He's literally, like, going into the end. Unfortunately, I mean... The thing is, I guess if Fruit Berries enters the end, he could just die by magic to the dragon. The dragon breath does count as magic. But there we go. There's End Crystal for Silver. Does craft the End Crystal. Has all the resources for it. Tosses it away. I don't know. Was that the right decision? It's hard to say. Would the explosion from the End Crystal count as magic? I don't know. Anyway, Silver going into a swamp now. If there is a Witch Hut here... That there will be an injustice in the world. It looks like Fruit has entered the stronghold, though. And can kill a silverfish any second now just by punching the floor for, like, three seconds. It looks like an amethyst geode has eaten a bunch of this stronghold. Oh, wait. Who died by magic? Dylan! Finds a witch and dies by magic. A goal that Silver had multiple opportunities to do. It is now 8-8. Eight to eight And Fruit Berries... This is actually crazy to me that... Infested. He was just targeting infested stone. It look in the top right. You can see whenever it says infested. He's looking at a silverfish He doesn't look at the wall very often, but it showed up several times He could kill the <laughs> he could kill the silverfish right now. Why risk it? Why risk it? Oh my god, wait he finds I completely forgot about this he finds the library for the cobwebs and gets cobwebs for combat in case he sees someone in the end. It looks like Rip FC is going to try and make it to the end here. Going to try and portal to get to, uh, going to try and get to Fruit maybe before he's able to enter the end. But we'll see. Fruit. For the, please, please just mine one of the, inf right, right there instead infested. You're looking at the top right, right? You see one infested right there. There's a silverfish. Infested. There's a silverfish. It's on the top right of your screen. I mean, I guess this works, but like... Bro, it you have the targeted blocks on the top right. You don't need to mine the floor. He makes a bed. Sleeps in it. Okay. A silverfish spawns and he kills it. <laughs> Fruits. <laughs> All right, that's 10 and I mean if fruit is able to kill the dragon that is dragon egg and that is 30 levels god That's loud fruit is in the end But rip FC Might be able to make it there if he can guess where fruit berries is Hard to say, but here we go. The one thing that is unfortunate for fruit berries, he only has five beds. Now, if Dylan did not find the witch, fruit berries could have just died to magic right here because of the, um, uh, could have just died to the dragon magic. So that is a-okay. Now it looks like rip FC Portaling, I don't think Rip FC is. I mean, what is Rip FC doing? Maybe just hoping that the stronghold is near? I'm not sure. I mean, if Fruit is just waiting for the dragon to perch. Now, if Fruit is not able to kill the dragon here, that will give the other team about five to ten minutes because Fruit does not have any arrows. Fruit has zero arrows. No projectiles. It's all up to Fruit right now. Fruit. Actually, wait a minute. Fruit, yeah, is able to make the... Fruit is able to make the lingering potion. 
But the dragon is perching. It all comes down to this. Does fruit kill the dragon? That bed was early. That was a little early too. It's gonna be close. That's not enough. It's gonna fly away. It's gonna fly away. That's not enough. That's just not enough. His axe broke. And the dragon is up. Orange team could bring this back. Because look at this. Silver has 11 eyes. Silver could enter the end before Fruit Berries is able to kill the dragon now. Because Fruit has to climb up every single tower. Okay, Fruit does get Potion of Lingering. But Silver is is digging down to try and get to the the stronghold. It's not yeah, not a choke by any means, but I mean it is kind of a choke. You could have got more string in the library if you really needed to. Silver is in the fort or in the stronghold, and Silver needs to get into the end. Every end is the same. If Silver can get there. Oh my god. Cause fruit just lit Fruit, you mess up the one side, but if hear me out, chat. If if silver is able to enter the end, levitation, dragon egg, level thirty, all cut off in an instant, and silver finds the portal in his two eyes. Place a bed, please. Please place a bed. Please, at least place one bed. But you know who else is going to be in the end? No. No! There's no bed! Dylan is about to go into the end too. And Dylan placed a bed. I think. There's a fight going on right now between Silver and Fruit. Fruit doesn't have food. Doesn't have good food like golden apples. Silver has arrows. Silver has an advantage. It's a 1v1, it is now a 2v1. And Silver forgot to set his bed. That is so bad. Alright, the two of them here, taking the 2v1. Silver did it once, can he do it again? Oh no, he looked at, a, he looked at an Enderman. Has to kill the Enderman, they could destroy his boat. Okay, he has pearls. He has everything. Looks like they're just hanging out. They're waiting. They're trying to stay alive. Oh my god. Chasing fruit here. Breaks the shield. Gets the shot on fruit. Gets hit by Dylan though. Dylan doesn't have a shield. Oh, two hearts. But he has the golden apple. Oh, but gets hit. Is able to ender pearl away. He doesn't have any more food except some bread. Four bread. He has to kill one of them to get some food now. This could be it. Has to pearl away. Is able to pearl away. Did they notice? Okay, they did. He, he only has three bread left. This is going to be close. If he can get close to the dragon, maybe get them to run into it. That's a chance. But Silver has to take this 2v1 and... The fact that he did not set a bed, and they did, is going to absolutely ruin him. Because they can just keep coming back, and there is nothing he can do to stop it. Silver whips a pearl, jumps into the void, does the pearl land before he dies? Oh my god! Silver is on a whole nother level. Silver looks like he's going to be pearling up onto the pillar. Do they have pearls to catch up to him? No pearls. No pearls. Silver has some time to relax here. Shouldn't be shooting arrows. Can't be giving them any. The one thing 
Silver is out of food. Silver should absolutely not- Oh, his boat broke. Silver has no food. He should not be taking them. Try and maybe wait until Rip FC gets here. Which, I don't know what Rip FC is doing, just... I actually have no idea. But Silver... Oh, no, they looked at an Enderman! That's a chance to move in on Dylan! <laughs> Silver really cannot afford to take any hits here. This fight is crazy. Silver just has so much... So many arrows, so much range stuff, but he doesn't have any food. If he can kill one of them and eat to escape, it could be enough. But he's gonna be running out of hunger soon, and they're both running in on him. This could be it. He really cannot afford to pearl again. He's getting cornered, chat. Doesn't get hit by fruit. Water buckets, and it looks like he's trying to bait them into coming to him. If he could knock them off of the edge, that would be massive. Ooh. Ooh, he gets a good hit. I think. Just able to hide over here. Has a bunch of building blocks. There's Fruit! Ooh, Fruit gets a small hit! Dylan gets a big hit and he's dead! And he didn't set spawn. But it looks like... Rip FC was able to get Glow and Behold. Silver not setting spawn, I think, lost them this game. One forgotten bed. I think... Because, like, here's the thing. After they kill the dragon, the dragon egg, you cannot get instantly. And neither can you get the EXP, the levels. Right? You know, if Silver was just able to camp out and maybe hide away for a bit... And let them kill the dragon and sneak in afterwards. You know, there's a chance. And it looks like they are killing the dragon now. So, you know, after a death, if you have a bed, you sneak in. But, I mean, I think Silver just was expecting them to kill the dragon any second and he didn't think he had time. They had a compass, so they would know. The thing is, Silver could have just waited in... Silver could have just waited on his at, at, at his bed and waited for them to kill the dragon or at least get close. And sneak into the end and try and make it there before they could get either thing. But Silver took that 2v1 for maybe 10 minutes. Oh my god, wait. They realize they have enough for two anchors. That is so smart. Looks like the dragon is perching. And Fruit Berries, I think, is going to be going for it. Boom. Boom. Charge, charge. Oh. <laughs> you got to go in there, buddy. Oh, wait. He set it up for Dylan. Looks like Dylan has some beds as well. <laughs> and I think that's enough to kill the dragon. This is a win for blue team. Ooh, not quite. There it is. The dragon did die. It's so loud, bro. Ah! And they will get to level 30. And that is game one. <clears throat> wow. Blue needs to win one more game.
crazy. Blue needs to win one more game to win this. Orange needs to win both. Need to update inventory if you haven't already. Should be correct. Whew. We'll see. Orange had such a good start, yeah. They had the control. Brutal. Yeah, we're just resetting the server and uh... Now, I hope Orange wins this one for a crazy finale. Yeah, Rip FC was looking for Glow Ink because they needed every goal anyways, so they had to cut them off with everything else. Uh, while we are waiting, I can add a live split timer, sure, chat. Window capture live split here properties. Let's add a filter really fast while we're setting up the next match. Chroma key, boom, boom. Uh, do not have that much smoothness. When it starts, it'll turn black. I'll just put it here. All right, here we go, chat. What team am I on? You guys are starting to ask this as a joke, right? Please tell me you're asking this as a joke. Okay, let me check their inventories really quick now. This is Dylan's. Check their inventories now. Oh wait, frick. Why is... Why is this not visible? V2 inventory. Where's that window capture? Where is the live split? Where, which scene is live split on? This one, okay. 
just gonna put it in here and see what happens. Have we seen now? Why are you down here? Does that ruin everything? Bruh. Ah! What the hell? This is painful. I- the- the timer is just not- The timer really does not want to stay in the same place. Wait, where did the score go? What the hell? Where- wait, where's the score? What the- where is the score? The match score? Okay, you know what, we're removing it from this scene. I am so confused. Remove from this scene. Score. Wait, why is inventory in this? There you go. Uh, <clears throat> I see what happened. Okay. Bruh. This is pain. I'm doing this for you, though, chat, okay? There we go. Okay, we found them. So. We're gonna move this over here somewhere. We're gonna grab the rest of this. We will position it. It's because of the freaking group. All right, now live split. We will move to here. <clears throat> so we will now add that layer group. Does this thing score match to here? And I can just place it properly and that doesn't mess up this one not really uh what is the easiest way to do this about i'm trying to think of the easiest way here i think maybe trying to place it so we can center this here give me a sec i'm trying to figure out how to make this consistent across all the scenes but it's killing me man i did not expect to have to manually add a live split timer where are you going I did not expect to have to add a live split timer mid-match, so I apologize. Alright, that's how it's gonna look. Squirt. Group. Alright, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Uh, ready? So, chat, the thing about this seed is that there's nothing special about it. It's a randomly generated seed. I made sure there were some nether structures that were, like, relatively close. Nothing special. There's, they're just gonna, it's just like their practice matches. I swear. It's just a regular-ass seed and a random board. Dylan says, what's the catch? Okay, Dylan says, yes. Fruit. Yeah, all right. Here we go. And there we go. The match is starting. Chat, let's while they're starting. So, this seed, don't take fall damage, is obviously a goal. Um, use a composter. Don't obtain seeds is also a goal. So... There are a few ways to throw seeds at your opponent. You can craft pumpkins and melons into seeds and throw them directly out of your crafting grid. So that is an option. There is a die by beagle, which is an interesting little objective. Obtain 64 light blue concrete. We got a good variety of stuff here. Pretty random board. Lots of stuff to do. A lot of different things to do. So we'll see here. Let me just, uh, I'm going to try and refresh their dreams really quick before it starts. Just so we're all caught up. But right now, if Blue wins this game, they win the the grand prize. They win it all. So, it'll be interesting. Fruit, berries, silver. Here we go. Let's check silver's perspective. And let's get going. Okay, looks like they're here. They're probably going to be punching a lot of grass 
all around their feet to try and get one person to pick up seeds. Maybe they're trying to take fall damage as well. Punching grass is dangerous. One of them could pick up a seed at any point here. Because all of this grass, look, yeah, look at that silver, knows what he's doing. Trying to punch the grass, trying to get some seeds to spawn while they're going to the village. And it looks like one of them did pick up seeds. Who was it? Fruit berries accidentally punches some grass and gets seeds. There is one goal down, and it looks like there's another goal. Dylan managed to get use all of his sunflowers to use the composter to pop out the bone meal, so it is 1-1. Didn't matter too much. Now, can you make one of them take fall damage? That's the next objective. Trying to make try to make one of them take fall damage so you get that point. Other than that, just there really isn't too much left in the village. Every type of pickaxe is a goal. That's a little bit of a tough one. It takes netherite. There isn't too much else to do in the village. Maybe you can find a, a bee, die to it. Maybe you can find seven hostile mobs in the overworld, but there isn't too much. Start breeding. There's a lot of medium length goals on this board. Killing 100 things. Lots of different things here. So we'll see. We'll see if Silver is able to find a beehive. Hopefully it doesn't take any... Fo oh! Silver, that was one block away from fall damage. I'm not sure if it was calculated or not, or just a sloppy. It's hard to say. Looks like Rip FC is on half a heart. Taking drowning damage. Maybe the plan for Rip FC is to go find a bee now. Is there a bee on Rip FC's screen? Is there a beehive? Let's see. Rip FC looking for a bee. It looks like looks like that's what Silver is going for too. And Silver does find a beehive. Probably going to punch it out. Trying to... There's no bees around though. Where's the bee? There it is. Silver dies to the bee. It's two to one. And now Dylan and Fruitberries do have full control over the village, but what are you going to get in the village immediately? Not really anything, so it's good that, that Orange ran out there and they are able to get their stuff. Now. Who will take fall damage? That is the question. It's a little bit scary. It could happen at any time. You know, you forget. This is one of the goals that you keep playing long enough and you will forget that it exists and just... Happen to forget, you know, so at this point, it's who forgets first. Looks like Rip FC trying to get a little bit of wood here. Trying to get some resources started off. And it looks like, you know, they're being relatively nice. Fruit running up, trying to, we've seen this before. Fruit chasing Rip FC. Southeast Village Lava. Looks like there's they're they're writing that down to remember it. They are in a call, so they can just talk to each other. But oh wait, looks like you found a spawner, Silver. Is there anything that could be done in the spawner room? Not really anything, right? There's no there is a level 30 goal, but that's really not gonna help you out that much. You know, there's no kill 30 undead mobs, so I guess just gonna clear it out just so you can uh you know say you've done it. Let's see if there's anything in here. Redstone, there's no redstone goals except for the powered rail. That could work. And was that directly below the village? Was that? No, just happened to find it. Silver just stumbled upon one of these. But yeah, actually, redstone and string for the dispenser potentially because that actually is a goal. I forgot about the dispenser. Looks like Rip FC is dealing with fruit berries, but I mean... You know, who's going to be more productive? If both of them are occupied, really, I and Team Orange is ahead, it really doesn't matter. And I mean, Rip FC is right back at the village, and Fruit Berries is just stuck here. Looks like Fruit Berries getting a lot of leaves. Not exactly sure why at the moment. Why would, why would you be getting leaves? Does fruit did fruit berries maybe miss see one of the goals and maybe he thinks this is sky limit or maybe he's just getting blocks I'm not sure We'll see if he opens up F3 if he opens up F3 it'll probably be sky limit but it looks like he's not doing that so yeah door door Interesting Maybe just try oh tried spleefing Josh on the tree I mean Josh has his stone tools back. Josh did not lose anything. Fruitberries just lost time. So we'll see here. I mean, 
Josh probably able to grab some food and then get out of here before Fruit Berries gets to him. And now, what are the 100 mobs goals at? It looks like no one has really started on that. They're both kind of just running at the moment, looking for something to do, looking for something to latch onto. Maybe they find some water. I think um, neither of them are running towards each other. And someone has found something. Dylan has located a rune portal. That's a mending pickaxe, not silk touch, not that you really need it. But a diamond or a gold pickaxe, going to be great for mining light, uh, light blue concrete. And it's a nether enter. But also, Silver on his screen just passed a lava pool as well. I'm not sure um, if he's going to record it, but entering the nether. Are there any immediate goals in the nether? Not particularly. Damn. But going to be running around, looking for stuff. Looks like he's breeding these pigs. Going to start the breed goals. That is something that Fruit has already been, or that uh, Dylan, or Dylan has been working on right here. Because they are already at four, so that's just a start for Silver's team. We have four to six bread for them already. But it looks like Silver has another Ruin Portal. What are you going to get from this Ruin Portal that could help you? I mean, maybe Obsidian that could help towards the uh, the other goals. But we'll see here. Looks like... Oh, wait a minute. Mine a Turtle Egg is a goal. And Silver does not have any um, Seagrass. So it looks like he's going to try and get Seagrass by killing the Turtle... Gonna kill their brother and then feed it to them to get them in the mood. But no seagrass here. Gonna have to continue killing turtles if he wants more seagrass or get some iron. Let's see. There is a turtle way over here. This could drop too. There is a chance. How romantic. One seagrass for silver. And it looks like Fruit has just killed Rip FC yet again. Fruit just bullying at this point. But it's okay. You know, Fruit, I think, might be trying to enter the nether soon. Doesn't have a bucket. Looks like the music has stopped. Let's retry that. I mean, maybe, uh, actually, uh, Rip FC might be the one chasing Fruit. That could be true. But still, oh, wait, Dylan breeding some bees. That gets them to five. Only one breed left. They get a rare breed or they're able to get into the, the nether. Maybe breed a hoglin or something. That's a goal. Like, or that is a goal that they could do. Looks like Silver still looking around. Has bred one other thing. I think Silver did manage to breed the turtles. He must have. He doesn't have the seagrass in his inventory anymore. So he's just waiting for them to lay their eggs so we can actually mine it out. And that is a goal for Orange again. Another goal. And it looks like neither of Blue Team is actually ready to enter the Nether yet. Despite both of them seeing it enter. It looks like Silver going to be mining out for some stone tools finally. While he waits for those turtles to lay some eggs. Doing some prep. Maybe getting some iron in the process if he can get a little bit lucky. Um, and Rip FC actually has the village all to himself. And Rip FC here might be able to start trading for Chainmail. If, if Blue Team is just going to leave him alone, that could be a goal. And yeah, there's there's a, a, a turtle egg mined for Silver. Is able to leave, and I think if, if Rip FC, if he's going to be left alone here, he should be able to do this. And it looks like Rip FC wants to breed those, but <laughs> has already bred pigs and turtles. And yeah, it looks like Fruitberry is getting some iron, potentially, to try and enter the, uh, enter the nether here. Not that there's any goals that you can really immediately get. You know, maybe kill a Zoglin if you're a little bit lucky. Kill an Endermite if you clear a Bastion. Ender Chest needs both structures generally. Probably just killing seven mobs is the only advantage you'll get there. But also, the Nether. Very easy to take fall damage. And keep in mind, we have been going for like 10 minutes already. And no one has taken that fall damage yet. Let's move this timer over. Um, 10 minutes and no one has taken fall damage yet. It's getting to the point now where the runners could forget. Now, who is the most likely to, to take the fall damage? I think it's the people that enter the nether. So, it looks like... Ooh, fruit Berries finding some redstone. Doesn't have the gold yet, but that is for the powered rail, potentially. Dylan looking to get some flint, maybe. More flint. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, no. He is getting the materials. It looks like Dylan's inventory is not working properly let me fix that it 
Dylan doesn't have an inventory. Wait, what the hell? Oh, looks like... Oh, no! Silver was able to get it first! Uh, looks like Dylan's inventory might be broken this match because I don't have enough time to fix it and set it up. We'll see. But yeah, it looks like Orange is able to get that Powered Whale, finds the, the Ruined Portal here. Silver is crushing right now. Let's look at Dylan's perspective because I need to fix his uh, inventory. Blue one inventory. Wait a minute. We might be safe. Ignore this. Okay, good stuff. Uh, uh, we'll just have to leave that there. It's a little scuffed. Easy, problem solved. Very professional. <laughs> All right. And it looks like, speaking of Dylan, he is almost at that 64 stuff, but no, he is at that. Never mind. He did get it all. We're just a little bit behind. Dylan gets a 64 light blue. Ready to go. That is one goal that takes a really long time. And, ooh, silver breeding the bees. Looks like, wait, orange is catching up on the breed goal. Blue really slowed down a little bit there. And orange has been killing a lot of things. So this is a little, it's interesting. Because it looks like Rip FC did have a, a little bit of extra wheat to be able to breed with, I think. It looks like, wait a minute, there's some cows here. I'm not sure what they have and have not bred, but both of them are getting so close. And neither of the teams have entered the nether yet after 13 minutes. Um, one thing that I need to fix, actually, just give me a sec. Um, why is this cut off now? What the hell? Why? Why is this cut off? I don't understand. Whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. There are zero flaws. Yes, of course. Anyways, it looks like Silver is... Got 40 gravel. Just... Does Silver not notice that this is done? I don't know. Anyways... Looks like Blue did manage to get the dispenser here. I'm not sure who did it, actually. I think it must have been Fruit. Yeah, Fruit does get the dispenser. He gets, I think, a bow or from a skeleton. Or, no, it looks like he must have killed some uh, spiders there to get the bow. And really, the score is coming back. Looks like he's going to kill this. And, I mean, Fruit, if he jumps off this at peak height, he could take fall damage. But that's not the thing to focus on right now, because Silver is entering the nether. A dangerous place for fall damage, an easy place to forget that that goal exists. Seven unique mobs, Orange is not in the lead, but Magma Cube, Piglin, Zombie Piglin, Piglin Brute, Gas. If Orange is able to immediately- yeah, looks like Orange is immediately going to try and get those seven mobs. Does get two, they are both at six. Orange could get the Hoglin here. Orange could get the Hoglin. But Fruit is also going to enter. And, and, and... This is going to be close then. But also, the breed goal. Could enter and Fruit needs to breed or Fruit needs to kill. So ideally... You know, Fruit is in a blue forest. This is a red forest. You could breed and then kill the offspring... And that would give you almost two goals. Orange would need one more breed, but Rip FC could be doing that in the, when, while we're while uh, while Silver is in the overworld. Oh no! Two goals. Okay, Fruit accidentally takes fall damage, but he does get the seven kills. He traded off the goal. It looks like Fruit did forget. Fruit was the one to forget there. Fruit did not do the breed then kill. Fruit did the kill and then fall. Which is huge for Orange Team. They do not need to worry about it anymore. 
So now Silver probably looking to breed something, but that is also what Fruit is doing, I imagine. But yeah, Silver just not locating it. I think Silver has the location. Oh, Silver actually thinks about it, grabs the red mushrooms, and is now looking for Hoglands actively, I would assume. And, I mean, looks like Rip FC did leave that one village. He has two Blast Furnaces, which basically at any point you find a village, you could just start this goal off. We'll see, though. Let's see. It looks like the one thing Silver does have, carrots and a spider eye. That are basically the hard ingredients to get for the uh, invisibility potion, except no sugar. Now, fruit does not have the carrots. So, and fruit is running in the opposite direction of Silver, because just, I guess, going to explore here. Dylan, looking in the overworld, what is Dylan trying to find? It's hard to say here. Maybe looking to kill 100. Orange is already at 40. And it look right here, look at this. Rip FC breeding a chicken. They're taking their sweet time, though. So there is 5-5 five, five on the breed goal here. But we'll see. Anything can happen. It looks like... Fruit is nowhere close to a red forest, so he cannot breed those hoglins. But Silver can if he just finds them. But Silver does have a goal. And it looks like... Wait a minute. I think Rip FC might have done that. Yeah, Rip FC bred two cows and was able to finish off that objective. Doesn't even... Silver doesn't even need to. And now, he's looks like he's making the golden carrots. He is able to make the potion invisibility if he is able to keep at least one golden carrot and he is into a treasure bastion. Now, there isn't a goal that you can immediately complete in the treasure bastion. Because you need six diamonds for the pickaxe, unless there are two diamond pickaxes in this bastion, which is not unheard of. There is also still kill 15 unique hostile mobs, so uh, Silver will need to make sure to kill the... Brute, never mind. Um... <laughs> So let's hope for Silver's sake, he is able to find two diamond pickaxes in this bastion. Doesn't find one in those chests. And it looks like Fruit is just running in the opposite direction, but Fruit is able to find a fortress here. Is there anything that Fruit can immediately do in this fortress now? Instant damage and magic. Or instant damage and healing. That is a good combo. But Fruit does not have the ingredients for it. Fruit is not able to do anything in this fortress at the moment. There's nothing that he gains from this because he just doesn't have the materials to brew any of the potions. So Fruit is just going to be stuck probably getting some blaze rods while... I mean, Silver is able to clear this bastion, I bet. Does unfortunately not get any diamond tools. Lots of, lots of brutes here. Hopefully... Silver is able to kill at least one of them because you do need to kill at least one for this kill unique hostile mobs goal doesn't kill one. There's going to be some down below though, so there's always the one. Let's hope he at least melees one of them. Oh, big damage from the brutes and he's going down. He gets into a safe place though. Are, is a brute going to drop down onto him? It looks like one did there. He's in lava. He's going to die. He burns to death. Reckless play with the Brutes ended him, and he loses everything. Now, Orange is still in the lead, but Blue is in the nether. Scary, though, because they don't have a Bastion. And, you know, Silver... Get, getting his bearings, and I think he's just going to try re-enter. Does he have the materials to get back to that bastion? Did he mark the coordinates of the bastion down? Let's hope. While Fruit is just able to move through, and it looks like Fruit, you know, trying to get the rods, doesn't have any yet, unfortunately. He's doing his best. There's actually another goal. It looks like... Uh, Rip FC has been murdering things in the overworld while we haven't been looking and was able to kill 100 of those mobs, giving them an even more, a, 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 just a bigger lead. 
Why did someone say no yachting? What the heck was that for? <clears throat> now, he killed 71 salmon, apparently. Which is, I mean, that's an optimal way to get to 100. Or a magma cube spawner in the bottom of a treasure bastion is also the other really fast way. Because you kill about, like, 20 per spawn. But looks like Fruit still trying to get what looks to be a single blaze rod? Unless the inventory tracker is off. Does Fruit not have any blaze rods? No. Fruit doesn't have a single blaze rod. Been killing... Been killing blazes for five minutes. Not a single rod in the inventory. Brutal. Now, he does have a saddle, though. And he does have a mushroom. So he could get this boat has legs. That is the one thing that he could gain from this fortress that we did not consider. And it looks like Silver trying to get back to his bastion before stuff despawns. We'll see. It was pretty far away. But he is back. And he does have a boat. So he should be able to get a stu- Oh, he's not going to get a stuff because it all burned. Doesn't have any gold armor, so he's going to have to loot this bastion. Because I think he only looted the one side. So there may be some resources in the other half of the bastion. I think that's where he's digging to. Going to check to see what he's got. Does Fruit have a single blaze rod yet? No. Blaze rods have been patched out. That's a joke. Dylan... Finds a monument. He will be able to die to magic here. Okay. It looks like Dylan is going to be leaving all of his stuff behind. Into this hole in the water. Going to be dropping it all. And going to try to, to die to a guardian. You gotta be on half a heart for this to work. Only the first half heart counts for damage that is magic. And there it is, he's on half a heart. And I think he dies because we heard the sound. There it is. Killed by a guardian using magic. The luck was with them there finding that structure. I imagine that's what Dylan was going for the whole time. But it looks like Silver is back and he does have some iron tools. So he did make it back to the Bastion. It was a couple minute time loss, but I think they're far enough ahead that they are still definitely okay. And it looks like, ooh, fruit berries on fire again with three rods. Now, keep an eye on Silver. Does he make the same mistake twice? Looks like he's going to try and get some food from these hoglins. I don't know how the hoglins got into a treasure bastion, but they are here. <laughs> As, uh, fruit berries looking around, trying to decide what to do next. Probably going to kill this ghast for the unique hostile mobs. They are ahead on that front. Oh, and you know what else Dylan can do here? Dylan is able to kill probably both the Guardian and the Elder Guardian to get the unique hostile mob goal a little bit higher. So Dylan will probably take his time there. And we're going to hope here that, that Silver thinks to kill. He does kill the Hoglin. I don't know if it was considering this. We'll see. Dylan burned to death again. He's trying to get into this monument without getting mining fatigue. That is the one thing that he's trying to do. He just wants in before he gets dink donked. Does he do it? He does get in before he gets dink donked. And there is the Elder Guardian. And he's just going to spam hit this Elder Guardian, I think, until it dies. Probably going to take an extra death or two. But going for that 15 unique hostile mob goal. Not going to be able to kill it because of the thorns. Dylan drowned while trying to escape the guardian. Silver almost got knocked into the lava there by the child. Hopefully, Silver is able to kill this brute. Just give him one hit to the head, please. Still not going for that unique hostile mob. It's a little bit rough, but... There is a goal. Which one was it? I completely missed it. Rip FC has been trading for chain armor while we were busy looking at the nether guys. 
Rip FC able to get that chain armor trade, grinding it out in the overworld, being as productive as possible. Now, there really aren't too many overworld goals left. The, real, the only one is Sniper Duel. Now, with a Fletcher, which I assume Rep FC definitely has, could be trading for arrows and a bow to be ready for the nighttime, which the nighttime should be coming in about four minutes from now. So I think Rip FC could definitely be doing that. So we'll see here what ends up happening. Because I think that is the most likely thing to do here. Rip FC also level 18. Fruit Berries, level 22. Could mine to level 30 if he really, really wants to with the Nether Quartz. I don't think that's the goal yet. It is too early in the game to start wasting 30 minutes mining Nether Quartz. But it is an option as it looks like uh, Silver is clearing out this Bastion. Trying to get what he can. Silver! We looked away for a second, got full diamond armor from the treasure. And he gets an enormous amount of piglins in this version, getting that many Yeah, literally full diamond enchanted armor from the treasure. If Fruit Berries is going to fight Silver, Silver cannot die. insane it's not the two diamond pickaxes that he was looking for but silver is just unkillable now with the fire res too exactly <clears throat> now rip fc is in the overworld looks like rip fc running around i'm not exactly sure what the goal is for for rip fc here looks like just maybe preparing for the future Hopefully, I, I hope to see uh, Rip FC here getting something for Sniper Duel, maybe. That would be good, but Rip FC might just be saying, Hey, you know, you might need some assistance in the Nether. Maybe I can get a Zoglin to come out. Let's try it. So, because this portal was right next to a red forest biome, I believe. If this was the same one that Silver entered, this was Fruit Berry's portal. Okay. Interesting. So, because Zoglin is a goal... And that is another goal down, actually. Which objective was it? I can't even tell. Blue did kill the 15 unique hostile mobs, so they were able to get a point. Dylan, ice boating, not making it easy on Rip FC's internet. <laughs> it looks Rip FC is actually going to be mining to level 30, it looks like. Because, I mean, Rip FC, level 18. Fruit Berries is level 23, but that is not... That's seven levels away. It's very, very dangerous. Now, I'm not sure how many biomes Fruit Berries has. Because if you get all of the biomes in the nether, it brings you from level 23 to level 30. It just straight up does, I believe. So, if Fruit Berries is able to find every biome before Rip FC can mine to level 30, it's over. And it should, with optimal mining, I believe it should take Rip FC about seven minutes to get to level 30 here. So we will see. And maybe Fruit Berries actually already got all the biomes. I completely missed that. So Fruit Berries just not going to catch up if, if uh, Rip FC is doing this. <clears throat> it's 23 with 3 or 4 XP bars left. Right. But yeah, it looks like Silver just trying to get a little bit more food. Keeping that uh, diamond helmet on. And I think Fruit Berries is actually making a beeline straight to Silver-ish. In the general direction, it seems like. So we'll see what happens here. What does Fruit Berries see? Why is Fruit Berries climbing here? I'm not exactly sure. The door parkour. No, yeah, actually, Fruit Berry's not going in the direction of, of Silver, so... Totally fine, and Silver was able to portal out! And there's a Hoglin right here! Silver about to get the Zoglin! Trying to make it mad! <laughs> and the, that's, uh, that, uh, that is not gonna fit! Gonna mine through here. Gets it through the portal! Fruit Berries gets These Are The Days, very dangerous! There's the Hoglin. It's going to convert to a Zoglin. And while he's waiting, he's going to try and get the Endermite. Taking almost no damage because of the armor. Is able to kill the Zoglin here. Silver gets this lead. 9 to 6. 
And I mean, uh, Silver still has enough room for Endermites. And it looks like Fruit Berries is in a different Bastion to Silver, so doesn't have to worry about that. But Silver, I'm sure, based on their previous interactions, is going to be very wary. Now, one thing. Fruit Berries does have 10 Obsidian. Does have Blaze Rods. Can get the Ender Chest. So, can Silver Pearl to a Fortress before Fruit Berries thinks of Ender Chest and can get a Pearl Trade? We'll see here. And it looks like Silver is going to leave. Silver with enough Obsidian to actually make it. Looking around, all Silver needs is a single Blaze Rod. And that is one more goal. And then it'll be 10 to 6. Looks like decent Pearl. Clean Pearl from Silver there. Wow. Very good. Going to be running across here. And is that a for That is a fortress on Silver screen. Fruit Berries has seconds to get this Ender Pearl and build the Ender Chest. Yeah, Silver climbing up while Fruit is just trying to get some trade started. Rip FC, level 24, got the return to sender for some extra HP. Gets the one Blaze Rod and is able to craft the Ender Chest before Fruit Berries can get the Ender Pearls. Oh no! He has a Silk Touch pickaxe though, so he's not able to get the Obsidian back without crafting an Iron pickaxe first. That's so silly. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> really funny there. Um, I love your hat. Thank you. It's a good hat. It spins. Anyways, Rip FC is now in the lead with the EXP, and Fruit Berries is level twenty three. Cannot immediately do any objectives. Might be able to get a little bit lucky on the Endermite. But, I mean, finding a Stronghold is a goal. To find a Stronghold, you need one Blaze Rod. You need an one Eye of Ender if you get a little bit lucky. So, with, um, you know, with Silver. Silver, all he needs one... I, I probably, honestly, I would probably feel confident going with only one Blaze Rod to get to that Stronghold. And he has Obsidian. He can leave immediately after this. Looks like he gets a Saddle too, though, before he leaves. Silver is playing this so well. Last match, he made some misplays. This match, has he made a single mistake yet? It looks like Dylan is trying to get Sniper Duel while he's in their overworld. He does have some arrows, having a lot of trouble. Do you get Sniper Duel by killing a Stray? I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah, Dylan going for Sniper Duel, though. Trying to hit one Skeleton, but having a terrible time. Not getting it. Missing every shot. Bows have terrible accuracy. I mean, Silver gets the, gets the Rod on a Stick. The Rod on a Stick? No, the Fungus on a Stick. Probably going to go Pearl over. He has Fire Resistance ready. Swims up and is going to get... This boat has legs in just a second. And there it is. This boat does indeed have legs. The score is 11 to 6. Rip FC, two points away. This is absolute destruction from the orange team. There is Dylan finally getting Sniper Duel. Looks like we missed it for a second there, unless we're just really far behind. <laughs> Dylan with the slowness arrow... We were actually... Okay, I need to refresh Dylan's stream. This is ridiculous. Because Dylan just got it. Now. Look at this. That's how far behind we are. Okay, let's refresh Dylan's stream. <laughs> the potion thing in the top left is an invisibility potion brewing it. Which, I mean... The fact that Silver was here... It looks like he ate all the golden carrots. So I think he's just trying to force an Endermite now. But I think Fruit Berries is trying to locate the Stronghold. There's really only two goals related to that. There's three, actually. You could get to level 30. But Rip FC is going to get to level 30 before Fruit can kill the Dragon. And it doesn't look like Fruit's intention is to kill the Dragon anyways. I think Fruit is just trying to find a Stronghold. Maybe get some Endermite. But looks like Silver here. Going to be going through the Nether. Maybe going back to the Fortress really quick. Potentially looking for... Um, one more blaze powder. Maybe getting into a good location to try and portal out of. 
That'd be my guess. But yeah, RIP FC doing all of the stuff in the background, all of the real tedious stuff, you know, dispenser, chain armor, killing a hundred mobs, made sure not to pick up seeds or take fall damage. RIP FC has been in the background grinding away, doing all of these longer goals, while Silver has been crushing in the nether, making tons of, uh, of forwards progress. Also, breeding. RIP FC has, you know, has been in the background doing most of the objectives. But it looks like Silver, actually in a new Bastion, potentially, oh my goodness, could trade for more Ender Pearls. Which goal was that? It looks like Silver did happen to get an Endermite. Blue team needs to get everything on the board to win. Orange team needs one. And it's going to be Rip FC in about 30 seconds. And that's game two. We're going to game three. It is now 1-1. One, one. The last game will make it. <clears throat> the finale is going all the way to the end. Down to the wire. One final game. Uh, what's the seeding for the teams? Fruit and Dylan were the top seed for the tournament. Silver and uh, Silver and Rip FC, I think we're in the middle of the pack. Is this what you wanted? I wanted to see it out to the end. It all comes down to this. While we're setting up the next match, let me fix the score and the timer. Because <laughs> these are not in the right place. Um, nice split. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go bang. 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 There we go. That lines up. All right, chat. This is it. Who's gonna win it? Is it going to be Silver and Rip FC or Dylan and Fruit Berries? <clears throat> the camera is shifting? Looks like I'm not moving at all. Everything looks good. It's crazy. Yes, this is going to be the eighth game of lockout that Blue Team will have played today. They have been going for the last seven hours. With almost no breaks. It shifts like two pixels. Whatever. We'll leave it. I mean, I said... Do you have a special seed? I think for the final matches, it's the most fair if there's nothing special about the seeds. And it's just Minecraft. There's nothing special. They're just playing like they do in scrims. Just, and I said, chat, last one was fixed. Did you fix Dylan's inventory? Yes, Dylan's inventory should be fixed now. No super flat? No, nope, no super flat this time. They could take a break if they wanted, but we'll see. I'm just going to check on all of them. Looks like they're typing. They're going to go P, B, R, B. Um, <laughs> Dylan has posted Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness music, Mirror B battle in his team chat. I assume that means they're ready to go. Is this the final match? Yes. This is the final match. This is it. This is the final game. First place in the tournament 
comes down to this. Whoever wins this singular game of lockout wins everything. They win the $20,000 first prize pool with the first prize. Second place still gets a cool 10k. They made it this far, but it is a $10,000 difference. We get to see who are the greatest Minecraft players on the planet today, chat. There's the board. Let's see. We're just waiting on Fruit to join the server as usual. Let's see. Everyone ready? An interesting board here today. A lot of different things. All right, Dylan says yes. Is fruit berries ready? I'm just, I gotta ask Fruit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> gotta make sure everyone's ready. All right, chat. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Start game. Starting in 60 seconds. The final match, chat. Here we go. Let's look at this board. An opponent obtained seeds is a goal, so don't obtain seeds. There's also an empty hunger bar goal. Reach the sky limit is one of the objectives. Fruit berries rip FC, pretty close. Nice. Looks like there is kill a snow golem goal. Ride a horse with a saddle. Mine a mob spawner. There is enter end and obtain end rod, which are end goals. I would like to see it go to there. Obtain six unique flowers is a goal. There are a couple of easy goals here. You know, eat suspicious too. If someone finds a village, eating a cookie is something that could happen. There's a lot of different things in this board that you can do in different orders. Dying to a beasting. Again, another goal. But we'll see here. I'm hoping for a good close match today. For the final game of the final match of the lockout tournament. And they're off. All right, chat. They are starting. The first thing to avoid are the seeds. Let's hope they think about that when they're playing the game here. Looks like Fruitberry is going to be chasing maybe some people on the other team, trying to get them to pick up seeds. It is very dangerous. You know, running through grass like this. Looks like one of them, looks like Dylan killed a chicken. Not sure what the purpose of that was. Is there a write a book goal? I'm not exactly sure. Hard to say, but... Dylan chasing down S Silver, not punching him. Ooh, Dylan accidentally hitting some grass there. Dylan has two unique flowers already. Looks like, oh, it's for the five unique foods. That's why he killed the chicken, it looks like. And there is one goal. It looks like Dylan, maybe... Who picked up the seeds? Yeah, Dylan convinced Silver to pick up some seeds there. Did punch the grass, and that is 1-0 for Blue. Silver slips up, jumps into the seeds that Dylan destroyed. Now, there are flower goals, and it looks like Dylan is going to be getting a couple more here. Let me refresh his stream so we can see it live, because it's a little bit behind. Just give me a moment. Looks like um, Fruit Berries did get a pumpkin, is ready to make a a, uh, a a pumpkin friend, Snow Golem. I'm just going to refresh all the streams since I forgot to do that at the start of the match. And it looks like, let's look at the foods because I know they're going to be close. Looks like Orange is a little bit closer to the food goal. Has a poisonous potato ready to go, a regular potato ready to go. Just needs to eat it. And it looks like Silver, no food in the inventory there. Oh, there we go. That is a bookshelf for, who was it? Fruit Berries manages to find a bookshelf in a village and is able to recraft it after destroying it. That is a goal for fruit. 
Now, now they are also very close. Both teams, all Rip FC needs to do is eat a regular potato. And it looks like he's running around. He's trying to do it. He's trying to take damage. Trying to take damage just so he can eat one potato. One measly potato. And he does end up getting it. Okay. So that is on the board. One for orange. Two for blue. Blue is in the lead though. And that is a goal because... Looks like Dylan did find the last flower he needed. Three for blue, one for orange. And it looks like there was a little bit of a fight here. Looks like someone killed fruit, I think. No, someone was close to killing fruit. Oh, fruit killed silver. Rip. <clears throat> I have no idea how fruit won that. But anyways, there is still a B goal. There is still a sky limit goal. Dylan, you do not have enough blocks for that. I'm assuming he's just getting to low health because he spotted a B. Dylan knows the exact numbers. There's a B. Dylan dies to a B. Boom. It is now 4 to 1 for blue. A huge leap ahead. Blue is leading. A pretty commanding lead for the start of the game, only being three and a half minutes in. But it looks like Rip FC on the way to a buried treasure, I think. Let's see. Gonna be looking for it. I feel like my streams are a little bit behind or ahead. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, my streams are pretty far behind. I think he already got... Yeah, never mind. He already got it. My, my perspectives are absolutely insanely far behind right now. There we go. Ones that I could see. Looks like Silver in a village. I think this is the one that Dylan had found, or that Fruitberries had found for the bookshelf. But that is another goal, actually. What happened? Oh my god. Looks like Fruitberries found a jungle. Instead of trading for the cookie, he just went straight to the source. Cocoa Beans in the jungle. Able to eat that cookie, and now, 5-1, to one, they are shutting out Orange Team. Orange Team needs to pick up the pace here if they want to have any chance of winning. Now, it looks like Rip FC is the only one that has not been eating food here. Um, never mind. I spoke too soon. My stream was a little bit behind on my side still. Rip FC was the lowest on hunger, but 8-4 to full because there is an empty hunger bar goal. Silver getting some iron. There is kill 15 you cost on mobs. If one of them can enter the nether, there is get glowing. And if they find a, um, a fortress, that is an easy mob spawner clear. Uh, the only real things that they could realistically realistically get in the daytime overworld may be gray wool. But, I mean, you can't really even get that. Because of the, the bone meal that you need. You'd have to get a lot of bone meal. But it looks like silver is going to start lowering his hunger. No one else is trying to do it yet. So, this is... Hopefully going to be a free and fast goal. And you can see with this strategy how fast the hunger bar does go down. It is an incredible way to lower your hunger fast. The only faster way to do it is to leave an entity around like a boat or a minecart and punch that while you're doing it as well. But yeah, it looks like he's just going to be spamming jumping. These last three are a little bit painful, so we'll leave him to it while we take, uh, while we get an eye on Dylan and Fruit. Yeah, this is nowhere near done. It's, it looks like um, fruit berries, back in a village, gonna be potentially trying to what? Maybe does he have a saddle? Does he have anything? Nope. Maybe just coming back for food. Suspicious stew is a quick goal that can be done. Looks like fruit and silver are close by, and silver's low on hunger, and fruit is chasing him. Silver's at the point where he can't even run anymore. And while he was looking away. Uh, Dylan manages to find enough iron for full iron armor, crafts it all, and Fruitberries is just chasing Silver. Silver's lower, but Fruitberries is on three, Silver's at two. It is a jump race. Who can mash faster, Silver or Fruit? It looks like Silver might have this. They're just sta they're staring at each other and jumping. <laughs> It looks like Silver will be beating Fruit to the empty hunger bar goal. They're just staring at each other and jumping. The most intense race you've seen all day. And there it is.
Wait for it. Silver does get it first. And Fruit is now <laughs> stuck with a near empty hunger bar. <laughs> and they both craft bread. <laughs> Riveting gameplay for the final match. And it looks like, I mean, that now the lead is not uh, as large. It looks like Dylan getting some flint. I think Dylan did have a lava pool on his screen while we were looking away. So Dylan has that water bucket. He has that flint and steel. Uh, in my peripheral vision, I did see a couple of burning trees. So I think there is a lava pool nearby. And there it is. Dylan able to enter the nether here. Where he should be able to get glowing, glowing quickly if he can find the string. Um, he can get a suspicious stew if he brings a flower with him. He didn't keep any of his flowers. That could be a problem. You know, that could be shut out a little bit if the other team is able to find that flower before him. But we'll see. It might not be punished because no one else currently has any mushrooms for the suspicious stew. So maybe we'll see. Before he leaves... Doesn't go for that uh, thing. I think he's just going to try and rush another goal. And he spawns next to a blaze. So he will immediately be able to get this mob spawner goal. Incredible positioning for this fortress. This is very scary for the orange team. And there's a bastion there too. An incredible start to the world. Does he get a bow here? No bow, but he does get an arrow. A Fastion for blue could be the end of orange unless they can enter quickly here. Looks like he is going to prioritize the Bastion. Probably because there is the Get Glowing that he can immediately find. And then, I mean, I don't know what else there is here. There really isn't other any other goals you can immediately do in the Bastion. But the Fire Resistance is going to be nice. But it looks like Rip FC actually managed to find enough bones to tame a wolf. And is able to get a point right back. Cutting off more overworld goals and, I mean, Dylan's in the Bastion and we saw in the last race, you know, Silver died in a Bastion, played a little bit recklessly. That could happen again here. Now, Dylan, no bow yet, but he does avoid the glowing arrows. I guess he forgot about this. There were spectral arrows in that chest. We did see them. But, you know, Dylan is going into the nether. Silver is too. And Dylan did not mind the mob spawner in the fortress. Maybe he got a little bit overwhelmed. He didn't go for glowing. He didn't get the mob spawner. I don't know what he is doing. Because Silver's going to enter. And Silver's going to be close to both that the fortress and the bastion. Just like Dylan is. Let's check this out. And Silver did bring a flower. So let's see, what does Silver see here? Silver actually immediately does see the fortress, and Dylan has got to watch out. Oh my god, wait! Dylan did not bring anything into the nether. Silver has enough quartz for the daylight detector, is able to craft it because our inventory is inaccurate. I gotta fix that, what the heck is going on? No, wait, the, the, the glass just didn't show up. It was accurate. One of the things is not there. So, yeah, Silver able to get four. Now, if Silver can just get to the fort, that could mine a mob spawner. The, the, Silver could be bringing this back right now. Dylan is dilly-dallying. Not getting any advantage. Not getting, not getting glowing. Not getting a mob spawner. And it looks like Silver is making his way to the Bastion. Another Bastion could get glowing before Dylan is able to do it. Dylan is now afraid, but... I mean, Dylan is afraid. But Silver knows he has nothing to worry about because Dylan is behind him in a different Bastion. So Dylan is just walking around seeing, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta protect myself. I gotta make some armor. I gotta stay alive. He's, he's trying to hide some of his good things. And you, look at this silver, is able to get some arrows. Gonna be looking around, trying to get glowing before Dylan. Silver has five string, just needs some glowstone, just needs an arrow, while Dylan is stuck dealing with the brute and worrying about silver coming by. 
Dylan trying to clear his inventory, trying to do something. I don't know what Dylan is doing here. Wait. We'll see. Oh my god, wait. Silver, no wood for the bow. And no pickaxe either. Silver, stuck in the bastion while fruit berries builds up the sky limit. Looks like, it looks like <laughs> Silver needs to find uh, some resources for a pickaxe and, pickaxe and fast here. Because Dylan now has a chance to, to dip. <laughs> but Dylan again, still no, no glowing. Dylan, what is he doing? Not even looking up for the glowstone here. Dylan has glowstone in his inventory. He could do it. Fruit gets the sky limit. Dylan is just sitting on the glowing goal and is not doing anything about it. It looks like maybe he might get to a spawner first. We'll see here. But yeah, it looks like Silver is able to get... That pickaxe gets the wood. Dylan trying to get to a spawner to mine it out. Hopefully he remembers. But yeah, Dylan can make a bow. Dylan has all of the resources. He has the wood. He has the string. But he mines out the spawner. Which is a goal for Dylan. But it looks like here, Silver... I think just trying to get that glowing. But it looks like Dylan finally getting glowing at long last. He sees it, is able to get the goal. Blue is four away. Four away from victory. But it looks like Rip FC in the overworld, the overworld genius is able to kill a snow golem, keeping it close. Not letting them win. And now, I mean, Rip FC, you could just stumble upon a witch at any time. Rip FC also has gold. Rip FC could walk up on some carrots, breed a horse. There was a horse uh, next to some village. And it looks like any, any mobs here? Not really. Now, wait, it looks like silver. Low on HP. There's a hoglin right there. No. Oh my god. The sad part about that is there is a Breed Hoglin goal that Silver could have done had he considered and gotten the red mushrooms. Unfortunate. But it looks like here, Fruit Berries converting to be able to kill more unique hostile mobs did make a zombie villager and was able to kill it, I believe. Now, no one has gotten Suspicious Stew either. Silver does have the mushroom, or does have the, the flower for it, though, for the sussy stew. But the other thing, Rip FC is just going in the ocean. He could just find a shipwreck and just eat the suspicious stew in a shipwreck. It's that easy. Doesn't even need mushrooms. And it looks like Dylan going to be looking around this fortress, playing the best he can, while, I mean, Rip FC getting all set up. And look at that. Suspicious too, just like I said from Rip FC, manages to get him, and are now six to nine. Nice. Now there are a couple more things that Rip FC can do in the overworld. Could find a saddle somewhere, could breed horse, could get that light gray wool, which the other team is definitely not going for. No die available yet. You know, and it looks like Rip FC, I don't know, finding. Getting to land, we're gonna see, we're gonna have to keep an eye on what Rip FC is going for here. Looks like maybe killing this creeper to, to add to their, their goals. They're only at six. It's not great yet. Rip FC trying to decide what to do here. Trying to see how many mobs they're at. They're only at six. That's not a lot. And they can see, oh wait, look like Silver did actually find two hoglins. If he's able to get them in the same place, get them breeding. This could be good. They are in the same hole. That looks good. Silver gets it. The score is seven to nine. This match is not over yet, chat. And it looks like here, Fruit Berries doing the Witch Spawn platform. The old speedrun, the, the speedrun strat for old versions to get Enderman to spawn also work in new versions to try and find some rare mobs. So it looks like 
Looks like Fruit will be repeatedly dying over and over again to try and force a witch to spawn in the overworld. Pretty cool strat here. He's looking around. He's trying to see any witch somewhere. Keeping the boat. Doesn't see a witch. Gonna fall down to his death deliberately and then get that back. And now more mobs will spawn. It looks like, there we go. Wait, Rip FC managed to get carrots and does breed a horse. Rip FC does nail those, or does get, does get the horse. Anyways, <laughs> Rip FC bringing this back. The comeback could be happening right now as Silver is starting to trade these piglins. Something that, that uh, Dylan has done a little bit of. Enter the end as a goal. You don't really gain anything by entering the stronghold except for the cobweb goal. So, needs a little bit more. Looks like Fruitberry is still deliberately dying to, to, to summon a witch here. Gonna be looking around. Looking around in the uh, in the overworld. It's good odds because there were two people in the nether. You know, um, Rip FC, the only one running around in the overworld. So, the, gonna be half of the spawns for uh, for Fruit here. And Fruit just waiting on his pie chart. He doesn't even need to look around. If a witch isn't on his pie chart, he can just die, reset, check the pie chart in the bottom right. Is there a witch there? No. Jump off and die again. No witch. Jumps off and dies. Now Rip FC is able to go through the overworld and probably just running, trying to find stuff to do. Maybe killing skeletons for the bone meal for the white dye to make that gray wool. Now, it looks like Silver is almost finished with this Bastion. Looks like he's killing one of those for the hostile mobs. And actually, Rip FC has kind of been on those hostile mobs because it's up to eight now. Rip FC in the background has kind of been clearing a lot of these uh, these regular mobs out that they might have missed in the early game. And uh, they're they're coming back. And yeah, it looks like Silver also killing the, uh, the regular piglins here. Killing the brute, actually. Boom. There's another one for Orange. Yeah, it looks like just Silver clearing out everything. They're up to 10 now. And it looks like, here we go, how much die does Rip FC have? 21. That will be 42 die once you craft it and combine it with the squid ink. <laughs> Which it should be enough if you start shearing sheep. So it looks like Rip FC gonna be going for the gray wool goal. While fruit berries... Oh, I think Fruit Berries might be running towards Rip FC, and that could be bad. We'll see. Fruit Berries could be getting close here, but Rip FC gonna be swimming around in the ocean, gonna be killing some squids for some dye. You know, Blue had a good start, but Orange has brought this back, and it looks like they're just standing and waiting. What's going on here? I'm not exactly sure. Oh my god, wait. I think Dylan might be in the Bastion of Silver right now. Is that what's going on? Dylan is just hiding? I think that could be the case. Looks like Silver trying to make some crossbow to protect himself. For if Dylan comes up, I'm not sure. Why is Silver just standing? I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe just having to think. Anyways, Fruit Berries still trying to get to Rip FC. And I think Fruit Berries is getting close. You know, Rip FC is starting to get the gray wool though. Rip FC is at 8. Fruit Berries at 0, but Fruit Berries could try and seal that gray wool goal. So if, if Rip FC is able to get this... I mean, that, that is going to be a huge comeback for Orange. Yeah, it looks like... Wait, Fruit Berries might not be going directly towards Rip FC here. Looks like Fruit Berries may just be swimming in a random direction that happens to be in Rip FC's direction. We'll see. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, Rip FC up to 24 wool. You know, the sheep keep eating. Keep able... More sheep able to shear. It looks like... Wait a minute. There is some PvP in the nether. Silver and Dylan are doing it. Fighting. 
They both have shields. They're both just jumping. I think you're supposed to hit each other. He manages to kill Dylan. Huge for Orange. Gets his diamond tools and all of the Ender Pearls and a Blaze Rod. <clears throat> but Dylan set a respawn anchor and is right back in the nether, it looks like. But he can't leave. He can't get out of the bastion. Doesn't have any blocks. He's got to make this jump. Does he die? No. Okay. And now, Silver has so many resources, able to kill another rare mob. Ooh, not quite. <laughs> gonna go around the top. And I mean, this is gonna be hard for blue team now. Yeah, there we go. Gonna be killing the ghast. Gets it with the return to sender. Orange is now at 11 mobs. And Rip FC still killing more squid. And I mean, Fruit Berries isn't even going in their direction now. I think Fruit... Fruit was trying to get to Dylan's portal, but Silver left their portal. Silver is here. What is he doing? Is this Silver's portal that they happen to find? What's going on? He's trying to deactivate the portal before they come through. Is able to deactivate it. That will confuse them a little bit. He still has a little bit of fire resistance. Is going to be farming this. Where does the portal bring them though? And it looks like... Looks like Fruit is just trying to get the materials to re-enter the nether here. Yeah, Fruit is entering the nether now. We're gonna see where this portal lands. About two blocks over. Okay, well that didn't slow him down too much. But yeah, it looks like Silver, Purling, gonna try and kill Fruit here. Does he? Do he does get him! Special delivery directly to Silver. Thank you, Fruit Berries. Burning everything. Nothing is left. Fruit Berries just trying to get back now. And there is another goal. Rip FC gets the final gray wool. It is now nine to nine and Silver has a massive advantage. Blue team is going to have to team up to be able to do anything here. The one thing that they could do that somehow if they sneak past Silver, getting that horse armor. No one has checked the interior of the fortress yet. So that's going to be a little bit interesting to see if it happens. <laughs> what a comeback from Orange. You know, Rip FC trying to figure out what else to do. What have I missed? There are two mobs left. Is there anything easy? No, there really isn't anything easy. You gotta kill maybe a zombie villager or that witch when the nighttime comes. Maybe four more minutes. The Ender Dragon, maybe. I don't think that would be worth it though. But it looks like Fruit, or sorry, not Fruit here, but Dylan. Dylan, I think, might be trying to, to hunt down, not silver, but horse armor, I think. Because even if Dylan doesn't get all the horse armor, getting to take it away from silver is going to be very useful. But silver is hunting, while Dylan is hunting down the horse armor, silver is hunting down Dylan. And it's over for Dylan here. And Blue is now just floundering around, trying to get their bearings, trying to get something put together. While Silver is free to explore the interior of this fortress and potentially get this horse armor goal. Which he does have almost all the leather for. He's missing one leather. Just bed Silver. Bed bombing is not allowed in this tournament. The All of the runners agreed. They said, we don't want bed bombing. We don't have to deal with that. So they are not allowed to bed bomb and they're not allowed to portal trap. The only way that the blue team can come back from this is if they outdo Silver as a team. And I mean, Silver has seven rods, will be able to enter the end. Hopefully brings an extra rod to be able to attend the end rod, but also 
Silver has the saddle, ready to ride a horse. This is going to be incredible difficult. Did he portal trap earlier? No, he just deactivated the portal. It was not a portal trap. What is bed bombing? Beds explode in the nether and deal extreme damage. You can one-shot an enemy if you place the bed and just explode it and try and sleep in it right beside an enemy. But it looks like blue is actually only one mob away. While orange is two still. One thing- and blue is just trying to figure out one thing that they can kill to be able to do this. Have- has blue killed a gas? I don't know! Blue team is one away! What about when Feinberg portal trapped himself? Yeah, we disqualified them. Because Feinberg portal trapped himself. Um... It's a joke. Anyway, Silver is now just purling through the nether, getting some distance. Oh my god, almost falling. What is he doing now? What is the goal? Looks like that is another goal! It looks like Fruitberry's found an Enderman and managed to get the 15 unique hostile mobs, bringing them back in the lead. And Silver is leaving the nether with everything he needs to enter the end right on a mob spawner. Doesn't really find anything of value there, but interesting spawn there. This is going to be very difficult, despite Blue having the lead. They do not have the materials to get more goals. <clears throat> really, because Orange Team is able to enter the end. They're able to get that end rod. They need one other goal. Orange Team needs to cut off any other possible goal that they could go for. You know, Rip FC being underground... Maybe looking for a a mine shaft. I'm not sure what Rip FC could be doing right now. Maybe looking for another nether entry. I'm not entirely sure. You couldn't craft cobwebs, but you really need to get those cobwebs before silver makes it to the stronghold because there are cobwebs in the stronghold library. The only way that blue can do this is if they get that that cobweb quickly. And or, or somehow get to the end. But it looks like Fruitberries has found a bastion. Hopefully unlooted. And Dylan is trying to clear the fortress. If they work together, combine their resources, there is a chance that they could make it back. Or maybe Dylan is actually going to try and get the cobweb goal. No. I think Dylan... Might be tracking Silver right now. Maybe? No, wait. Dylan is waiting for the sun to go down. Potentially a witch. Oh, Rip FC explores the underground. Maybe just looking for a witch in the, in the, in the meantime. Here we go. Silver about to get the saddle goal. And if, if, if this is it, I don't know. It could... Uh, yeah. 10 to 10, but... Orange, I think, has a pretty big advantage here. Orange, gonna be finding the stronghold. Entering the end and obtain end rod. So only silver can do. This is going to be brutally difficult for Blue to do this. After all of the internet issues that Orange had today... I think they might still be able to pull out this win. And Silver, having a horse, is just able to ride it to victory. Oh, still a little bit further. It looks like Silver may be close to the Bastion. The fact that he had to throw another eye makes me think this could be close. No, throwing another eye. That's dangerous. What if it breaks? Just like that. Uh-oh. If they're not able to enter end, that could be a big whiff. Now, it looks like Fruitberries has entered the overworld and is tracking 
Okay, negative 500, negative 500. Fruit Berries has 2,000 blocks to go if he wants to catch up to Silver. That may take too long. Fruit Berries deliberately falling, I think, to potentially avoid the spider attack. But Silver has got to be close to that stronghold by now. How many I Silver? Oh, no. I realize something now. Silver, count the eyes and look at the blaze rods. Seven eyes, four blaze rods. Oh, no, it's fine. Never mind. I was like, oh, that's only four blaze powder. No, it's not. It's totally four. Oh, my God. Wait. Silver's getting the stronghold, and this could seal the deal. The one way that Silver can still throw this is if he accidentally crafts all of his blaze rods into blaze powder and is unable to craft the end rod because you need a you need a blaze rod to be able to craft it or if he doesn't bring a furnace into the end which it looks like he has one two in his inventory this could be over for the blue team they need three points so he needs to remember cobweb he needs to remember enter the end and there is the cobweb right there they are two away from first place and becoming the greatest Minecrafters of all time. <laughs> but he's looking. He's looking. And really, it looks like Dylan just maybe trying to get a witch. Hoping that they are not able to do this. Yeah. Dylan just trying to get a witch while Silver. God, that is loud. Looks like Silver is going to try and kill the dragon here. Wait, where's Silver's wood? Okay, Silver does have wood. Plenty of it to be able to kill this dragon, but it looks like he's going to be doing half bow to try and get the dragon to perch a little bit faster. So here's the beds. Bunch of beds in the inventory. Four beds. Is that enough? I, You're not going to kill the dragon like that. There's no shot. Yeah, exactly. Looks like Silver going to start doing some chip damage. Ooh, that's dangerous. A super fast perch, but it's not going to be enough. Looks like Dylan bridging up, making a safe place to try and get a witch spawn. Maybe they're able to bring this back. You know, at this point, Blue is just playing and hoping that Silver messes up. Because the one thing that Silver did not get... Oh no. Oh god, Silver is at four and a half. If you look at an Enderman, Silver could be in danger here. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't switch scenes. Silver took damage from the Ender Dragon's breath and then had to pearl. If Silver somehow dies from the dragon, Blue could still win this, but it is Orange's game to lose. Wait. Silver has no food. Silver has no food. And is not able to see the uh, server issue. Never mind. Good. This is dangerous. Silver is on a time limit. Chorus Fruit. You have to make it to the Chorus Fruit to be able to do the Chorus Fruit chat. Looks like Dylan trying to get that witch. Trying to get a witch spawn somewhere. Looking for a one witch spawn while it looks like, I think... Here we go. This could be the dragon dying. It's close. That's not quite enough. You need to... Oh, it is, oh, it is enough. This could be the end of the lockout tournament. It all comes down to this. Silver looking for the portal. Where is it? Where did it spawn? There it is! Gonna get the end rod to finish off this whole thing. Don't pearl in, please. <laughs> okay. Now, scary thing. Is Silver gonna be on a floating island or will there be a fruit nearby? There we go! There's the Gore's fruit! This could be it. I think this is it, chat. You could also just go to the, the end city. Smelting it? 
And I think that's it. Orange just needs to cook it and craft. And that is it. Orange has won. Silver and Rip FC win it all. The $20,000 grand prize. And Blue still goes home with the clean 10k. But let's go say hello, huh? All right. Oh, what matches did we win again? Oh, Hello, last two, dude. It's crazy. It's oh, yo, what's Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. You won um, it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Despite yeah. the internet issues, I am absolutely blown away. You played that last game so clean. The last two games, or the last... Which game? You played... The, you played pretty damn clean there, both of you. You were banging out goals left and right. But, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. That t 20k. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> actually insane, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, Absolutely I can't believe it. super hype. Uh, a huge victory from you guys. You beat the top seed in the tournament. The, t the team that was yeah. expected to win, you beat them. My fucking hands are like tingling right now. Oh, no, <laughs> I can imagine why. There was a lot on the line there. And getting low health on that dragon fight was terrifying without the food. Yeah, yeah. It, dude, it got purging too quick. Like, I need less good luck, please. Mm -hmm. so, anyway. Anyways, well, congratulations. Um, tournament, I, I'm, I'm, I think it went well. And uh, thank you for participating. It was... Uh, it was Thanks for having us. great to have you so here. Yeah, no, uh, this journey was amazing. I, I spent like the last like month and a half ever since you like told me that I was in this just grinding and practicing and it just, it, it, it all came together. It just feels good for like stuff to pay off. And I don't know, I, I mean, I'm happy like that we won, but I, overall I was just happy with our performance as well. Yeah, huge. Yeah, and I mean, Rip FC t chat, I've seen the name a couple times, the the overworld overlord, <laughs> just <laughs> basically getting every possible overworld like goal you possibly could while uh, while you were grinding out the nether silver. I mean, that was yeah, sick. It was absolutely uh, integral. Yeah. yeah, it was like people were like silver's crushing this on like, I can't remember which game it was, but I was like, are you sure? And then like Rip FC, you, Josh, you got like nine of the la goals last game. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go yeah. Josh. Anyways, uh, congratulations. Um, are either of you going to stream after this or uh, just so I can, you know, pick someone to raid? Um, um, or Yeah, I'll probably do some runs. You can do some runs? All right, all right. Maybe, maybe we'll... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Josh, you are you streaming after this as well? I'll probably do a coin flip to see who we raid if you are. No, I'm gonna slam. Nah. All right. Well, I guess <laughs> it is super late for you, yeah. And again, thank you for participating. Sorry about the the internet issue with the uh, the server. Ho couldn't have That's one okay. closer to you, but it looks oh. like it didn't matter in the end. <laughs> My yeah. internet fixed. It was fine at the end. It oh was yeah. Perfect. Okay, your internet did correct yeah, the at the end. Last couple matches. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Games, thank God. Won. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad that that was the case. Um, thank you to participating, and uh, uh, I'll see you around. Yeah, thanks so much for hosting. Thank you. All right. Thank you so <laughs> yeah. All right, and uh, a huge thank you to uh, to Deltric and Anep. Deltric for doing the server and a lot of the coding. Uh, also, at sign for doing a lot of the inventory tracker stuff and, and some other stuff in the back end. Also, making the initial lockout mod. And uh, Inep for helping run the tournament, keeping everyone on time and in the know. Um, I appreciate it. This was a good event. It went well enough that... Uh, I think we may do another one in the future. We'll see here. We'll see. I think I think there's a good chance we could do more, maybe. But uh, for now, that is all I got. That is the end of the lockout tournament. I will see you all tomorrow, Monday. Have fun at Silver Stream. Wish him a huge congratulations. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow, chat.
for uh, grinding for the God Gamer competition or whatever it's called. <laughs> Whoo! See ya. <laughs> Do 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 do